Shack at yeah, the bottles getting nippy up the crack and we stacking chips, all of it's what all I want. It. Plus money winners, that's what I'm on. You can say I'm gone. I prefer elevated pub sports radio. Time to get educated, get produced, lead the juice, letting loose with so much abuse that the bookies wanna call a truce. They get slaughtered. Can't forget Jeff and low baggers in the chat. That's a little weapon to be be pubbing. What up, cappers, gamblers, punters, hustlers, low bag girls? We are live from the South Town 101, Friday, March 22nd, day two of Puddle Palooza. And I'm rocking the college basketball card with Troy Torrance and Sean Higgs. How are you, fellas? It was a long day yesterday, but it was a profitable one. So let's keep that going here. Yeah, uh, Steve G, nonplussed with our capping yesterday, uh, but we made a lot of money. So, um, he did not like uh, our capping yesterday. I uh, said incoherent capping. Incoherent <laughs> capping that made us a lot of money. Uh, we made a lot of money yesterday. Did it start out incoherent? incoherent? No, I don't think it did. Because you're pretty normal when I arrived. So maybe, by, <laughs> maybe later on in the day it might have got bad. But early was all right. I can attest to that. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited. I did not. Uh, I, I got too uh, liquidated yesterday. And uh, it did. Uh, Caused me to make zero live bets. That's the first time ever I've probably lose zero live bets. So open to attack uh, today. Great to see all you guys. The Tech Nate Dog 420 Philly 3 drip. We got Cheddarman, a smoking tree, Yukon minus 16, Nebraska minus 11, Auburn minus 12 and a half, Jameson Madison and St. Mary's for smoking tree and Colby for half. Uh, Dan Kelly in the house of and the pig milk play of the day is Vermont plus 12 and a half. Uh, Kent Davies is at the Valspar hole 12. He's uh, live at the Ballast Park uh, Open. Ken Davies is rocking with us on Wednesday night. It was great to see you, Ken, uh, my man. Uh, Nicker, Red Sox, Tory Coker, Subhuman Gaucho, Rude Boy, Thieves by Law, Babarito in the house. Uh, thank you guys for rocking with us. Smoking Mirrors, ready to go. Kelly McKinnis, great to see all you guys. Jay Jones, O'Brien Palmer. Philly Eagle Flyer, and I heard uh, I heard you guys rolled with me on the uh, Sabres first period. Sabres first period, my first NHL bet of the season, uh, money line plus one fifty first period. Fucking beautiful! Oh, it's so beautiful. We're sitting here after the show, and Jimmy's like, "This is the best bet on the card." We're, I mean, we're, we're sitting here. There's like four or five of us, and everybody pulls out their phone on the on a dime. Jimmy was a little incoherent at the point, so we probably didn't realize everybody <laughs> fucking moved on it. Yeah, it was be- it was such a beautiful bet. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful bet. Uh, great to see you guys all rolling with us. And we got a lot of work to do. We have our first game popping off in 25 minutes. Uh, Von Polo, BT, Richie Rich, Dana Delp. A uh, great, great group here. Uh, North Ender, Ronnie Lofton, Johnny Guns. Um, and uh, Johnny Guns says uh, nothing but water on the table. Uh, that's not uh, That's not true. That's, uh, that's, that's not true. It looks like that's it's just true. water, but uh, it's... Yeah, we have a new bottle of Henny. Now, our friend Sean can't, uh, he has to drive home today, so he can't uh, partake in our shot of Henny to get rolling. No. I, I wouldn't partake at Henny at 10 o'clock in the morning. Either. Really? Jim, Jimmy's got a two hand Henny. He's shaking right now. I know. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm a shaky mess. The only thing I ate yesterday was a croissant in the morning. And that's, that's oh, I'm fun. shocked. Yeah, that was all I ate. So when I'm sitting, and don't hammer me for, for you know, s- suggesting or encouraging you to have a drink of water. It's just a drink of water. Yeah, we're rolling, Dabby Cab. Let's get it. Cheers, man. Mm. All right, let's get to work. Ooh. Let's get to work. All right. Ah, there we go. There we go. There's the fuel that we need. Let's go. We start game one, uh, 12, 15 p.m. Eastern, East Region, first round. The number nine seed, Northwestern Wildcats, 21-11 versus number eight, Florida Atlantic Owls, 25-8, and eight, Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York here. So let's go over the uh, line history here and set this one up. We have a uh, Northwestern right now at plus three and a half, plus three and a half. There are a lot of threes out there as well, but this is plus three and a half. Uh, this op- now it's four and a half. Wow. So we have a two four point a move to FAU. Wow. I got to refresh yep. this two yep. point move to FAU. That's a big one. And it's a coin flippy situation. 43% of the tickets and 57% of the cash on FAU. 
and the line is moving heavily in their direction. Uh, Sean Higgs, we'll start with you, my man. What are your thoughts here with Northwestern FAU? Uh, I'd rather be some Florida Atlantic. I think they, believe it or not, an undervalued squad. I think all year they haven't been looked at as what they were last year. So I grabbed them at a two and a half and three earlier in the week. I feel good that it's moved the way it has. So, but again, I know you're a ticket kind of counter when it comes to that kind of stuff, Jimmy. So I know we're, we think opposite of those things. Uh, give me FAU. I, I'm not now the Big Ten, some nice wins yesterday. I uh, can't take anything away from them. I was down on them, which is why part of the reason I took FAU. I thought, you know, I don't think Northwestern is a top Big Ten team. So I, Give me the uh, give me the owls. I took the owls. I like that line moved. Hopefully, I'm on the right side. So a couple of tough losses yesterday with uh, Nevada and, and Drake going down late. So I need to start the deal for the winner. Yeah. And our guy Jeff Slaughter has uh, three thousand dollars on FAU money line to yeah. start out his day. So he's got three K on FAU. What do you think of this spot, Troy? This spot is one I I certainly was looking for any reason to get on Northwestern, especially early. Uh, based on the, the cash flow situation, the line wasn't really moving early. I thought it would move towards Northwestern, to be honest. But, you know, they got two big players out, Ty Berry, uh, Nicholson, their seven-footer, and I think that's going to be a problem in the paint. I think it's going to allow FAU to do what they do, get to the free throw line frequently. This line moved um, significantly at this point, up to four and a half in a lot of books. And what I've talked about yesterday, I'm going I'm to repeat it again all day. I'm going to talk about it until I'm blue in the face because it fucking matters. Continuity. All these guys at FAU. We're playing at FAU for three consecutive years, right? Every single one of these guys. Um, this is a team that knows how to play with each other. They know how to win, especially in March. I moved on FAU at minus four. Got a bad number. I'm not really concerned about it. And uh, I think they're going to get the money. So both Sean and Troy are on FAU. Another great point about this game, another thing I look at is um, the advantage in uh, neutral court. You could see FAU's 7-2 and two ATS on neutral. On a neutral court and Northwestern's two and two. I think that gives us another edge. There you have it. That's how the day starts off here. And again, Jeff Slaughter, 3K on FAU money line. So that one's going to be popping off. We'll be able to live bet it uh, as well. Let's move on to game two here <clears throat> on the board. The number 14 seed Colgate Raiders, 25 and nine versus the number three seed Baylor Bears. This is at FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee, West Region One. And I like Colgate. I like Colgate. I, I I think that at least the way Baylor has looked in March has not been very good. And, I mean, they can take control at home. When they beat Cincinnati, they barely – I mean, it was, what, in the last two minutes they pulled away from them. Uh, they lost badly to Iowa State, who we know is a very good basketball team. So the question is, can the Colgate Raiders of the Patriot League – mess with the Baylor Bears right now from a line history standpoint sitting at f plus 14 uh this opened up oh now it's oh god wow shit, a lot of changes here I gotta refresh all this uh it yeah. got up to 15 for a little while but there's still been a half point move towards Baylor and then cash wise here for this one uh 81 percent of the tickets and 83 percent of the cash on Baylor and I want to fade them I want to fade them uh, what do you think of this spot here Troy uh, I think I agree with you, but I've been looking at these spots. I've been kind of tracking it uh, for throughout the the course of this uh, tournament so far, especially in the conference tournaments. These dogs, these dogs are ones you want to take in the first half. I think I'd be more comfortable with taking a Colgate in the first half. They got everything I'm looking for. They got the continuity. This number might be a little bit too big. Baylor's a really young team. There are stars on that team. I think the two uh, most important pieces are, are freshmen or sophomores, yeah. right? So I think Colgate, especially early, will be able to keep this game close. And um, I'm going to be on Colgate first half. I haven't moved yet, but I'll be looking at it. I'm going to make that bet, uh, I think. Well, let me hear what Sean has to say, but I think I'm going to edit. And look at this, Sean Higgs, $100. Bless our action. Start, look start, at that. start the day with start, a winner there. Nice. I uh, love it. And Sammy Comer gifting a Pub Sports Radio membership. little Domo grabbing it. Uh, respect. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, bad, terrible, terrible news um, from – our guy Justin. Oh no! Snap I'm, to you, what happened? I'm so sorry. Uh, so sorry to hear that Justin, uh, his little brother, was killed Wednesday night. Oh, I like Justin. He's a oh, guy. I'm so sorry that that happened, Justin. Um, God, man, okay. um, heart see. goes out uh, to you and to your family. I'm just so sorry that. Oh, I'm so sorry that you have to, you have to deal with that, man. That so just love and strength to your family and. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, that's a heart absolutely heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Um, so sorry. So uh, thinking about you and uh, sending love, and, and I'll reach out after the show. Uh, <clears throat> it's devastating, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. And Justin's, he, you know, he comes to my show sometimes. I saw him in here. He's loyal listener, fan, supporter. And he hears stuff like that. It's, it's oh. heavy. <clears throat> yeah. It is. Life's short, man. People don't like, understand. We were talking about you this morning. Day. We were talking about you this morning, Justin, at breakfast. And, you know, looking forward to meeting you, bro. Stay strong out there. It's tough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just know that uh, that we love you here at the pub and thinking about you and your family. And, um, God, it's just, uh, just heartbreaking. Shit, he man. says he needs answers. and Yeah. Wow. Stay strong, man. Stay strong. Yeah. yeah. Uh, man, heartbreaking. Okay. Um, we have the West Ra- Region first round uh, Colgate Raiders uh, here. Uh, Sean, did you have interest in them? I, you know, it's, now you got to like jump back into some serious stuff it's into hard. us having, you know, fun and just. I agree, I, I agree with uh, Troy. Like the, the Colgate first half, I kind of lean that way. Baylor maybe start a little slow, but I, I like Baylor for the game. I think, you know, Colgate is a team this year, not their typical kind of Raider squad. You know, sometimes they come in and steal some wins here and there. Um, not not so this season. So I think Baylor, you know, first half Colgate, you think it kind of gets a little close. Baylor starts slow. But I think Baylor covers this number full game. I actually took him full game for myself a little bit. I, and I got a 14 piece, I believe, what it was. All right. Well, I'm going to lock in the plus eight right now. It's at minus 105. Um, I'm going to send that in right now. So Let's see if I can get that same number. I'm going to take plus eight. You got minus 105. I got minus 110, but I'm still moving on it. And I'm going to tweet this one out as well. All right, well, let's uh, right, so <laughs> let's grab it first. Half, yeah, I got a 14 for the game. I grab okay, for the first half as well. Plus eight, minus one, oh, five. That was one thing that happened yesterday. Was I was not I was betting and not tweeting it out. And I apologize for those people who were and a lot of those were cashers, to be honest. It was, so, it was great, yeah. it was great, great, great day. All right, uh, let's let's roll on. And I plan on um, I'm gonna send this Colgate in. Uh, it's almost set. I'm gonna send it in here in a second. We move on. 1:45 p.m. Eastern, the East Region first round. Number 12 seed UAB Blazers, 23 and 11 versus number five seed San Diego State Aztecs. We're in Spokane, Washington. Talk about this spot here. We have UAB plus seven at minus 106. Uh, they opened up, actually moved to six and a half. God, I'm gonna refresh this all now. This is ridiculous. Uh, six and a half. So um, let's take a take a look at the uh, cash flow here for this one. Fifty five percent of the tickets and seventy eight percent of the cash here is on these UAB Blazers. Uh, Sean, did you move on this one? I have uh, UAB. I got a seven and a half. Again, I'm could have moved. I know there was an eight out there. Now it's on a six and a half. Okay, I was I was I'm on I'm online. That's why I didn't know what it was. But six and a half. I, San Diego State, and this was even before the yesterday's debacle with the Mountain West teams. I thought the Mountain West was strong, but I just felt San Diego State was kind of. Uh, I know I know they were favored to win the Mountain West, but I, I don't know. I, UAB's playing good. We're talking. Me and Trey, we're outside. We're just talking about this. Yeah. Right? I mean, the way they've played down the stretch, good, solid underclassmen. You know, they're like the way they're playing coming in. I have San Diego State's a. What do we say? I mean, last year, where were these guys? It's not like there's some kind of off the grid kind of franchise here. But the points, I hate being on the spots with the five twelves because that seems like it's, you know, that's the talking point for the five twelve games and stuff. But I end up taking them. I'm gonna still ride with them. No first half or anything action, but mark me down for the Blazers. I don't know. Give me some uh, AC. As much as I love the Mountain West, and I had. Utah State that I in New Mexico, other games we'll be talking about. I'm a, a fade them in this spot. Give me the Blazers. Yeah, we're starting to see that number move towards towards the Blazers. I mean, it's down. It's continuing it's six, to yeah. move that way. It was seven and a half. I saw two, and even an eight. So I was like, oh boy, maybe maybe I made the wrong mistake when it went up. I was like, no oh boy, maybe San Diego State is coming back like they were last year, like a, you know, kind of yeah. like yeah. I mean, they know, went on that run. Like my thought right? was like with Florida Atlantic. Think of okay. They had a great run last year, and people come out, and as a smaller school, they're going to get to the ABA game every game, right? You're, you're like a champ kind of team. They're going to come after you. 
San Diego State was right along with them last year. Yeah. You know, and but here's the thing about San Diego State, the difference between San Diego State and FAU, and what makes me think there's a little bit more trouble in paradise in San Diego State is that two of their best players left. They transferred. Yeah. There are other schools that are competing in this tournament. But that's why they were the, that's why they were the four seed and not the one seed in their own conference. But yeah, right. Still, exactly. Listen, right. They got a good coach. They're solid. You know, you know, you know what you're gonna get. It's one of those teams you could just say, if you're taking them. You feel good if you take them. Like, why wouldn't you take them? They're an established program. You, you know you're not going to get some kind of crap performance from them. Yeah, but, but UAB is in great form. And it seems like a lot of points. The line's coming down. I mean, to me, I don't I don't think I want any action in this game. I don't have anything planned to bet in this game, so I'm going to let this one go, Jimmy. But I think it would be UAB or pass, especially with this line dipping under seven and moving towards two possessions because – um, in the NFL, there's there's key numbers. You don't really think of NBA or, or basketball having key numbers, but trust me, one possession, two possession, three possession, uh, those are the key numbers. And it's moving right towards six, which is pretty uh, pretty big, in my opinion. Yeah, I have interest in UAB. Um, <clears throat> I guess we have um, about an hour and forty five minutes for me. They've to... been in great form. I mean, mm-hmm. they're I playing mean, really good. I could get, I I could, I might be able to get there. Um, what in the chat? I haven't been reading the chat. I've been broken up. So, yeah, Markel's on him. That's my guy right there. Moneyline Markel, my guy. Moneyline Markel. He's got first half. Wait, I got to ask Moneyline Markel why he doesn't let his replies be on Twitter. Like, I want to come in and, and hit him a little bit. He's got his replies turned off. What's going on? Uh-huh. What are you posting, Markel, that you don't even want people replying to your stuff? One way at it's One yeah. way street with him. What is that? What is that about? Come on. All right. So, <clears> I'm going to grab, is- grab UAB plus 165 first half. Oh, wow. Moneyline first half? Yeah. That's exciting. And I did Colgate too as well, plus three eighty five. I figured if they're gonna, we know we're gonna know off the bat if both of these teams are, you know, are gonna show up today. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. See, I could see Baylor kind of slowly, you know, coming around and in the second half being able yes. to turn on the switch a little bit. Well, that's why I kind of like Baylor for the game. But I'm like, yeah. you know what? If it's if it's gonna be a lackluster early performance and you're slow out the yeah. gate and, and I could see that you just hear the sneakers on the court, you know, kind of nonsense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take mm-hmm. a shower. Where's that? Where's that one being played at, Jimmy? The Baylor. Um... It's on a basketball court. No. <laughs> FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis. Memphis. Right. Uh, let's roll on here. I've locked. I've made the bet on Colgate here. I uh, sent it in at plus eight, minus one hundred five for the first half. Uh, I'll tweet it out here shortly. But let's move on to the South Region first round. The fifteen seed Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, twenty two and eleven, versus the number two seed Marquette Golden Eagles. We're in Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Indiana for this one and the Hilltoppers have a very tough tough test with uh, Marquette here it's not uh, and the Marquette getting slapped in the face by UConn uh, I think that was uh, the kind of wake-up call that I want a team to have and uh, I think Western Kentucky is obviously what's Colin's situation uh, at this point Point. Let me find out here. Let me get the latest information. I'm having trouble working this MacBook, to be honest. I'm more of a Microsoft type of guy. So this is really difficult for me. But at the same time, um, I think Kolik is very important to, to this number and to how this team's going to perform. I think I really believe that Marquette was preparing exactly for this tournament. Yeah, yeah he's Kolik's good to go. Yeah, Kolik's good to go. They, they held him out. He wanted to play. I, I was reading reports that Kolik was in his coach's office trying to get him to, to let him to play that day. Uh, against UConn, and he wouldn't let him. Go ahead, Jimmy. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. It's great. Uh, it's just important, important stuff. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Marquette sitting minus 14 and a half at minus 108. They opened up at minus 14. Uh, actually, sorry, minus 109. So we have a half point move towards Marquette. And then from a cash flow uh, situation here, we have 62% of the tickets and 67% of the cash on Marquette. Sean, are you moving on this one? I didn't move on this game. I, you know, Marquette, Shaq has done such a great job over there. I like him. I just, I don't know, maybe an over in this game. But then I look at the Kolek spot where, not that you got to work a guy who's been a key cog of your team, but he has been out a little bit. Is he going to be a little rusty coming in? Are they, they going to force feed him a little bit and kind of, Start out slow here. Again, you know, no opinion. I mean, there's – I know everybody wants to have something in every game. I don't have anything on this game. So, it's a pass. I mean, just looking at this game, th- this team's strength of schedule in general, I mean, they're not playing anybody in the top 100. And when they played neutral sites early in the season, Bowling Green, they were four-and-a-half-point favorites. They won and covered by seven. But then against Canisius, they were laying six-and-a-half. They lost by eight. Against NC Asheville, they were laying six. They lost by ten. I mean, that's 
that's neutral court. That's kind of what we're going to see today. And this team's much better. And this is a much better freaking yeah. team, and probably a hungry fucking team. Yeah. So this but, might be where I take instead of going with the big a big dog in the first half, maybe looking towards Marquette in the first half. But I haven't made a bet on it yet. Yeah, interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, I I don't feel like I need to um, move on them uh, here. I don't. I'm going to pass this one here. Let's move on to the next ball on the board at 2.45 p.m. Eastern, East Region, first round, the Stetson Hatters, 22-12, and 12, first the Yukon Huskies, 31-3, and 3, Barclay Center in Brooklyn, New York, and this is a, an angry Yukon team. And I don't think this game is close. I know. I, I know, think yeah. it is a burial. I know, but those 20-point spreads after uh, I my guy – no. My guy, uh, what, uh, Julian Cesario, yesterday, he had a, he was laying twenty points. He pushed on the twenty point line. Then I went back and looked at Is that some, Arizona. Yeah, yeah, it was Arizona. He was he laying twenty, pushed on the twenty. Went back and looked at the last year. These were sharp ass numbers in the twenty point region. The, also, but Arizona playing Long Beach. That team's coming in playing for a coach. You know, Big West, Pac twelve. That's going to be a little battle. This is Stetson Hatters. <laughs> and UConn. This is going to be I, – I, I, I got the over in this game. So over me up. I think UConn drops oh, – I think the UConn gets maybe 95 in this game. I really think it's – the, the problem may be thinking – I want to hear it. Dad. Yeah, yeah. I no, hear it, we're, we're, we're gonna, we want to hear your action for sure, Debbie. Uh, hit, hit, just, can you text me right now? And I help? was going to text you last night, Debbie. I got to get your number because I was wondering what the hell – on some games what you were looking at. So I'll switch out, Debbie. Yeah, we'll we'll uh you know what we're gonna go. Do you have any action on the first few games? So uh, when do you yeah, start? I won't talk about this. Over, give me the over in this one. Over in this one? one. That's in UConn. Yeah, that's I think total or just full game. No, it's, <laughs> I slept like a baby and I had a great shower somewhere. <laughs> oh shit! This hat doesn't work, does it? Look at my head. No, it does not work. It does not work. We gotta well, that's get not you. good. Yeah, we got to get you uh, off there. Okay, so let's um. Yeah, it looks fine. Let's uh let's. I don't think I'm modeling people have. Let's re rewind a little bit. Yeah, let's roll uh here. Well, let's just finish this Stetson UConn spot. Uh, we Sean Higgs on the over. I I don't know if this is a spot where I want to to move uh, on it. We have uh, UConn right now minus twenty seven uh, and a half at minus one oh two. Uh, this opened up at twenty six and a half at Pinnacle, so we've had a full a point move towards the Huskies. And then uh, cash flow wise, let me get this up here. Uh, take a look at the cash numbers here for this one. We have. Uh, 68% of tickets and 63% of the cash on the Huskies. And you are on it or staying off it? What's your plan? I'm personally staying off. <laughs> I don't know if Debbie has anything to add. I think these 20-point uh, spreads are extremely sharp. I'm not fucking with them. Yeah, I want nothing to do with it. Look, I said it yesterday. Um, what was it, the Arizona game? I said, watch, you got that 20 and a half. They're going to win by 20 points. They're going to be sitting here up by 20, and you're going to lose the bet. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to put that on anybody. <laughs> But that's what I said here when we talked about it, and that's exactly what fucking happened. They won by 20, and, you know, you lost by the hook at 20 and a half. I'm, I'm not doing that. I have, I, I do have action today. Um, speaking of action, man, I hope everybody in the chat is dropping their action. I see we got the chat rolling in, man. Markel, Kelly, Billy, everybody in there, man. Good to see you all. Nunya. Yeah, Nunya, my dude. Nunya, when are you going to be here, man? We need more of you guys here at Papa Flusa 3 with He's us. He's going through some things, man. He's, I was supposed to be staying with Nunya. But, oh. Uh, he's going through some shit as well. So, Damn, yeah. Nunya, my bad, man. Well, uh, shout out to you. I hope you and the family do well, man. Uh, and we'll meet up soon enough. We'll be back here again next year. It's every year. So uh, Yeah, every year. Every year. Uh, How did you guys do yesterday? I don't keep up with other people's action. We make some money. Yeah, we made a lot of money. We did. Great, great day. Fucking I lost, go. I lost, I lost with Nevada and fucking Drake. Which were kind of with who? What? They were up eight. They went five for fourteen from the free throw line. They were up by eight. Went five for fourteen from the free throw line. I mean, I think I was on the right side with the Drake. I'd bet, oh. I'd bet it again. I mean, a team that shoots eighty percent from the free throw line shoots shoots thirty percent. So, Jimmy, I don't know how this works. What I was trying to say when we were talking about early bets. Yeah. 
I got a couple props here, but I don't want you to track them. Okay. Like for the record, I'll give them to everybody because listen to me though. They're both plus money. Okay. I'm not there. If, if I'm pushing for 60%, like now, obviously I would love to win both of these props. You understand what I'm saying? But if I go one and one at 50%, I'm going to win money. And it's a, uh, it's two threes props uh, of two players on Baylor. So it's two players on the same team. It's Walter. Um, it's Bridges. Like I said, I would love for both of them to hit, but one of those two players has to be shooting. One of them has to be putting up the three attempts for Baylor. It's the way their offense functions. Um, so I could I could see us getting both, but I really think I come out at worst one on one, one and one. Obviously, we could lose both. That's how gambling works. But even if I come out one and one, uh, it's plus one forty and plus one forty five on the props. So uh, I think it's beautiful. I bet both of them over two and a half threes. Jalen Bridges uh, and Jacoby Walters. That's an interesting way of handling that uh, spot, Baylor, Colgate. So, uh, look, it's it's a little bit of the de degenerate in me because I want action right now with everybody here, mm -hmm. and I will get live action. I think that, like I said, I th I just think that taking both of them is a smart smart way to bet that. So that's why I did that. I just don't want it tracked for the record. Okay. Uh, done. No worries. Uh, Ron Crawford, three and zero with spreadsheet plays of the day yesterday. Uh, Ronnie uh, crushing it, uh, crushing it. Uh, he's uh, band's got a gig tonight and uh, kill it out there. Uh, and it's uh, where is it? is it Biloxi? Where 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 is the where's the the gig tonight, uh, Ron? But uh, go crush it, man. Break a leg out there. All right. So uh, now UAB, uh, San Diego State, Western Kentucky, Marquette, uh, Stetson, UConn. Did you move on any of those spots, Cap? UAB, what say the ones you just asked me again? Uh, yeah, I did. Al Civic, my man. You, yeah, thank you. Uh, it was dope. It's dope, dope, dope. UConn, I didn't move on like uh, Troy and I were just talking about. Mm -hmm. Uh, the UAB game, I didn't bet that either. Um, like I said, only took the props early. Uh, AM Nebraska is where my action pops off, my official action, but we can talk about those other games getting up to that if you're if you're about to go over them. Uh, Christopher Tatum says, "Put it on the waffle record, Jimmy." Yeah, I guess that will uh, that, that will be on the waffle record. I don't know what that is. Ten and one. Ten and one is the waffle. You record. want to know what's funny too? Which I don't. <clears throat> that record isn't real because I don't. I don't bet it. But <laughs> you know, I did actually bet that that one right, and it's the only one that I actually had money on. I just didn't give it out because I was so. Your, our, the show ran really long that day, and I ran right into my pitching lessons that I had to go give. So. Like right when I got off the show, I bounced out the door, so I didn't go official with it. So technically, it was a waffle, but I actually bet that one. So, uh, you know, gray areas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gray pubes, gray pubes. <laughs> All right, uh, let's uh, roll on to the next spot on the board here for us and um, break it down because Ron Crawford's spreadsheet play today in Nebraska. Uh, I want Nebraska. I have not moved on them yet. We talked about it yesterday, and then also spreadsheet. I just love it. I love all you fuckers. On Nebraska and Jimmy, that's not directed to you. It's directed to you and all you fuckers in here that are on Nebraska and all you fuckers staying with me, Spinny and fucking Mike and everybody else on Nebraska. You fucking go ahead. I, I told you guys how that game's going to play out. One team is going to fucking dominate the boards and play like grown men. Well, we're going to talk about that game. It sounds like you've uh, been thinking about it for a little while. Uh, next up, though, for us, 3, 10 p.m. Eastern West Region first round, New Mexico Lobos, 26 and 9 versus number six seed Clemson Tigers, 21 11 FedEx form in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, take a look at the line history here for this one. Uh, and I know we haven't been hammering totals. Uh, as you guys know, I'm really trying to stay away from totals personally. Especially on a neutral court with the home road dichotomy. I feel like that's so important when you're looking at totals, and we don't have that information here. It's all neutral. Uh, this was a real move towards New Mexico. Uh, they were a, a full point move from one and a half to two and a half. And now it's come back to two, but it's a pretty heavily juiced two. It really is sort of a, a two and a half. And then from a cash flow standpoint, 62% of tickets and 69% of cash is on New Mexico. What do you think here, Troy? Are you moving on this one? This is my favorite game on the board. This is my fa favorite game in the round of 32. I think we have so many clear advantage when it comes to this game with New Mexico. The seniors, the continuity, we definitely have that on the New Mexico side. I think that's very important. Not to mention, of those seniors and that continuity is the most important piece, Jalen House, who's a goddamn floor general and knows how to take care of business. Um, and you also got just great guard play in general, Jamal Mashburn Jr., who could create their own shot. I'm a little concerned you might see a zone out of Clemson, and I'm not sure how they're going to respond to it. But I do believe that those two pieces are going to be able to create their shots when push comes to shove, especially with a small spread like this. 
and the market's moving their way. You got New Mexico, who's 8 0 ATS on a neutral, on a neutral court, and impressive wins of it from the top to the bottom of that list are impressive covers. Uh, the rebounding and turnovers, you're going to have a massive possession advantage in this game with New Mexico. They're going to crush the offensive glass and the defensive glass, and they're going to create more turnovers. They have one of the, I think they have Jalen House leads the NCAA in steals in general. I think he's going to be able to do that today. And then I think you also have a coaching edge. I mean, you just go up and down the list. The only negative that I like to have line up for a complete correlation is free throws. Um, they're not the great, the greatest free throw shooting team in this type of range. But this type of spread, it is important. But at the end of the day, I've moved on New Mexico, and I moved significantly. I like it. Wow, interesting. Uh, before you jump in, Debbie Cab, I'd like to ask you a question. How do you feel with the market? Is, is the market giving you more confidence? Or how do you feel with 65% of the cash on New Mexico and a point or a, a half point move? Towards and, and kind of a sweetheart, too, right? Like, I know this is kind of becoming a public team, a public bet. New Mexico is at the same time, as long as I'm seeing line movement, I would love to see a three. If a three hit, and I know it's probably not going to end up getting there, but if a three hit, Man, I would, I would, I would double down on this play. I would so say triple down. The first thing I was going to jump in about uh, this game is the spread, two and a half. Um, that number has been a beautiful number, and I don't have the database, you know, that Troy has. So you might have something that can back what I'm about to say. But you know, numbers tell a story, right? It's perception. It's it's what you know we're willing to put our money on, what we're not. And that two and a half has been money through this whole tournament. You look at Oregon. Um, you know, they covered that number easily. That's you can go. Point. That's a good point. Um, let's go through some of the other games that had the one and a half, two and a half spread. The, the two and a half has just been covering uh, Texas. Michigan State. Okay, Mich that, Michigan State, uh, Texas. There's three, there's three or four yesterday. Yes. That that's, all came through. Except for Nevada, and they were up late. I don't think he got the two. It was one, I think. There okay. One, but. Col uh, Colorado's another one. Colorado. Colorado's another one. So, they're, yeah, Texas, Colorado, that two and a half point spread you know, has been hitting. And I, I don't want to say with ease because nothing's easy, but those those teams have been winning, you know, pretty comfortably. Too. And let me actually piggyback on what he, what Dabby's talking about here. Past two seasons, when you have a seed differential of two or more and the lower seed is favorites, just like in the Oregon game yesterday, just like in the Oregon game, 13 and two ATS. Now it's 14 and two Jesus. ATS. And you got this spot right here uh, with New Mexico. So that's the first thing, like when, without even looking into all of the game, like that's the first thing that jumps out is that two and a half. That number stands out to me, this tournament. It has, you know, uh, been very glaring. It's something that I look to bet right now. Now, what I'll say with Clemson, they shoot so many fucking threes. And, and, and you know, they don't run like a fast pace, a little bit, but not, not like somebody like Alabama, right? They're not going to speed it up to that type of tempo. And I don't like a team that doesn't have a fast enough tempo to match the amount of threes that they shoot. And that's what Clemson does. And that's why we see him lose games to Boston College, only putting up 55 points and things right. like that. Like, There's a lot we, of variance with it. Clemson started off the season super hot. But since the beginning of the season, they're frauds. I've said it I've said it from the jump. There's somebody I've faded throughout this season. Uh, New Mexico is a beautiful bet. I might get there with that also. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's, um, I guess, becoming more and more appealing. I wonder if I should move on the UAB Blazers as well. I'm going to put this all together here. Let's roll on to the next spot on the board. 4.15 p.m. Eastern, East Region, first round. The number 13 seed Yale Bulldogs, 22-9 versus number 4 seed Auburn Tigers, 27-7. and seven. We're back in Spokane, Washington for this one. And I have, I have Auburn taking out UConn uh, down the road. Here. I do, too. I'm with you on that. I do, too, actually, as well. Wow, that's okay. That's uh... so that was said yesterday, and my my take on it was I don't have a problem with it. Um, it's all about matchups and college basketball, and you know who's going to match up Klingon down low for UConn, and I think Auburn can do that. I, th I think that they can. I think you've got a good look right there. I am excited, uh, but uh, they're going to have to get through the Yale Bulldogs first to um, set up that matchup, uh, which would happen in the Sweet Sixteen. So let's talk about uh, Auburn. That was a very impressive run through the SEC. Very, very impressive. It's a tough, tough conference. They were good all year. Their, Pearl's team has just got a lot of strength and a lot of capability. And now they're playing the Yale Bulldogs. Let's take a look at the line history here for this one. We have Yale sitting at plus 13 and a half right now. Plus 13 and a half at Minus 104. This opened up at plus 13, so we have a half-point move uh, towards Auburn. And then cash flow-wise for this one, 60% of the tickets and 27% of the cash on Auburn. So big bets have been coming in on Yale. 
uh, just because I've got Auburn knocking out UConn doesn't mean I can't fade them here. And uh, is the market telling us that that's what we should do in the first half? What do you think, Troy? Do you, have, do you have a strong opinion on this one, Deb? I, I'll, I'll say this. I, I can look at the numbers just like anyone else. Uh, I haven't watched Yale play a lot. I like to bet what I've seen, what I've studied. I have not watched Yale play much. I've watched Auburn play a lot. My, my concern for uh, Yale in this is, you know, their slower pace of play and their lack of scoring could be a problem against Auburn. I think Auburn might take advantage of that here. Uh, the market's not going to uh, entice me to bet Auburn. No, but I'm, well, I mean, it depends on where you're looking at the opens and closes because, you know, some of these public books, they had this open at 11 and a half, you know, you got 73% of the spread bets spread cash on Yale and this market has okay. moved on that book down to 13 and a half. It's okay. two points. I don't really believe market moves in this price range is very is very uh, telling. I think there's no really no correlation, and I think that's cross sport when you get to uh, you know a three four possession spread. But I don't really have a strong feel in this game. I'm with Jimmy in terms of I think Auburn's making a deep run in this tournament, and I don't want to step in front of them. And so I'm definitely not betting Yale. I watched a little bit of Yale this season, and I was not impressed with what I seen out of that entire conference. Numbers tell me it's slow and boring it's slow and boring and they're going to try to even be more slow and boring yeah that's in this tournament work. if we remember how princeton played it was the slowest and most boring as shit you ever fucking watched but guess what they made their run they beat arizona in the first round uh, yeah i hmm. uh michael bonus is auburn it does love to run up the score on teams but it's a pass for him uh, let's roll on. Shout out to Pecan Pie. Says, hey, just stopping in to show some love. Talk sports with JT on Yale. What, plus what did 13. Ron Crawford say about Auburn? Deepest team. In the tournament. Deepest team in the tournament. Yeah. Um, my success in our contests are all based on uh, Auburn rolling as the four seed. Let's move on. Next up for us, South Region. First round, the number 10 seed, Colorado Buffaloes. 25 and 10 versus the number 7 seed, Florida Gators. Uh, this Florida Gators team... Uh, dealing with a terrible timing injury. They, they looked so good in that tournament, and then to, to lose their power forward is uh, just an enormous loss. Uh, yeah. And sad, sad uh, timing is just horrible. Uh, you know, they took out Alabama so easily. Uh, they took out uh, Texas A&M. Uh, you know, they just they looked like the real deal, and unfortunately, they're not anymore. Let's take a look at the line history here for this one. We have... Uh, Florida right now, there are pickums out there. Uh, Colorado is a minus one right now. They opened up at plus one and a half. And, you know, it, it was it's the same deal with Kansas. Like, we, and then I bet Kansas, you know, yesterday, the first half of full game, uh, which went one on one. But I, I just think that people take these injury news and just hammer away like it's a gift. And I don't know if that is the case here. 66% of the tickets and 82% of cash is on Colorado. Are you moving on Cal Colorado, Troy? I am not going to be moving on Colorado, but I will definitely not be moving on Florida. I mean, injury situations aside, this Florida team is a makeshift ass team. Um, they've in, they've you know acquired most of their players in the transfer portal. This is not a team I want to bet on in a you know win or go home type of situation. But at the same time, you got Eddie Lampkin. Some of the guys on the Colorado side are in the same boat. I just don't feel like I have a really good feel for this game, so. I see better, better opportunities, so I'm going to be looking elsewhere. What about you, Debbie Cap? I like Colorado first half a lot. Um, <clears throat> I haven't bet it. I have Colorado making a run. I've been clear about that. Oregon, Col Oregon and Colorado, when we talked about, you know, using points to buy teams, I said Oregon and Colorado is your value. People love to fade the Pac-12. They love to talk shit about it. I've gone on about being four deep on a team, right? To make a run in a tour tournament, you need to be at least four deep, right? De Silva. Simpson, Lampkin down low, like you were talking about, Cody Williams, um, yeah. those four right there. That's an, those are four very good college basketball players. Uh, Williams will be in the NBA. Um, I mean, Colorado's a good basketball team. Florida, if they hit their threes, they're all right. I know Clayton's going to shoot about seven or eight of them today. But Colorado, like I said, I got them making a run. I like Colorado first half. Um, I'll let you guys know if I get there with this one. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet, but I'll have a little more action today than usual, probably. Uh, Jake Flanagan on Colorado first half, a money line. Uh, Nick or Red Sox says uh, the uh, 
He says FAU is in big trouble. He says so far. We need we 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 do What's want the score of that game. I'm What's waiting to live bet it. I'm gonna hit that shit right here I as mean, soon as I. They were up four to one the last time I checked. Yeah, I, I thought it was four four, but maybe I'm wrong. Four four. So I mean, we also the, uh, have the low corner, shack. We have the corner of Taint uh, and Spreadsheet Boulevard on Nebraska. Taint. And, yes, uh, Pete. We're gonna get you and Sean Higgs on after. We're gonna keep running through, and then you and Sean are gonna come on right after. So we're gonna get the. Pistol Pete Loshak and Sean Higgs' is action Gee, is that here. Your water? Uh, let's roll on to the next spot on water the board. It? And uh, Jose, my friend, the taint play of the day is here on Nebraska Moneyline. Can you please? <laughs> Dabby Cab is not happy. A Z C not you too, Maddie. Says, where's the pimp? Yes, Mikey Money and Gokester are gonna be jumping on. Uh, they're gonna be capping the NHL card, which we're gonna do right after this. And also And the spreadsheet too. And the spreadsheet play the, of the day. You know what? You go ahead. You do oh, that's another one that right there. I won't say I told you so because I'm not be that type involved. of person. This is going to be hard to get involved with this one. I'm going to tell you that much. You've got everyone on Nebraska, so. Well, let's talk about it here. South region first round. Uh, the Aggies, 20 and 14, facing Nebraska in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, let's get into the uh, line history here for this one. Uh, I don't know if I move on Colorado. I don't, uh, uh, but let's talk about this spot here. Nebraska right now is minus one. At minus one, oh, oh God, Nebraska is now plus one and a half. This just, they sure are, but if you looked at my Twitter, you got in at uh, plus money or plus points with AM because we've been there. We already been there. Wow. That thing flipped just like Oregon, and what did I, I tell you guys this, was going to happen this, with Oregon? This might be it. This, huh? might be the, this might be the indicator for me. Yeah. Don't worry. Wow. We got in last night at plus a half a point in the first half with a and Wow. So we've had Nebraska went from minus one to plus one and a half. <laughs> What did we say about that spread right there? One and a half to two and a half points, boys. Wow. Wow. Uh, yes, the pimp. Don't worry. The pimp is going to be on. I know you guys are uh, clamoring for the pimp. The pimp will be on today's show. Uh, well, that makes me very, very uncomfortable. Uh, and I haven't bet it yet, so I'm not going to bet it. 42% of the tickets and 29% of cash on Nebraska. This camera's not straight. It's funny that our that all of the guys here are on Nebraska believing in Nebraska because the public is on Texas A&M Aggies uh, for them. 58% of tickets, 71% of the cash. You know, you feel very passionate about this game, Daddy Cab, and uh, why don't you uh, wax on it, my man? Okay, so here's the narrative with this uh, Nebraska team. You know, it's, it's how long since they've been in a game like this. How long has this, you know, school gotten to a spot like this? It's been a long time. I get it. You know, there's people like that fairy tale story. But this a and &M team has a few players. I'm going to name them. Radford, you know, he can ball. Coleman, uh, Wade Taylor, um, Solomon Washington. And I'm not naming them because they're talented. I'm name naming them because they were on the a &M team last year that got fucked. Everybody remembers, you know, that that selection Sunday. a and should have got in. And, I, and, you know, that wasn't a fandom thing in me. They got screwed last year. And those those guys are very talented players who could have transferred out. But instead of transferring, they stayed at that same school. They're still here on the same team. They have been waiting for this game longer today than any player on any other team has been waiting for this game. These boys are ready. I'm telling you, they are going to come out. They're going to be aggressive. We already know AM's is the number one um, offensive re re rebounding team in the nation. They're number three overall in total rebounding. Um, and, you know, I know you look at Nebraska. They're 60th. They're not bad. Uh, but the, you're you're going to see the the mismatch on the boards today. You're going to see the mismatch on aggression. Uh, Buzz Williams, he's going to run four or five different defenses within the first half. He'll he'll change his presses. Uh, he'll have the defense moving. I promise he'll have them ready for this game. Um, Buzz Buzz Williams is coaching for his job right now. He they need to they need to win a couple of these games because it's been too long coming for him to get them in this tournament. And I think he's a great coach. So I, I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for this team here and. Uh, I got him first half, and I think I'm going to bet him full game money line now too. I, I I hate that I missed it, but I am already official on the first half plus half a point minus one ten. What do you think? I think Dabby brings up some compelling points about how this team got fucked last year, and they've been mm -hmm. waiting for this opportunity. And they got guys that have been there, they've been together. They you're know a how to player. Play each other. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? These guys are fucking ready. I'm telling you, they're hungry. 
these guys are hungry. I could I could definitely see that. And I was leaning their way heavily. Like I was getting ready to move on Texas A and M, and then I thought about what happened in day one of this tournament. This is the only thing keeping me back from Texas A and M right now. Nothing to do with the market. Now the market moving back towards Texas A and M is is very very important. But look what happened with Michigan State and Mississippi State. Look what happened with Kentucky. These teams in the SEC, they just haven't fucking stepped up to the fucking um to the challenge and i don't know like this to me seems like the nebraska is going to get out tough out physical up and down the court the entire game that's what i see happening but the only thing keeping me back is just looking what happened in day one and it's uh, it's a really tough game i got a lot of time to sit on this game think about it but right now it's texas a&m or pass i just want to i just want to point out though that is a kentucky team that a&m beat twice that is a mississippi state team that a&m beat so bringing up these teams that have been that have been knocked out. You know, AM has beat them and they're shooting. I get it, Ron Crawford. AM is terrible at shooting. That's why their rebounding numbers are so high. But in their last four games, which these four games have been more important, they put up 86, 80, 97, and 90 points. That's offense right there, regardless if it's coming off boards or fucking shot percentage. That's offense, right? And I made this comment and Jimmy, you kind of laughed, but you know, if you're getting two and three op- opportunities, 38, 40%. That's a whole that that adds up, right? Yeah, you're, getting you're getting more eight more chances to exactly. shoot the fucking basketball. I understand that the percentage is still the same, but the opportunities and, are higher, which means on. them. Let's talk about the rebounding real quick. So we got the number one offensive rebounding team versus the team that allows the most offensive rebounds in the entire country. Uh oh. I think they're him. 355. Talk uh, to let's him. Let's see. I want to see this number. Offensive rebound percentage. Well, let's go off and offensive rebounds per game. Nebraska's ranked 355th. Uh oh. Wow. Uh-oh. And you got the number one on the other side. So there's a huge fucking mismatch there. Wow. Well, I tell you, I'm not going to bet Nebraska. Let's bless this game right here. Let me have that Hennessy, Jimmy. You know what? You yeah. know what? I think that if Nebraska, if this line was sitting at two and a half right now, if Nebraska was laying two and a half, I'd probably be on Nebraska. That's just how my mind works. Nobody's sharper than the bookies, man. The reason this line's flipping right now, very strong shit. Very strong. Razor, razor's pretty sharp. Razor, razors, razors are sharp. Nate's such an asshole. I, at this point, I don't know when he's trying to fuck with people. He's, he's, he's being, a, he's being a mom. Yeah, I just want to go ahead and give you guys a behind the scenes. Okay, shout out to my guy X Nizzle. He is the nicest person on the planet, right? <laughs> the nicest person on the planet. But I looked at, I got Mike, Razor, Big Show, and Nate sitting at the table, and I and Jimbo says something, X Nizzle, and I look at everyone. And I said. You guys are such assholes that you have made the nicest person in the world an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck you. See, that's um, what I'm talking about right there. Uh, Rez Mob in the house. I love hearing that. Rez Mob and Lee Davis. My guy, Lee Davis. Uh, so dope to see you back in business, man. Uh, what a great capper you are. And haven't uh, seen you in the chat in a while. And, um, I just uh, love seeing you. I love the way you kept, man. So Lee Davis in the house. Uh, cheers, you guys. Uh, let's get that cash. Yeah, uh, we move yeah, on to the next yeah, game. Yeah. Duke, Vermont, next up for us. Oh, Jesus. South region, first round. I'm used to it. The Catamounts, 28 and 6 versus number four seed Duke Blue Devils, 24 and 8. Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, let's set this uh, up for everybody. Uh, Vermont dominated the America East. They were uh, clearly the class of the conference. And now here they are in the dance. Uh, Let's take a look at the line history. And, you know, uh, I told you guys on the show yesterday that I thought Kentucky was vulnerable. And I feel the same way about Duke. Let's get into Filipowski is soft. They're He's not, baby they're shit. They're just not physical. They're just not a physical. Filipowski is soft like baby shit. <laughs> Uh, 11 and a half opened up 11 and a half now 12 and a half so we have a one point move towards the blue devils and we have uh cash wise 47 percent of tickets and 78 percent of cash on vermont now the line's moving towards duke and the big bets are coming in on vermont dabby cab do you have any interest in this spot no i don't uh we talk about these lines this 12 and a half 13 and a half this is the one where you see these uh teams like kansas you know almost losing full game uh, regardless how you feel about that foul, we, we these this this is the line where I see the dog staying in the game here. I saw it yesterday. Um, I think you take a dog here, pass. I, I think I said it. Filipowski is soft like baby shit. I mean that. You know he shoots the three all right, but for a big guy, he is not physical enough for me down low. 
at all. That's why, you know, when they were going against North Carolina, that was easy. Even even at home for Duke, that was easy for me to take North Carolina because, like I said, I knew that Filipowski wouldn't match up. Um, did did mine go dancing last year, Debbie? No. Did they? I don't think so. Wasn't it two years ago? Two yeah, I'd have to go. I'd yeah. have to go back and. It wasn't last year. It was two years ago. You're right. Uh, all right. So, uh, and no, AOD, you got money in the bank, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I only had a croissant yesterday, and I drank my face off. So I, it was a short early night for me. I'm good to go. I'm ready to fucking rock. Good to go, ready to rock. Uh, yeah, I, you know, the line, the one point move towards the Duke Blue Devils with the big bets being on Vermont uh, makes me not want to be involved in this basketball game. I would like to pass on this basketball game. Uh, Ron Crawford says Vermont has no one over six foot eight. How can they deal with Filipowski? And uh, Michael Bonner says if I was going to grab a side, it would be Vermont, but this is not as good of a Vermont team as they've had in years past. Hey, Ron, how did how did Fairleigh Dickinson, with nobody over the size of six foot three, deal with uh, what's his name? Who's the big Purdue fucking guy? Edie. Edie. How do they deal with them? I, I tell you how you deal with. I cannot believe that I'm on Purdue to win the tournament. Uh, oh, I am not, too, Jimmy. That's, that's actually impressive. I, shit. I, I did not. Uh, I mean, that was not the plan. It was more of a panic. Yeah, I, panicked, I, I am uh, too. By the way, uh, Matty Ice gave a public palooza play over rebounds for Zach Eady. Oh, nice. Was, yeah. Let me put it like this: If he doesn't get in foul trouble, no, nobody beats them. Like, if if he stays out of foul trouble, you know, you watch that. Uh, that Wisconsin game, I was so disgusted by the way that the coach wasn't going at Edie after he had two fouls. He came, he had two fouls in the first uh, few minutes of the game. Then he came back into play in the end of the first half with eight minutes, and they didn't have one guard attack him. It, it, you you have to push the fouls if you want to be Purdue. It's right. that, Put him that's in screen and roll. Have put to. wall in the paint. Have There's to. so many ways. I agree. That's, that's how you beat good. Purdue, and I, I don't think I've seen right. anybody do it yet, and I don't understand. I just I don't understand. I'm yeah. not saying it's easy. I'm just saying that's the formula, and I haven't even seen people attempt the formula. Yeah, I, I did. I, I I did not expect to be here with Purdue to win it all. I mean, I haven't bet the future on them or anything like that, but I have them in my my contest, uh, in my bracket. Uh, and Dan Kelly, this will be the last one here, and then we'll move on. Dan Kelly, Duke team total under. Duke team total under for Dan Kelly, and uh, he says uh, similar play to the Texas team total under yesterday. They posted in the chat. Easy casher for Dan Kelly, and he's on Duke team total under. We are loading up FAU first half. I just need a few more points from Northwestern, and I will take it live. 10-8 with nine minutes and 20 seconds <laughs> left. And for those of you joining us late, uh, our leader, our guy, Jeff Slaughter, 3K on the Owls uh, money line. Let's move on. Next spot on the board, 7.25 p.m. Eastern, the Midwest region. First round, the number 16 seed, Grambling Tigers, 21-14, versus the aforementioned Purdue Boilermakers and Toronto, uh, Toronto, Canada's Zach Eady. Zach, you have Eady, you know, at the five, and then you have guys who can hit outside shots, and it's a pretty, pretty nice situation. This is the best Purdue team we've seen in a long time. And, and what ended up happening for me was that I just got too, and, and, this, and I made this may be a mistake, but I got too caught up in what happened with Virginia when they got bounced, uh, one seed, 16 seed. They came back and won, won the whole thing. And, and I guess that, that was the final thing that I couldn't get over. I think that Zach, everyone knows Zach Eady's last. Uh, run we know where he's going next year uh also when he was with team canada this summer he grew up that's what happens when you hang out with men you grow up you grow up fast and he is a fucking man and i'm taking one and a half fau full game fau full game one and a half right now what juice uh minus 112 Purdue's a 26 and a half point favorite though here uh, they opened up at oh it's just moved to 27 and a half it moved to 27 and a half about 40 minutes ago uh, it's just a huge number and the, we don't have the cash info 52 percent of tickets are on purdue i don't need this i don't need to be yeah, involved here you know what i agree i don't want to be involved with these 20 20 point spreads i don't even look at them i think they're so damn sharp i think it's going to land real close to this number yeah dabby have any interest in grambling purdue no, no interest in that game. Um, I think the who gave out the rebounding prop? Obviously, I, I obviously, yes. I, I, Matty Ice. Is, I think this is a game you look at props, just like I did with the Baylor game. Uh, I'd rather take college props are great. Look at the props. And Steve, uh, we're watching the game. It's not blind uh, live bets. Or the, the game's right in front of us. We're all watching it right now. So um, uh, these are not good, uh, blind live bets. Um, I'm not used to uh, Steve uh, being so. Um, angry with uh with what's going on here then uh but jimmy so. you know we we all laughed the first night but i, I you know 
I don't plan on not winning. Numbers speak fucking louder than words, so I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Let's I, roll on. I am a casual nine and one on the weekend. You so are far. nine and, and one. And how many of those bets did you ride with me on? A few. Uh, at least two. So oh, shout okay. out to you, Kat. Yeah, I gave you two more yesterday. You just didn't fucking do it. Also, well. Buffalo Sabres first period. Yep, that was great. Shout out. Uh, let's go. Uh, West Region first round. The number 13 seed Charleston Cougars versus number four seed Alabama Crimson Tide. We're back in Spokane, Washington here for this one. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, line history for this one. We have Alabama minus nine at Pinnacle. There are nine and a halfs out there, but it's a nine here at Pinnacle. There's been a half point move to the College of Charleston. Then from a cash flow standpoint here, 38% of the tickets and 61% of the cash is on Alabama, and there's been a half point move uh, towards Charleston Cougars. When is Alabama's lack of defense going to uh, kick them out of the tournament? When's that going to happen? Because it's going to happen at some point. Uh, their defense is so bad. They just think that it's, a, it's playground basketball. They think they can outscore you. And it's just, uh, it's just. So what I think about this is kind of what I thought about Kansas. Um, kind of what I thought about Gonzaga. Um, you know, Alabama has lost three of their last four games, Jimmy. They haven't looked good lately. Um, one of them being a game against Tennessee, you know, that was basically for the SEC championship. So that was a huge game. They didn't show up. They lost there. Um, then they lost two games against Florida. They, they turned around lost to Florida at the end of the season. Then they lost to Florida in the tournament. Um, I think the first half is a great spot for Alabama. I don't, I don't like getting involved in um, the bigger spreads sometimes, but I think first half with Alabama, I think they should come out pretty damn aggressive. You know, Charleston, one thing I will say about them is they do keep pace. Uh, they are there. I mean, nobody keeps pace with Alabama, but Charleston can, can play at a fast place pace. So full game, I would stay away from Alabama, but first half, I like it. I like it a lot. I can't wait to fade Alabama and I kind of want to do it here, but I'm not going to Justin McKelvey just moved on FAU live. Just moved on FAU live. Uh, Charleston, Alabama. Troy, did you have any interest in it? This is a game. I see a lot of variance. Anytime I look at an Alabama game, I look at a total of 173. I think there could be a lot of variance could be close for a long time. And then, you know, a team runs away with it towards the end or, or vice versa. Bama could be up very early in this game and get out to a big lead and give it up. I just don't like uh, the way this spot profiles. I think you're going to see a lot of variance in this game. I think isn't Charleston one of the – don't they attempt threes at one of the highest rates in the in all of college basketball? And Yeah, this is not oh, a game Charleston? I want to be, Yeah. Well, if the only team that might shoot as many as Alabama, so yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of variance. I'm not I'm not going to be involved in this game. I think Debbie, you said first half for you. I'm not betting it. I'm just telling you that I think Alabama, after struggling, losing three of their last four games, I think they come out highly motivated early in this game. I think that f first half of this game would be a good spot to look at them. You know, you can look at Sears props. I keep <laughs> I'm going to keep preaching this. I like props in college basketball a lot, and it's something that I think more people should get more interested in because you know they take second. Second seat. They're not like, you know, NBA. You don't have people jumping on them a lot. It just seems like these these spreads right now with the, with the sharp action, the, the books are moving away from the sharp action, which is just surprising. Everything just... was so clear yesterday. Yeah. Everything yeah. was so clear. We hammered it. We made a lot of money. And this is – I just don't I, – I, when we were going down the games yesterday, uh, all these spots, yes, I'm going to hit this, I'm going to hit this, I'm going to hit this. I, I don't feel the same thing happening at this point. Let's roll on to the next one because we've got a few games left. And then we're going to hear from Peter Loshak. And Sean Higgs, uh, they're going to hear their picks uh, on these games. And then we move into NHL. NHL with Mikey Money and Mr. Gokster. And then NBA with Daryl, uh, our guy, uh, Daryl Rice, in the house. So uh, South Region first round, number 16 seed, Longwood Lancers, 21 and 13 at the number one seed, Houston Cougars, 30 and 4, FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, look, Longwood was 6 and 10 in their conference. And, you know, we all were backing them through the conference tournament and, and, we made money. Thanks to Mike, Mikey Money, huh? Yeah. He's a Longwood guy. He is. He and is. He, I don't know if you guys knew this, but the last, the biggest upsets in the NCAA and NCAA tournaments come from teams that have like sexual innuendos, like Oral Roberts, like Fairley Dickinson. Well, mm -hmm. here you got Longwood. Okay. You got him versus Houston. Looks Mike, like a good spot. Mike told me specifically that he likes deep Longwood. I mean, Longwood to go deep. That's, that's what he said. <laughs> okay. It's open. It's open to 24 and a half, and it's now at 24. We'll, we'll ask Mike. He'll, he'll have to. He'll, it we'll was to one yeah, of the two. It was yeah. definitely one of the two. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll have to ask him about uh, how, how, how deep. Uh, but then let's get into the cash flow here for this one. 25% of the tickets and 67% of the cash is on the Longwood Lancers. 
a sharp action on Longwood uh, and the half point move towards Longwood. Can Longwood stay in this basketball game? I get the feeling that Longwood can stay in this basketball game, but here's another 20 point spread that I don't want to be involved with. I'm just going to pass on this game. I do have Houston going deep in this tournament. I think Longwood keep this one closer than, you know, fucking 10 possessions. So um, this is too big, too big of a number, in my opinion, for a team like Houston who plays low, plays good defense, low scoring games. I'm passing. I'm interested. Uh, I'm interested in Longwood first half. I'm interested in Longwood first half. I, I don't you think from a market standpoint that you know this is very appealing? I do. I do. And that's why I was so close to moving on Longwood. But I also know psychologically this Longwood team going into a team like Houston, they could get so suppressed early from such physical athletic defense that they might not. I mean, I could see them folding pretty early in this game and just being completely outclassed. Like they go into their shell after a team like Houston puts the clamps on them. But are they going to be motivated, Houston, to come out and really fucking clamp down versus a Longwood team? No. Survive in advance, right? Mm -hmm. Big shot, FAU. Let's go. Man, I, I, I leaned I on that first I half, know. but I saw the one and a half full game. I was like, fuck it, fuck it. I'm so the first game. half? No, full game. That's better. That's yeah. better. Northwest is the first half team. But I, I really believe that Longwood is a, a very, um, especially early in this game. Let's roll on. Uh, I'm interested in Longwood. Uh, uh, Dabby Cab, are you interested in in this Longwood Houston game? What I would say, um, I, I do understand. Oh, man, Daryl, oh my God. What's up, bro? It's good, Daryl. Nice What's to meet you. What's going on, man? What's going on, bro? Man. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. This motherfucker right here, though. What the hell are y'all doing? Oh, you know, just bullshitting like always. We got Durrell in yeah, the Yeah, we're house. live. Say what's up. They can see us. Yeah, yeah we're live, man. We got Durrell in Here, the house. Say what's up. Yeah, say what's up, Durrell. Say what's good, man. We got a big NBA card to cap tonight. You ready to rock, man? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This is nice. This is a nice little setup. Man. Yeah, this that was a nice. oh, damn. Can I pour you a uh, shot of Hennessy, my friend? Can you? <laughs> Yes, you may. Yeah, yes, yeah. You, well, yes, you may. Okay, we're going to get right back to work here. Okay, back but, to work. Uh, oh, but right. get you, uh, let's get you a shot of Hennessy. Yeah, and, and everybody's we... taller than me, too, man. So this is not cool. Yeah, we're a tall group. We're a tall group, man. Yeah. He's uh, a little late. Oh, let's go. FAU, baby. I, I, I hate fading my Northwestern team. This is a team of nerds that I like to. I like to bet on, okay? I like this Northwestern team. I made a lot of money betting this team. Boo Booey and the boys. Oh, shorthanded here, man. Just short in. All right, man. So who, who who's already drunk? Oh, we're getting there. We're on our way. Right. Cheers. Right, uh cheers. Durrell, our first time in person with is Durrell, baby. Yeah. Finally. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh, All right. Yeah. Uh, so get get your uh get your MBA uh ready. You're gonna yeah, be here. Yeah. Uh, probably probably an hour and a half. Oh god damn! <laughs> yeah, you probably you probably got an hour and a half. Yeah, uh, I'm 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 good. Because NHL's yeah. after this. Yes. Oh yes. god damn! All right, let's get rolling here. Uh, but Daryl Rice in San Antonio. Yeah, you want your spot back? I gotta look at some NBA. And yeah, yeah. Three. Get yeah, get your get your get your work together, man. Get your work. Together. All right. On, okay. Uh, man, it's fun, isn't this? Like, uh, I and I and I said a lot uh, yesterday, but in life, your expectations have to be at the most minimal thing. You can't ever have expectations because you'll always uh, be hurt. Fuck, I got to take my hat off. Again. When you roll with us, your expectations are met and uh, they exceed your expectations and all these guys are just fucking magic. 9.40 p.m. Eastern, we have the South Region first round. The number 12 seed, James Madison Dukes, 31-3 and three at the number 5 seed, Wisconsin Badgers, 22-13. and 13. We're at Barclay Center in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, let's take a look at uh, this spot here. Uh, James Madison has been a darling for gamblers. A lot of people believing in James Madison. And Dabby Cab, as soon as the uh, announcement uh, on Sunday, when we not f figured out who the seeds were, you immediately liked James Madison. James Madison right now is uh, plus five and a half. They opened up at five and a half. There was a, there were a five for a little while. They're right back at five and a half. So at this point. At this point, there's been a five cent move towards Wisconsin. And then when we get to the cash flow here, 24% of tickets and 32% of cash is on Wisconsin. And I want to bet Wisconsin. Uh, Cab, tell me why I should not bet Wisconsin. Listen, I, I'm, I, I wouldn't even consider this a, 
what you like to call a waffle, I'm off James Madison. And I never really felt like betting him after that initial statement when I first saw the game. Mm -hmm. Um, so I have nothing to keep you off here. I, I, I wanted James Madison first half, uh, when the games first came out, like you're right. Um, but after seeing the line, after seeing the numbers and looking at it a little bit more and hearing how public James Madison is, I know it's stupid to let something like that push you off, but it's not. I, I fuck that. I don't when a dog when a dog is public, it's not my it's not my not my cup of tea. So yeah. I, I'm with you, Jimmy. I'm with you. This looks very appealing to me from a Wisconsin standpoint. You got a lot of action, a lot of public sentiment on this James Madison team. Line ain't fucking moving. And that line's at five and a half. You know what? You look at James Madison, they've been a dog very rarely this year, maybe only one time all season. It was in the first game of the year. They took Michigan State to overtime and won. Okay, that's a, that's a good win. That's a solid win. It was the first game of the year, so Michigan State was definitely not where they are today. But it was still impressive nonetheless. Huh? Outside of that, they've only played one other team in the top 100, right? Only one other team. It was App State, and they lost both times at home and on the road, this App State team. Both of them? This team is hey, goddamn. This, Jimmy. Yeah. First thing we did, let's go. And the boys, the whole house is riding on it. So, you know, I want it. The two props, Walter and uh, Bridges. They just said one of them's already got two and one of them's got one. The game just started. Just started, yeah. Let's fucking I think, get I that think shit. Nunya texted me. Hold on. I think Nunya jumped on this shit, too. 21, props. 21 said, 8 uh, Baylor right now. Colgate taking it in the uh, drink. He said, oh, he said Alabama first half, Nunya. Roll tide. And then he said uh, assist prop. Clayton Jr.? Is he, is that Florida, yeah. You can look at Clayton Jr.'s assist and threes. That motherfucker. Can hit okay, I'm betting Wisconsin. Okay, well, you, Wisconsin. okay, you got – and I'm, I'm not done with this team. I mean, so the market's extremely favorable. James Madison, their strength of schedule is very, very weak. Very weak. This is a five-and-a-half point spread. How appetizing does James Madison look Ray. catching five-and-a-half? I mean, just up and down the board. You got Wall, Crawl, Crawl fucking uh, Klesmet. Hepburn, all these guys have played together for three or more years. We've seen this team win important games, and I think they could do this again here. I, I, I don't see how anybody could look at this situation and want to bet James Madison, and that's my opinion. This is perfect. Razor, you got the other side? Got uh, <laughs> Lil Domus is not your tall group. My boy, Since my boy, hold on. You want the seat? Oh, Razor Sharp Razor, picks in the Razor house. Wants drop some knowledge. Razor wants to drop some knowledge. I'm going to let him go. Yeah, let him run. We got a... Uh... Four hundred dollar gamblers first glance. Wisconsin minus five and a half. Let me talk to perfect, you why. Perfect, perfect. Line open up at four. Wisconsin. Wisconsin minus open minus four. Line is now to five and a half. You know how many percent is betting on JMU? I'll tell you. Sixty eight percent of the money. Seventy six percent of the bets are all on JMU, and the line is just getting better and better for all you JMU backers. So get them. Get them. Go ahead. Yeah. Get him. You, you like four? Okay, here's a four and a half. Oh, you like that? Here's a little five for you. Oh, five's good for you? Here's a five and a half. I love a razor. I, I fucking Let's love go. It. I'm, I'm going to I'm get it right it. now. I'm moving on. I'm not going to get it right now, but I'm going to move it uh, on after the show. You might as well get it right now. Get it now. It's going to move to just six. Just get it while. I get it while. Uh, it's there, okay, I will uh, I will bet it then right here. But uh, I love it. A gambler's first glance. Uh, Jose, can we play our... GFG video for our guy Razor Sharp Picks. New Wisconsin whiskey. It's I think whiskey. I think we're I think we're seeing some sharp ass motherfuckers over here in Pop Sports Radio in Southtown 101 right now. New spending. Bro, we're all aligning. Everybody, everybody I talked to. I know, yeah. it's but we all beautiful. share knowledge, so yeah. like that it does, it makes sense, right? Yeah. But I'm. It looks like I'm going to start today off with an L on Colgate first half, which uh, we started winning immediately yesterday and just right. lapped in it. But I mean, that's an early. I don't even know what the score good. is right now. It's twenty-one eight. It's all good. Uh, you it's know, um, eight. I'm gonna I'm gonna have probably three or four thousand dollars in in action, so it's, it's all good. Uh, I mean, you don't like starting out that way, but it's fine. Uh, let's move on to the next spot on the board. Uh, we have two games left here that we're going to cap here with the squad, and then we're going to have Peter Loshak and uh, Sean Higgs. Uh, we're going to hear their looks on this. Uh, yeah. We're rapid fire. We're going to go really, really quickly. Uh, and then moving. Oh, beautiful. Okay, oh, cool. No. So uh, 9.55 p.m., we have the Midwest region first round, the number nine seed, TCU Horned Frogs, 21 and 12, at the number eight seed, Utah State Aggies, 27 and 6. We're at Cambridge Fieldhouse. In Indianapolis, Indiana, let's get into the line history here for this one. We have a TCU right now, minus four. 
at minus 107. God, I can't wait to bet whiskey. I cannot wait to bet whiskey. I just, I know. That, I, just, I, just uh, I just moved that. So we have a one-point move towards the, the horned frogs. They've gone from minus three to minus four. And cash-wise here, we have a 48% of the tickets on TCU and 41% of the cash. Uh, any interest in this one? Very. Dab oh, uh, I'm very one. interested in this game. Let him yeah. take it then. Yeah, bro. You have a team here in Utah State. This is a this is the perfect profile for a team you want to fade when it comes to the NCAA tournament. Every single player that gets over 10 minutes in this team per game, none of them were here last year. This is a makeshift team. This is exactly why I bought NC State last year or yesterday. Uh, you have a you have a bunch of guys who have not played against each other, played with each other, and you have TCU guys who two or more years, a lot like Wisconsin, maybe not as much continuity here with TCU because you have some transfers in the in the mix too, like Lampkin and whatnot. But at the same time, there is so much continuity here with this TCU team. You got the market moving their way, and I think I think it sets up perfectly. I moved on. I split a, un, a, a unit first half full game, and if I don't cover first half minus two, I will be moving live on TCU. I'm I love it. Yeah, I'm I interested. love it. TCU is the only way I would look at this game. Um, I, I love everything you said about that. Um, Utah State, uh, they're they're just they're not going to match up physically against TCU. That's that, it's that simple. One of the favorite things I like to look at in college basketball is how we're going to match up, how the how the game's going to play out. You know, on the boards, down low in the paint. Um, even with all the three shooting we see, it's still very important down there. And TCU is going to dominate this game. That's that it, it's same how I feel about AM and in Nebraska. TCU dominates this game down low. This is the one Mountain West team that I don't find appealing at all in this uh, first round. <laughs> this is exciting because uh, we're going to be at the Brooklyn Poker Room uh, for our poker tournament tonight. Beautiful, beautiful new room here in San Antonio. And I'm going to have Wisconsin and TCU action. I'll probably have Longwood first half. I'm going to have a ton of action going on. Let's fucking go. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm loving what we got. I mean, what we do have, there's a lot. Not everything is aligning like it did yesterday. But at the same time, there's some really good spots here today. And I'm really excited about this card. Yeah, I'm now, I now am. Because I was going through uh, all these spots where I wasn't moving. And I was... Um, but now I am. I, I love having that action here. Uh, let's move on to the final spot on the board here. And then we're going to hear Peter Loshak and Sean Higgs. And we're going to go rapid fire with them. Uh, then we're going to get into NHL and then NBA. Thank you guys so much for supporting our channel, Pub Sports Radio. Uh, this is, um, I, I don't, I mean, the, we're, we're all very similar and very alike. And, and family first is something that you hear all of us say and all of us believe in. Uh, a lot of us have children and families, and we uh, family first. And then it's this family. It's our family, uh, the gamblers. Uh, you know, this is just what, once you step foot in the Southtown 101 with this squad, I mean, the bar's not open and we got it completely packed. <laughs> it's completely packed here. Watch my right. right. It's just fucking and everything. Magic, everything lives up to the expectation yeah. here, man. This studio is just a beautiful thing. You got the screen. I mean, just everything here. Just, it's just the studio, bro. This is where, God damn. God, I wish I wish we could if we could just guys, we have to get pub sports radio to the level where we, we can sit here right here. Us three and do this on the regular with you guys. This is what it's about. right oh, here. I right? want to move to San Antonio. Man, I'll tell you that much. I uh, told you if you do, I will. Oh, I love it. It's that simple. It. We got Kelsey in the house. She said that we both went on Buffalo because she had Oilers full game. And, but I, I, I did. Oh. I did lose on the Sabres uh, full game, but it was a. Uh, but, that I'm but fine the plus with. 150. I mean, oh yeah, I made made money on see, the game. This is the thing, and if you look at my NFL, where I'm most confident is in the NFL. My my average line is plus over plus 130. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's ridiculous line, and that just shows you plus money is fucking important. It's and you mentioned that to me. You mentioned ass. that to me uh, about Hockey. the plus line and and in our wheelhouse. It, it, in your wheelhouse, you shouldn't be. There should be no vig if it's your wheelhouse. You should know that, the spots you want to attack. The fuck is that and about? And you can tell in your in your in your lines. And if you look at Jimmy's average line across all the different sports, you could tell where he's most confident. Yeah, it's in the NHL. Oh yeah, no doubt. No and, doubt. And I and I'm and at the end of the season, we know where Jimmy's going to be. When it's oh, all done. Uh, but you know, last year, <laughs> last year was such a struggle in NHL. I didn't get into the black until the, the final sport. game. Wasn't the that the game. only? It wasn't was. that the, the only, only sport? That the you, only <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, and it and it's my highest unit size and, and, and whatever. I but um. Look, uh, we're, we're going to get that cash. Let's go into the final spot here. Grand Canyon Lopes, 29 and four versus number five seed St. Mary Gales. We're back in Spokane, Washington. Nobody's ever said beautiful Spokane, Washington. 
Uh, let's get into the line history here. We have Grand Canyon sitting at plus six, and now it's juiced to minus 115. So they've gone from five and a half to six. There's been a half point move to St. Mary's. And then uh, cash-wise here, we have 69% of the tickets and 72% of cash on Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon is a public dog with the market slightly moving against them, and it's too bad. Because I would have liked to have bet them, and I'm not going to bet them unless I hear a breakdown from either of you guys that wants uh, to back them. Uh, I, have a, I have a feeling Dabby's going to be on the St. Mary's side. Well, the first thing I got to say, Spokane's not bad. I mean, it's a it's a pretty place. It's not. <laughs> it's not the worst. It's not the worst. No. There's no. mountains and shit. We don't have that here. No, it's not Kabul, but it's not. Uh, <laughs> okay. 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 I got you. Anyways, no. Look. Okay. So let's it's let's get into Pyongyang. this game. Did okay. you say Kabul because of Pete? I did say Kabul because of Pete. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, I, I just walked over to try to find Pete, and everyone's you know hanging out by the bar, and then yeah. Pete just by himself on his computer of just tapping. Yeah. Oh, oh it's the first time I ever saw the first time. Let me just say this. Wait, wait, no way. Can I tell everybody something about you, Jimmy? Nope. That I found so respectful. Uh, okay. Yesterday, this man worked his fucking ass into oblivion, man. We were drinking. We were having fun. It's all good. This man did nothing but bust his fucking ass. So when he's out here breaking the shit down, you know this man put in the work necessary. I have to put that out there because all work, no play yesterday. Hopefully there's a little bit of play today. Yeah. Well, I, I just got too liquidated. Do not give credit to Razor, <laughs> Jimmy, Ixnizzle, or any of you other motherfuckers who went to bed at 430 yesterday. Look, uh, uh, look, it's the sauce. <laughs> the, the sauce was the bottom, I don't know, man. Choice, but he's giving you guys the wrong story right now. Look, I'm just gonna uh, let everyone know that right now. Look, this is the guy I want to follow. I want to follow the oh, guy that fuck. fucking capsule passes the fuck out. And then I was up at 6 a.m. capping this motherfucking card, man. It'd be wait, wait till we get into NHL and NBA and you see that the work is being done. And I do have oh, I'm not saying you didn't do the work, no, I no, believe no. the work. I'm well, just saying, at, at 8 o'clock tonight, I would like to still be hanging out with my friends. That no, I get, I, get, I, get, I, get, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's the soup, man. Sometimes the soup is the boss, and the soup told me to shut the fuck down. Dude. Yo, here's another story. Uh, T's over there laughing. Fuck you, T. I'll put you on blast, too. So T's like, hey, I'm going to come back to the house, and I, we're going to smoke a little bit with you guys. Jimbo and Razor were going to take a nap, which ended up meaning go to bed. Um and T walks in our house within three minutes. He's asleep on the couch. Within three minutes, he's We're literally old man. We're like, old. What do you? T twenty four years old. Okay, T's not old. T's not. Old. But uh, no, you know, uh, yeah. I the problem. I got my. I got these. Uh, I got these uh, J thirteens on that are beautiful, and there's puke on the right sneaker. Uh, oh, man. oh man, fucking oh, sucks, man. man. You know you can. Uh, I I yeah. You I'll, get like Wind Windex and a like a paper towel and just wipe it right uh jarek white said the soup won yesterday okay let's get so we're gonna get uh sean higgs and peter loshak sitting here but after this last game grand candy love st mary gales uh let's hammer the home dabby what's your thoughts all right my thoughts on this grand canyon feels a lot like some of these other like like fading McNeese. gonzaga right here McNeese. yes mcneese grand canyon feels a lot like mcneese that's exactly what they feel like here um i understand they're what like the 66th best offense in the nation here uh, they put up a lot of points st mary's has held their opponents to 58 points per game or 58.5 points per game i don't something like that i don't have it I have it somewhere but i'm not gonna look um outstanding 58 points per game st mary's defense is something that grand canyon hasn't seen here um and i have a lot of time to look at this line and decide if i'm gonna bet it but st mary's first half you can either put that down as the dumbass waffle or i'm gonna bet it it's one of those two st mary's first half is there for me well, I look forward to to hearing if you pull the trigger. Uh, uh, and uh, so St. Mary's isn't like the best on the boards, but they're pretty damn good on the boards too. I think St. Mary's wins the glass here. Um, and I think their defense is, is a lot more than what Grand Canyon's dealt with this season. What do you think of this spot, Troy? I waffled on this play a little bit, but I did move on <laughs> Grand Canyon and maybe I pulled the trigger a little bit too early. Full game? Full game. So here's, here's what I found when I was looking at this game. The first thing I found is continuity with st mary's they got guys who've been there i know you know mahoney's a little bit young but most of these guys have been playing together man no one's a transfer and no one's a transfer out whereas on grand canyon side you don't really have that you don't have seniority you have seniority there's a lot of seniors but a lot of these guys have transferred in and these are their best players we're talking about their leading score but this grand canyon team this is getting this is a lot of respect they're getting with this five and a half line but look what happened yesterday with mcneese this has given me a huge pause 
um, it, what happened with McNeese and Gonzaga. Yesterday you knew exactly what I was talking about when I said, th I said, this feels a lot like, and you finished my sentence. Yeah. Like I didn't have to, you literally knew exactly what I was saying. Uh, because I'm sitting here today, like with the Texas A&M spot. I wanted about Texas A&M. I haven't moved Do yet. It. Because Do it. Do it. What getting, are you waiting I'm on? Getting, I'm inching. I'm inching. Well, that line moved. So that's a different story because that's a pick them and that line flipped. Get the money line. This hasn't moved yet. And and here's the thing is like Grand Canyon is getting a lot of respect in the market, obviously, with this line. Is it the same thing as McNeese? I just told you it is. That's what I'm going to try to measure. That's what I'm going to try to measure. Mm -hmm. I feel like Dabby might might have a little fucking he might have a little gravitation here. He's he's definitely pulling me in and I don't want to cash out of my action necessarily, but I'm definitely concerned about my action with Grand Canyon. Definitely concerned. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna stay off of uh, that spot now. Uh, we'd like to do, <laughs> Holy shit! We'd like to do a full moon. It's a full moon. We would like to do a on. review here for our. The lights cappers. got so bright. Our cappers, <laughs> our cappers in the chat. So, um, Cab and then Troy. Cab, can you review your action on today's NCAA basketball card? Well, we took FAU live, which you can probably still get in on minus one and a half. I know that's not going to be an official thing, but you can probably still get it. Uh, we got the Bridges and Walter Prop over two and a half threes. That game's going right now. Um, both of those were plus money. Uh, A&M first half. I will be on A&M first half here. I got plus a half a point. I know the line's moved. Grab the money line. If you can't get the half point, get the money line. Uh, I will probably bet A&M full game, and I will probably bet St. Mary's first half. Those are the three bets um, that haven't – that haven't tipped yet. a and is the one I went official with. Those two I will probably get to the window with also. Uh, Big Ragu is on the FAU team total over 56 and a half. Oh, no, now live. Live. Sorry, what am I talking about? Uh, Troy and Doc, uh, we have two two of guys that mean so much to our group in Nutflush Allen and, and Big Ragu who are dealing with uh, their uh, parents' health issues right now. And they're leading by example. They're where they need to be. Where they're supposed to be. Where they they're supposed be. to be. Jimmy, yeah. you talk about expectations, right? Yeah, I keep hearing you say this. There mm -hmm. are two people. You, you, and Troy, first off. I, of course, you guys are up there. But I got to give two people the shout out. Ragu and Loshak. They don't only meet your expectation. They're above it. Oh, and yeah. Jimmy's right, man. Like, don't expect anything from anyone because they're just going to let you down. But when you meet Ragu, when you meet Loshak, they, they do not let you down. Man, those guys are the best. It's a real special group, man. It's a real special group. And let's bring in the aforementioned Peter Loshak. But let's hear Troy's action here. So why don't you just, just stick around for a second more, uh, okay. Tabby. Don't leave yet. Uh, Troy, your action on this You're NCAA card. Too, so I I moved down Wisconsin live here with, with, uh, with you, Jimmy. I moved down Wisconsin. I got TCU first half full game. I do have a bet on Grand Canyon that I'm really not as confident in as I once was. But the biggest bet of the day for me, I'm going to have a 5%, you know, 5% of my bankrolls on it already, $1,000, um, New Mexico. I think New Mexico is going to get Christ. the job done. I didn't realize it was a 1K move for you. It was a 1K, yeah. I Holy moved on fuck. It. I okay. moved on it. I'm I just added, added extra asterisks. Um, this is a spot that I've I've looked at, and, you know, I might be a little bit, I might be a little, you know, you could argue that I'm fucking, I favor this New Mexico team a little bit. They've done, they've done so well for me, but I'm not, Jimmy talks about this every time. It's your money now. Like, I'm not riding with free money on no. New Mexico. No, this is a new fucking bet. This no bet such thing as house of money. It's, uh, it's, it's my money, money. God damn it. That fucking money. It's and, my money, bro. When yeah. I win it, that's mine. The yeah, it's, and I hate, I, I hated that my whole life. That I hated when people, yeah, I fucking hated it. Oh, it's a house of money. I look, I, uh, you know, I can just when I was when I was counting cards and playing blackjack and traveling around to find a, the best blackjack games in the country. I'll tell you what I thought of it that way. And guess what? That's why I gave away fucking 80 percent of my profits because it's the house's money. Right. Just keep fucking going at it. Like, no, fuck that. It's our money. Yeah. Once you win it. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And it's so important. Uh, and, you know, this is a tough thing that we are attempting and you're about to see. Sean Higgs and Peter Loshek have been in the game a long time. And when you are winning, it's the most important thing for your bankroll. It's not the, the whole idea is to build your bankroll and to have a bigger unit size. And all I care about is, is growing the unit size and being able to make. To, how much do you think, Troy, quickly, how much do you think your unit size would need to be to be a professional gambler, a gambler for a living? At least like. Pretty long wood, right? It's got to be very long wood. Okay. 
I would got to get deep. So I did the math on this. I did the math on this. I would need to be wagering about five hundred dollars per game. I need to wager about one point two seven five million dollars per year. And right now I'm I'm wagering about four hundred thousand dollars per year. So I'm nowhere close to that. I do plan to increase my unit size, but I have these fucking weird matrix you know magical unicorn fairy dust whenever i raise my unit size over a hundred dollars i get fucked well you saw what happened to me in february i raised my unit size on january 1st and february was one of the worst months of my entire career now march has been very good but i'm still right, climbing right. out if, of that if we're gonna openly talk about it so i bet a couple hundred dollars a game in college basketball i've had a very good season obviously here but off of here also jimmy it's just been a good season overall it's not not even close to enough money to live. Okay, no, it, not, not even not even close. I, I, I don't get me wrong. I like the money that I've made, but it's not even at at a couple hundred, two hundred, two fifty a game. It's not even close. I think one point one point two seven five million dollars per year would have to be at a six percent ROI, which is what I've averaged yeah. over the past year and a half. That's that's what would make me. Basically, I'm earning what I'm earning right now at my fucking everyday job. I, I think the unit size needs to be five thousand dollars. Two point five k would be bare like barely and i'm so far that's that's i'm 10 what are why yo we we use this i just uh, want 4.4 we use this really stupid term free bet sometimes if anybody has a unit size that big and you want me to bet for you we will win i'm gonna win (laughs) so just let me know Uh, we'll win just give me that money and we'll win i got you this this, i want to talk more about that i want to talk more about that Uh, we'll win i'm just saying we'll win we're we're gonna have we're gonna have live streams we're gonna have time because this is gonna be the last like uh formulaic uh, mm-hmm. show we're going to be able to have some chance to chill out and talk about cash flow and then i would like to ask sean that question you know the thing about because sean high, he's high volume but too. also the thing like, about being thing. I, this is what I've done, I've done sean was one of the best people <laughs> sean was one of the best best people i had a conversation with yesterday man one all, of the people all like I i'm telling do you is sit with sean and talk i just got too drunk i got too drunk <laughs> i did it for you i sat worry. outside with him okay. this morning well, let's, to talk while we were waiting for you know let's let's uh let's, let's bring on mr sean higgs mr. Let's but, but before you guys go wait uh thank you thank you for your friendship your hard work uh i just um just very proud to be friends with you guys man let's, catch, let's get catch. this fucking love, money man it is love. these are the two guys i fucking respect i respect these fucking guys this is just a beautiful thing a beautiful uh experience to have out here with everybody so let's get this fucking money dude. we be pubbing let's fucking go shout out to you guys in the chat man we love all y'all we don't have anything without y'all we're only here truly. because of y'all so thank you guys truly 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 and yes uh kelsey dabby is very much on texas a and m here uh, so Peter Loshak and Sean Higgs are joining win, us. I know you do. I, I know you do, my man. Okay, so we're going to do a real quick um, roll through with Sean Higgs and Peter Loshak because the games are being capped. So we just really want to know uh, their action, you know, what they're betting. So, um, I want to hear, I want to hear, uh, hear it in, in here. So, uh, Sean, you come up. Come, uh, come in. Uh, Peter Loshak looking good, man. He's got the, he's got the shades on. Okay, Peter Loshak is on Texas A&M. All right, Sean, Pete, let's go. Let's roll. Let's roll. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go through here. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> your money. In the- oh, is this? This is. Uh, that was. I think that's Is that yours? Okay. Thank, thank you. Wow, look who it is. Look at this guy. Look at this skinny guy in the middle. Skinny guy. Look at this guy. He's got a bunch of 20s hanging out. Yeah. Oh, I got hundreds. Yeah. I got hundreds. No, not just. I also got some ones, though. But, Do you have uh, one? But I got some hundreds. You got some hundreds? And some tens. And, and some tens. Fives. You got tens? You got some everything. Fives? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll play. Let's everybody. Who, let's hey, are we live or right pockets? Are we live? Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're live. Pete. Hi. Pete, we're going to do whoever has. We'll put into your pockets. Whoever has the most money keeps it all. Don't do that. This is like this is like <laughs> if fucking, fucking guys and dolls. If someone gives you a soccer bet, we're definitely the rose is gonna squirt water in your eye. You know what? You know that part of guys and dolls. Guys oh, and dolls. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was talking about guys and dolls like two weeks ago. Um, uh, what so, the, the horse? What? How does that go again? Uh, uh, if I had the guys horse and dolls, right here. Yes, His name is Paul, Ben Revere. Paul, Paul, Revere. Paul, Paul Revere. Okay, okay. Paul, Paul Revere. Revere. Paul Revere. If Paul Revere. Revere. I had seen <laughs> guys and dolls, I would have took you up on that, and you would have got all my money. Guys and dolls, guys is and fucking dolls. magic. So I mean, I'm not gonna do I that. Love it. I didn't know that was from. I didn't know that from guys and dolls. I thought that was from Let It Ride when they're singing with. Oh really, really? And Let It Ride is like one of my favorite movies of all time. But oh, you, like, you, like the, you like the odds on lightning? Oh man, wasn't that magic? Also, at that time, would you say what? What's the poker player's name? What's her name that stars in Terry Let It Ride? Oh, um, Let It Ride. 
Uh, but oh, it's 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 fucking uh, What's fucking uh, the chick Meg Tilly. Meg Tilly. Meg, Meg Tilly. Yeah. I, I think was, I think when Let It Ride was shot, I think she was the hottest woman in the world. She's still that, the that was a great world, dress. She she looks oh, fabulous. She looks oh yeah, fabulous. I mean, I, I love I like that. I love that the mobster's muscle guy was the guy who took Ferris Bueller's. Uh, Ferrari for a, for a joy ride in Ferris Bueller's Day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That was a, a, a movie I watched over and over. When's and over. my last winning day? December. 17th. I got the horse Four right here. Ago. Okay. Uh, Pete. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go rapid fire All with right. you two fellas. Okay. 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 We're going to go rapid fire. We're going to go quick because we're going to get in the NHL after this. Right. And we're going to get in the NBA after oh, this. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, I did not. I saw, I saw Mikey P.O.D. out there. He's ready. He's noted up for Mikey Money. Yeah, okay. he's he's excited. Good, good, good. Because he came into the room last night into the studio when I was like just at my drunkest state, and <laughs> and I just I was too fucked up to say hi to him or talk to him, and like I'd never met him in my life. I get finally get to meet this man. I'm so fucked and you couldn't up. stand up. You're I laying could, down. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go puke, and I'll I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's get to work. Let's get to work here. So now we've heard from Mr. Higgs's action here, and uh, and it sucks that you're leaving. And we talk about uh, nut flush and bigger goo. Um, you need to go home. Uh, it's important for you to be there. Uh, and I just love that you were here for a day. Oh, and, and I can't wait till next year and, and more opportunities to hang out. Definitely, with definitely. Stuff. Yeah, no, family. You know, listen. You got everybody. If you have a family, you know, we're just talking. Justin's brother. I mean, like when things happen, you got to be around family. And again, it's my dad passed away a year ago today. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, all right, my mom's good and all, but I, you, know, you want to be there. I can't gotta be there. Go away for a weekend like that. She's here. I told him to move down here, and then it's not like she has friends. I mean, she knows a couple people, I guess, mm. but nothing. Come on, gotta go. Nice, nice night out. Just hang out with the kids and just uh, laugh a little bit. You know? Yeah, yeah. You lead by example and be there for your family members. Because you don't want to like not. You don't want to just ignore like oh. It's not here. It's you know, it's one. It's still fresh, sorta, and especially in a new city in a new state, still being mm -hmm. new here. It's I don't know. It's uh, it's it's difficult. It's you know, it's weird. I don't know. There's some real. I don't. I don't have the words for that. As much as I could get on and talk and just we could just ramble and rant on things. This one mm -hmm. says, yeah. You know, anybody with family kind of know. It's like, what do you say? You know, you just got to kind of do things. You just got to be there. Yeah. That's what you got. You got to be there for your family. Physically be there, and that's what you're doing. And um, I have enormous respect. As much as I want to slash your tires and keep you here, <laughs> I, I'm not going to. Don't do that. <laughs> Black Matt, I, I, I do have the scheme. Well, especially as, 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 uh, we, how we do with FAU. Are they at least winning? Oh, if, I, if I slash the tires, can we buy new tires down here? Oh fuck! Baylor's <laughs> just destroying Colgate. I'm like, I'm getting out. I'm out the gate down 250. Okay, uh, let's. You put 250 on the first half. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's all good. It's all good. I it was a very very nice day yesterday, and you know, sometimes you need to take a fucking L to sharpen your shit up. Okay, so let's go Sorry, here. Let's go. Uh, so Sean, we have the UAB Blazers San Diego State Aztecs game popping off here in like 20 minutes, and you are on UAB. UAB. Should I be on UAB? And Peter, I want you to jump in after Sean. <laughs> I, I like UAB. I grabbed when I was in here with before you guys. I grabbed mm -hmm. UAB. I took a little money line first half. I took I took the uh, Colgate money line first half too. I figured maybe Baylor starts a little slow and pulls away second half. Because yeah. I just had Baylor, you know, fourteen for the game. But give me UAB. I still like UAB. I'm not going to change my uh, my ways now. I'm already been locked in on them since Sunday. So we'll continue it with the Blazers. Pistol Pete Loshak, can, can you come closer to the mic? Yeah, the headphones sure, on? sure, sure. Yeah, I, I took UAB, although I also took McNeese big, but I had Sanford also. So, yeah, I like UAB. First half, full game. Could lose. Also like the under a little bit, but uh, but I took uh, took UAB, definitely. First half, full game. I already bet a while ago. So, I'm going to – so, we're 20 minutes away from – I'm going to move on UAB. I'm going to bet UAB – here in a second so uh okay then uh we're gonna go rapid fire through here pete so uh get close to the mic too we want to we want to hear uh your oohs and ahs clearly uh bigger goods is absolutely on uab uh, there's perky in the house too uh perky we love you man leonard porsche jr uh joe t we got just thompson says uh uh joe joe t uh connecting with you here uh sean uh his dad died uh, on march 8 2023 uh, 59 years old. Uh, and what, what's Sean's family? Your, your dad oh, my dad was a 59. No, I know, oh. but I'm just saying oh, his, that, oh, that Joe P. 59. So Joe T. Just yeah, last year, last year, last year, oh, yeah. year, yeah. So uh, year today. So that's why. I thought I'm gonna go back and hang out yeah. with the, you know, mama. You know, she's like, no, it's no big deal. Go for the. I can't go for the. I can't. 
I can't do that. No, I can't. That's just no, no, you gotta be there. I, you get it. They listen, guys out there, girlfriends, moms, wives, whatever. They say go do something that's okay. Uh, it's not okay. You stay. You stay. You come back. You cut your things short to stay with your family. <laughs> uh, let's uh, roll here. I'm gonna. Um... Now, I when we're done this, I do want to talk again about the unit size thing, uh, about just for all of us trying to become professional gamblers. So I just just heads up that I would like to close with that. Uh, so UAB Blazers, I'm going to bet here it's it popping off in, in 24 minutes. And then we have the South Region, Western Kentucky Hill Poppers, Marquette Golden mm. Eagles. Uh, this was a no move for me. Pete, did you move on this? No, I have Marquette uh, pretty deep in my brackets, but, uh, and I, you know, you know how I feel about Chaka Smart. I've been talking about that for years. Love Chaka Smart in tournaments, especially when he's got something to work with. So we'll see, but uh, no. Pat, as far as you want to come closer oh, to the mic? We, we, we want to hear it. We yeah, hear as far as the spread is, oh, did all my guys and doll stuff get picked up on the mic? Or not that much. That's okay. That's cool. Yeah, I, I didn't bet this game. Uh, you know, uh, I would, if a free bet would definitely take Marquette. So, but uh, no, pass. And Sean Higgs. Hill Poppers, Eagles. I have nothing on this one. I uh, I, I lean Marquette, but I, nothing, nothing, nothing. That, maybe an over. I just didn't bet anything. It just didn't jump. Um, okay, so let's move on to the next spot. There, uh, Sean's giving us the over in Stetson Yukon. Oh. Yes, the over in Stetson Yukon. Let me just set that line up here that Sean is moving on. And that's and that's you know as much as like because I think Yukon's gonna roll out a like a ninety plus bomb, right? I think it's going to be a explosive offense for them. Stetson really doesn't have much answers. This now totals at one forty six right like now. The, it opened at one forty four and a half, so yeah, it's gone up a point and a half at up. Pinnacle. All right, so it was one forty two and a half the other day. Wow, so, wow. Okay, so Pinnacle um, late to the party, and then I yeah. just want to give the the cash flow on the total here for everybody watching. Uh, it's thirty four percent of the tickets are on the over. Over? Oh, sorry, that's my. Sorry, fifty four percent of the tickets are on the over. LJ, what up, man? LJ, <laughs> Eight is in the house. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You ready for NBA? Oh yeah, of course. Cool. You, 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 me and girl, you, me and girl, gonna break down NBA. Uh, yeah. We got LJ in the house. LJ in the house. Uh, so fifty-four percent of the tickets and seventy percent of cash is on the over. This seems like a real sharp uh, play that you're on. Well, so far so good. I mean, the the number says it's. I'm on the right side here, right? We got a, a move to that thing. I just, you know, st again, I think UConn drops the 95 spot or up in the 90s. Can we get the 55 from Stetson is question? That's, that is the key. You know, are, are they going to smother them and all of a sudden it's 85-44? Or is it going to be 91-66 and we don't have to worry about it? That's Because that's where I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be one of those 93-70 kind of game, 93-61, whatever, along those kind of lines. I'm Pete, what do you think of this Stetson spot? I hope he cashes. You know, I thought, uh, you know, a game like that, with total like that scares me because you never know what Stetson's going to try to do and what UConn will agree to as far as pace is concerned. But I hope if Sean Higgs is on it, I think it's well, a UConn's good bet. Well, UConn's going to do their thing. They're not going right. to They're not going to win 60 to 45. It won't be that right. kind of game. They're going to get a bunch of sure. points. Yes. In the, in the tournament, absolutely. And, you know, here's I, the thing. Is Stetson going to pull a McNeese or are they going to pull Stanford? Are, gonna, are they going to quit or are they going to come out and keep firing in the second half to get you going? Above that's, my pay grade. That's, yeah, that know. is the <laughs> – and I think they're going to come out and play. Like, why wouldn't they? They're Stetson. They're yeah. UConn. Let's go. We're on TV. Yeah. Let's have a ball. Let's hit a few threes. UConn will be and like, have a few threes on have us. Have a few threes. Yeah, and, yeah, if it, yeah, and if it's yeah, a long yeah. three, you know what? We're going the other way to yeah, dunk yeah, it anyway. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting points. Oh, man. Yo, Sean Higgs. That's, I should tail that. You. I think you're on the, the right over. side. You're on the right side. Baby. It's moved three points. So yes, I think I think we're looking good there, Pete. This okay. is kind of like the old days. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is fucking great. Well, you dressed a little more professional back then. You didn't have this, this jacket on. He, he, this guy, he had a blazer on back in the day when we were doing this. It's Trust me, I look good, John Higgs. Trust you, me. You look awesome. You, Higgs, it's just different. He's like a man of mystery here he now. Is. You know, it's the beard him. and everything. I, yeah. I, 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 I was I telling my wife, in. I said, he reminds me of my buddy Matt, who's like my best friend in high school growing up. His quirkiness, the the same. He, I, I feel I like I've known Pete for really since i'm like 14 like since a high school friend because he's the same as my Look childhood this. buddy yeah. tommy, white tommy hill figure sneakers in red yeah okay trust me i look good trust me i look good he, he brought those last year and he was flexing <laughs> them last year as well he's like i got these vintage oh, tommy shit. hill figures oh, shit. 
I got the I got the J. See, so here's J- the thing: when you when you're a fat guy with a size like four, <laughs> a fat guy, fat guys with size 14 feet, you can't find vintage. There's, there's no vintage because we were cavemen and we had like leaves wrapped around our feet, so they don't really have good vintage Tommy Hills in our in our sizes. No, but you're right. The professionalism <laughs> has gone down, though. I'll give you that. Way down. But the you're style's right. gone the up. Style's I think the style's down. gone up. The professionalism has always gone I'm glad, down. I'm just happy you're not wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> No, they're, they're normal. These they're normal jeans for skinny people. But they're low rise, though. I'll show you when we're at, when, when the <laughs> video's over. Okay, Sean, I tailed you. Over. <laughs> That's a winner. I'm with you. Uh, I'm it's with a you. winner. I got 145 a and a half. I'm with you. So, um, so then I, I did also move on UAB, but I am starting the day uh, down 250 uh, 0 1. Uh, let's move on to this next spot. So, Peter Loshak, mm, our mm. friend Troy Torrance, mm. is putting 5% of his oh, bankroll, oh, oh. $1,000. Oh. On the New Mexico oh, yeah. Lobo. Already on it. Already on it and beat the move. Bet that, like, I don't remember when the lines came out. Was it it's three and a half now you said before? Uh, three and a half? No, let's grab I mean, the... I thought it was a th- I thought it opened a three. Let me grab the line history. <laughs> Sean, I've never heard Pete react like that. You could have told him, like, his dog died or something. Like, My dog died? <laughs> no. It's three and a half points? Three and a half. That what is, is it? surprising. Wow. It's, uh, it move. opened up at one and a half. It's uh-huh. now minus two. Oh, okay. no, that's so much Ooh. of a crazy. Okay, yes, that's. A, I'm, I'm on New Mexico. Ooh. Also, though, this minus two is minus one sixteen at eleven mm. uh, forty five. This was two and a half mm. at ten thirty. Mm. It's now minus one. So there's a there's been a move towards Clemson in the last. Well, half. it makes sense because look at how Mountain West played. And now, so we're talking on side track. I'm like, I'm I'm worried because I have New Mexico. I got the Utah State, and you saw the bad performance yesterday from the Mountain West where. No, they. I think them just as a whole to represent their conference. All three of these guys, even though I'm, I'm in UAB, I think San Diego State. These teams all have to win. Otherwise, I think next year when it comes to tournament time, they'll be down to two teams or maybe just one. Uh, but New Mexico, what is there to say? You, you're coming in hot now. I didn't like North Carolina State coming in this way, but on the flip side, this New Mexico team, I, I you know, you got two good star players there, solid coach. I mean, he wasn't bad at Minnesota, you know, taking this program solid. And again, it comes down to me for I was high on Mount West. I'm low on the ACC. Wasn't that high on the Big Ten? Now nah, I flipped a little bit here. Am I, I? I'd be lying. I said I wasn't worried. I, you know, I losers yesterday doing this, going this route. But it's a new day and it's a long plane. I'm sticking with it. I'm on New Mexico. I'm not going to buy off in New Mexico. If if it goes awry, what are we going to do? We'll be able to get on an under in that game sometime live, I guess. But I, I'm I'm confident. And listen, Troy. Yeah, I've watched him on the shows before, you know, and always informative, deep with his analysis stuff. The fact that he's putting a dime on this and that's a, that much chunk of his bank, well, I feel a little better about it. I'm like, all right, you know, okay, you know, I'm, and it's not just a confirmation bias being on the same side, but it's a, uh, well, being his friend, I want to bet it too, just as a friend. That's a ride it. We're going to ride it. Like everybody's, like everybody's got like the, 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 the 17 on, on the roulette wheel, everybody well, just put a quarter on I'll it. I'll tell you, the market makes me nervous. 64% mm-hmm. of the tickets and 67% of the cash on New Mexico. We, we watch it moving towards a Clemson right now. It makes me really nervous. Yes, but you saw NC State yep. roll yesterday. Absolutely. That was such a good so, example. So, you know, the Colorado State who everybody – I don't know if they were on them in the in the playing game, but then they come and lay an egg. That we talked all you about that. The, the, so, the, the gamblers had a, a recency bias, and it was uh, going to hurt them. Yeah. So I think that weighs into it. Like I, I was as as cool it is that Oakland won yesterday, right? Because people love the upsets. It's great. If Kentucky wins that by two or three, you're like, oh, you know, you're going to know to bounce on Kentucky the next game because yeah, of I agree. the perceived. And now, like for that game, it's like, do you just go against Oakland because they are off a huge victory and it's gonna be flat? I don't know, you know. Well, that, but that, like that guy looks like he's forty-five years old. Yeah, with ten threes. So, but again, for this spot, is what do you see? You saw an ACC team win pretty good. You saw Mount West kind of look, you know, by Nevada. Uh, you know, you you get outscored twenty-four to four down the stretch. Those are the kind of teams you're beating to to win a championship in your conference. Maybe, nah, maybe you're not as good <laughs> as as you're perceived to be. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why I think the, the numbers come down on that game. The combination of the conference play and the, the teams from both conferences in the tournament so far. Uh, Kelly McKinnis cashed that plus 650. Uh, Kelsey, I've not moved on New Mexico yet, um, and I will have to make that decision here shortly. And when you have a friend putting a 5% of his bankroll on something, you know, you want Yo, to. Yo, I follow Troy Torrance pretty close. 
when he, those like his big like for a lot of people like the the unit sizes aren't reflective of like how good the play actually is but for him in my experience it is so you know what i mean like uh when he has a two unit thing i'll almost always tell that and so if he loves it that much do you know that uh jeff slaughter is three thousand dollars on florida atlantic money line wow yeah so uh, is that because he loves fau or because he's just rich and that's like because he loves a third of a unit because <laughs> he loves to fucking party man he loves to fucking party man okay so we're gonna go rapid fire now through these games uh so we're, i'm just gonna set up we're, we're not we've done all the line history stuff and, and it takes a little bit of time so we're just gonna hammer so yale bulldogs auburn tigers and as the chat knows i've got auburn to knock out yukon mm. in the sweet 16. Ooh, wow yeah uh, so take it mm. away uh, Auburn, Yale. I, I I feel very uncomfortable with the market. I'm I'm not betting Auburn. I, I, I think I thought Auburn rolls them. I'm really yeah. high on Auburn. I think uh, quietly they're like they're probably the best team in SEC. I mean Kentucky has the hype because Kentucky. They're, oh, they got all these NBA guys and mm-hmm. well Tennessee was the champs and then there was like well there was no respect for South Carolina and it's the Alabama offense. No one talked about Auburn quietly destroying teams again, losing in the head-to-head spots. You go on a road lose. That's all fine. And, you know, that thing, again, I've said yesterday, those things don't matter to me. But it, it's a team I don't think is res- respected to the point of some of these other teams. I think, I mean, I got Auburn in the Final Four. I got them versus Arizona in the Final Four, you know, so. I've got uh, Auburn against uh, losing to Iowa State. Mm. I've got Auburn and mm. uh, Iowa State in the Elite Eight yep. to the Final Four. Uh, I, I think love Auburn's it. really good. I think, I think they're very good. Well, as what I said about Baylor here, I thought you know Colgate as one of those kind of teams, or eh, I think Duke's going to do the same kind of thing. I think Auburn is the tri- tri- the trifecta of that, where you want to again as a dog guy, it's tough because you want to take those kind of things like, oh yeah, I love you know the March Miracle here, but when you look at it, and no, you know these three teams are just going to destroy them. It'll be twenty plus wins, twenty plus point wins for all of them. Colgate's already down twenty here. I mean, they're not getting closer. You know, no. Baylor, Baylor's not Nevada. They're not gonna blow a twenty-point lead. They're not Arizona. Gonna they're like come Houston. And start. They're, they're gonna slowly grind you down. Yes. No, I, I yep. completely. And agree. I, I think uh, Auburn's gonna run them out right from this, right from the gate. You know, Yale's going on to play what? They're, they're Yale basketball. That's not gonna work. That might be good for five minutes, and then it's over. Wow, a big bucket there for Northwestern. Doug just moved on Florida Atlantic Live. Uh, Pete, mm. Yale, Auburn. Well, I agree with you on Auburn. Statistically, I like them, and I just didn't have the balls to do what you did and pick them to, to get by uh, UConn. But statistically, I liked Auburn. Uh, I, I, I did bet Yale first half plus seven, which might have been a mistake. Uh, I think uh, market-wise, you should have a lot of confidence in it. First half, yeah. Well, now it's seven and a half, but that's okay. But, like, uh, Julian Cesario has been on the opposite of a bunch of my things. He's been right every time I've been wrong. He says Auburn's <laughs> going to kill him. Right. But I didn't take him full game. No way would I take him full game. I just took him first half. Mike M likes the under, which makes a lot of sense to me. I didn't bet that one. I did bet Yale yep, first half plus seven. It's seven and a half now. That's okay. I'll still stick with it. I know that uh, Higgs, he wants to talk uh, well, Hollywood, we'll... Hollywood stuff. You know that uh, that Julian yes. Cesario is an actor yeah. right now. Yeah, he was telling movies. me he's a film. Yeah. Yeah. And, but look at him. I mean, the guy. He's cool as hell. That's what I said. Fucking bang. He's yeah. like, I thought I was going to be the coolest looking guy. He, I was like, you're. I'm number two. <laughs> He's like, I was like, he's got some vintage shit. He paid 12 bucks for a shirt underneath the perfectly. He got on the Hermosa Beach, uh, uh, whatever you call it. You know, there's a bazaar in Hermosa Beach. They sell clothes. You were saying like you want to talk to the guys like off air and just uh, like I was, I was dying to talk about your, your IMD database collection of stuff. Yeah, I mean, no, we'll, uh, it was my fault for not being around last night. So <laughs> I'll, I'll try to make it up uh, after the show. Uh, Yale, Auburn. So Pete has moved on Yale first half. Uh, so did you get to the window and move on? I got, I, I, yeah, I got an Auburn 14. Okay. Um, I think it's like minus 112 or something. Uh, okay, so let's move on then uh, to, to Colorado Buffalo's Florida Gators. Peter oh, Loshek, did you move on this one? Oh, yeah. I, I, I sort of snap took Colorado. I kind of wanted to fade. Um, if, if Colorado, I was like, if Colorado gets by the first game, I'm going to bet him against Florida. So I did quickly. Might have been a mistake. I don't know. Florida's kind of banged up. I, I, and Colorado has like NBA talent. So I took I took Colorado. Might have been a mistake, but I'm going. It's a very public play. Yeah. Yeah. Minus 115 yeah. on that yeah. 14. Oh, Minus shit. 14. Well, I got I got like, wow, it's really moved. I got Colorado as a small dog. Can so I come in and ask you guys a quick question? Yeah, go yeah, ahead. My man. So Pete and I, we, we share likeness on AM. Pete and I share likeness on Colorado. Oh, shit. Pete, I love you. Oh, oh like, hell yeah. Let's, why, not just let's like hang this. out. Why, let's hang out, baby. Love why this. do you get so excited to fade me? I don't. I Do I? <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, because it's funny. You get it's you funny. It. You get you for it. It's funny. You, you love it. I'll give you that. 
It is funny, but that's good. But I, I noticed, I'm Jimmy, Jim, remember you said that you were like, Dabby Cab might be 60% in college basketball. That's the first 60% guy I've had yeah. in your shows. You know, since we've been small sample size, but I'm at over 60% college basketball with you in our shows, right? You are, you are, yeah. you are. You're just not a weekly guest. Right. I'm not a weekly guest. And also, my now, other sports are an weekly. embarrassment. But no, 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 no. <laughs> right. But now, now we're weekly. Um, but you, you, you are. It just doesn't qualify. Right. I hear you. And also, if you add in NBA and NHL, different story but that's a well you've been on this prop <laughs> yeah yeah uh, we'll talk about that later we're talking about that <laughs> um sean colorado florida i i want to take colorado believe it or not and i'm, I'm i didn't like the pack 12 coming in i was like give me some drake i didn't like oregon um but this spot here again we were talking about auburn and your tennessees and your kentuckys and here's a florida team that puts up a ton of offense but yet it's a lowly little line, even though it's a big, bad SEC team versus the supposedly bad Pac-12 bunch off a play-in game. I I'm, I haven't got to the window on this one. I want to take Colorado. I do. I do. I know the, the I one guy's I, out for Florida. But I, I, he's like a, I just a high motor guy, but, rebounder. But but that's the talking point for everybody saying, oh, their the big man's out. And I, I get it, But, I mean, he he's – like someone was saying like, I was – Doing show last night, they're like, "Well, he he only plays 15 minutes." Well, I mean, 15 minutes, the guy gets a rebound every other minute. I mean, that's pretty important in college basketball. You've got a rebounding machine. Well, it's very important, in. but I just think that there's I, like a I, rhetoric about. Um, I get it, but I mean, is it is it the reason why the lines a, a, a one, one and a half? I mean, I, well, I moved, so I'm I'm happy about. There's that. been a we'll big see. move we'll to see. Colorado. Oh, what is it now? In the last hour, like are they favorite? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, well, they went from dog to favorite. Well, now Pinnacle, it's even on both sides, but I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Who knows? Uh, I, I'm still leaning Colorado. I, I, I give you one. What's, what's the difference? If they're going to win. They're going to win. Let's the talk. Losers lose. That that's what me in for Colorado. Let's talk about Sean. Let's talk about the spreadsheet play of the day and the taint play of the oh, day. Shit. Are both on Nebraska money line <laughs> and uh, Dabby Cab. Can you come in on uh, oh, uh, with just the mic? Is this in Nebra the Nebraska A and M? This, this is, is the, this, this is, is the crazy... Nebraska A M. So we have Everybody Nebraska. Loves. We have Nebraska. Taint. We have Nebraska spreadsheet and Dabby Cab adamant that uh, those guys are going to lose their oh, money. Shit. Oh shit! Adamant that so he's got Nebraska. Well, every day have Nebraska. Dabby Cab has Texas oh, A and M. Man. Texas A and M. He's Hold going on up. A second. Uh, who is? I thought. I thought. Uh, Taint play the day is Nebraska. I thought Troy liked A and M. Uh, well, yes, Troy did move over to A and M after Dabby's um, heartfelt monologue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You saw, oh, I like so do you want the monologue again? That's that's crazy because outside when we're talking, I was like, I like AM. He's like, oh, so do I. He, guys, like, I thought for sure you'd be on Nebraska. I thought he'd be a Nebraska guy, Troy. Well, he's no, not, not, and it was part partly because of Dabby Cab's uh, so belief. I, so I named these players, and this this has nothing to do with any kind of uh fandom or anything. This has to do with like thinking about an athlete's mindset. Radford, I'll talk about Washington, um, Wade Taylor, this AM team, Coleman. Um, has several players that were on the team last year that were the first team left out of this tournament. And they fought so damn hard at the end of that season to make it to the SEC championship game to even earn the right to be in the tournament. Then to get left out, I get it. You got a Cinderella story with Nebraska. They haven't played in a game like this since 1925 or something. I know that's not the number. I'm being over. I'm being an asshole. But they, they haven't been good since, you know, ever. So... I don't care about that Cinderella story. I care about these players who have been waiting and waiting for for over a hundred days to get this opportunity again. Who could have transferred and didn't? These guys are hungry. They win this game. They win it on the boards, which is obvious. Um, and their offense has been firing lately. So there you go. So take it away, guys. What do you guys think? Well, I took AM and outside Dabby Cab was all excited. Yeah, I mean, it's just like uh you know, a and has far superior athletes, uh, you know, but they, they should be coachable, you know, to beat Nebraska has a better, you know, overall program, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I took a and but if it's the spreadsheet play of the day and the taint play, of, like if a spreadsheet play of the day plus taint, play of the day versus dabby cab no question i'd be on the taint play of the day and spreadsheet play of the day <laughs> not even close not even close not even close <laughs> i mean i respect dabby cab a little bit but not like spreadsheet play of the day and taint play of the day <laughs> And, uh, but no, but I'm on Texas A&M, so I feel, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I took it. I took it. I took it. You know, again, the athleticism. I mean, they're just way better players. 
So you got to hope that's that the you know game plan works. So what do you think, Higgsy? I'm on A and M. There you go. Well, now you don't okay. have to overthink things sometimes. Some so now we have Dabby and Sean. I, I like versus A&M today at nine thirty outside in the parking lot. Yeah. I like them. It's not changing. And then you're gonna roll in with everything. More reason to like. I just like them for the the spot. I, you know, I'm I'm not a Nebraska buyer. I like them during the regular season. I had them in a few spots, but not here. But you're gonna fire off all the information of why we should take them on top of it. I'm not backing away. Vermont Catamounts, Duke Blue Devils. Uh, I said yesterday on the show that I believe Kentucky was vulnerable. I think that Duke is also vulnerable. Not to this team. Yeah, it's not Duke. to this version. This is a right. Duke blowout win. Right. right. And right. Uh, give me the under two because I think this is going to be like right. 75, 55. Like it's Duke's going to win by 15 to 20 points, and then it'll be an under because I don't think Vermont's scoring. And then, again, this is like I said this earlier, whether it be the Colgate team or uh, – this Vermont team, they're not, it's not their usual kind of program that has been like a Syracuse or some kind of other Minnesota or some other, you know, low middling team out of the power five. They, they didn't do that this year. They not good wins anywhere. No, they're not Duke. And Duke is a team that's they're in off of, I don't say an embarrassing loss, but let's be honest. You probably penciled in Duke, North Carolina for a ACC championship game. And then they got knocked out earlier. You think, Coaches want to come in, you know, they're going to get a, a full blown. This is 1995 kind of Duke. These teams, you see, you see Baylor coming out rolling. The, the, the haves and have nots this year, I think, in college basketball, there's a big gap. And Duke is definitely a, a, a top 10 kind of program. And those teams, you know, I know people like to use that, like the little camp on there's like six or seven teams in the metrics that could win it. Like there's, there is, there's like just 10 really good teams and everything else is. When it's come head to head, you might have a close game. This is not a team that's going to put a close game up. I think Duke rolls it. I think the UConn rolls it. I think Houston rolls. They're they're all 20, 25 point big wins. Purdue took care of business. Tennessee, Arizona, all 20 point wins. Baylor with the 20 point uh, win lead right now. I think Duke's going to do the same thing. The pig milk play of the day is on Vermont Catamounts. Ooh, pig milk Ooh. play of the day. Yeah. yeah. And the pig milk play day be running hot. <laughs> <laughs> who comes I was going to say, though, if I, if I was going to take Vermont, though, which I might, I would definitely do first half rather than full game. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, you can't take – I agree with you on the under, but it's like 132, and then the first half the first half under is right, 60 I'm gonna, and a half. We're going to call them – can we call them like – it'll be the <laughs> – my my thing will be the Beaver Nugget play of the day, and it'll be the Beaver Nugget play of the day. We'll have Duke Under Beaver Nuggets. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Well, we have all different kind of names to sing. Well, mine, no, my, mine is I have absolutely no idea how to please a woman in bed. Play of the game. <laughs> that was mine that I came up with. I, I should revive that. Uh, <laughs> hey, this is simple. Just use, use your tongue. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. All, I, know, I know. I know. How. Just, just even if you just up, down, licking, even, you just got to find the just. <laughs> all right. Let's move on to the next one. Just uh, on the board here. Uh, it out. 7.25 p.m. Eastern, Midwest region, first round. Grambling Tigers are some Purdue Boilermakers. Peter, I've got them to win the tournament. Mm, Purdue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could see that. I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Uh, I didn't bet a future on them, though. I just It's just for a contest. Uh, Grambling. I mean, I'm, I'm a passing on this game. Yeah. I mean, it's Purdue or nothing. I, I know everybody's going to be like, oh, you got to sprinkle some money line. Purdue's going to. This is not the spot where they're going to have a problem. Purdue's problem is going to be in the next round when they're playing a another major squad and the game is a five point game with five minutes to go. And all of a sudden they're overthinking and then four fouls. It, it's yeah. It's an extra pass. It's a dribble off the leg. It's I don't, I don't want to shoot. I don't want to be the guy responsible. This is not the game. This is a game. They win a hundred to, to, to 36. Charles, Just Charles, play it. Charleston Cougars, Alabama, Crimson Tide. When's Alabama's lack of defense going to yeah. knock them out of the That's tournament? I took Alabama. I took a Charleston rather plus nine and a half, because if you're going to give up 80 something points a game, I'm, I'll take a shot at. Uh, I don't care what school it is. You're gonna give me close to double digits with a team that has a total in the 175s. I'll just take it and run it. Charleston's, I think, got some upperclassmen. It's an experienced little group. I'm, you're getting again. It's a non-defensive team. I'm gonna take the points. I get it's it. It's a I, no. It, again, if it wins, it, it, I split yesterday with these Sanford Magnesis. If it gets there, super. If it goes down, that's fine. It's just something I just have to play because based on how Alabama is, what. Why? About nine and a half? I do not want to have money on Alabama uh, in this tournament. No. No. I, I, here, this is like the Illinois game yesterday. Well, same kind of thing. I'm like, ah, do I want to lay it out with a team that doesn't play on defense? How about the team total? That's sailed over. How about Alabama? You want to do an Alabama team total? You, you don't want to You don't want to take a dog? Take an Alabama team total. What, I mean, what's got to be? Probably 
173. It's got to be at least an 84, 85, I'm guessing. I'm going to pull it up right now here. What do you think of this spot? I mean, I I, want, I haven't bet it. I probably will, though, and I'll probably take uh, – because Alabama does have more scores, so they could extend out, but I agree. Uh, for the kind of team they are, nine is too many. I would take uh, Pinnacle right now, first half, Charleston plus five minus 112. That's probably – I could see this is probably going to be like a – tied game like you got a team know. total on it what's the team total for Alabama? i'm just worried that like alabama's gonna be like all right now let's play some defense you know what i mean or at least let's no, try you know you don't think no right? no, I mean, no. You know, but uh, forget about it. i'm not talking charleston i mean i like the points of charleston there but i'm saying what's the alabama team total the alabama team total is it's like uh, 90 something 91 91 i'm thinking it was gonna be like 85 87 91, 91. holy shit i was it the totals 173 i guess that makes sense because it's a 10 point <laughs> spread Good God. 91 in college basketball. Uh, Sun Dizzle says, what shoes did you get? Uh, I got the Jordan 13, Sonny, uh, but I did puke on them. <laughs> I did puke on them last night, but I got the I got the J13. All right, uh, let's roll on. Uh, next up for us, uh, Longwood Land. Yeah, in, in, in the laces. Houston team total first half, 37 and a half. The bet your cock lock. <laughs> Goodness. Bet your cock lock. <laughs> Jesus, it's a little. That's, that's, that's simple but brilliant. <laughs> that's really good. But John nobody, man. like I can I, yeah. I don't really throw crazy crap like that when I do like midday money. But I figure it flies here. It's fun, people, because you got like pain play. You got a bunch of crazy kind of things. So bet your cock lock. It's like so <laughs> obvious, but I've never heard it before. That's great. Bet your cock that's cock fucking cock great. Like that one. Cock it's just lock. simple. It's so Today. simple, no one thought. And it rhymes. Cock it's lock. Good. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, there you uh, go. It's really good, Sean. Houston yeah. team total over. Oh man, the big Scott loving it. The big Scott <laughs> loving it. Says Higgsy on fire, man. Um, I'm, a little, I'm somebody... a little laid back sometimes. I do my shows. I just kind of keep it like, here we go. We're gonna bet, move on. <laughs> here though, the personality <laughs> coming out a little bit crazier. Here, have a good time. You know, we're drinking Hennessy out of the bottle. You know, nice. that's why nobody's gonna know about your movies. I got, I have to find you on DMB. Like the, the best of me, I have a, I have a. Um, Although I don't have any recognition for it on the IMB database, it was on a Man vs. Food episode. So, oh, nice. Unfortunately, I didn't. You know, I don't have my SAG card for that. Oh no, I wish I did. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like the fat guy in the uh, Piano Man video. Like I could be, <laughs> if I get out of place, like the fat bartender. Like I, could, I could probably do something Hollywood, a little, uh, some deviant that, kind of action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, right on. No, I'm kidding about. Oh, 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 he had that. See that I respect there. Yeah. He had that plan from from the yes. beginning. He was like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get, get, him. Gonna get him. That, that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. That's something I would okay. do. That um, was good. <laughs> okay. Uh, Longwood Houston. You were saying first half team total over for Houston. Yes. Thirty-seven and a half. Yep. 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 And again. If you, Again, I'm not a proponent of laying huge 20 points, but let's be honest. Houston is going to destroy these guys. I think it's going to be like 55. I said like 50, 55 to like 17 first half. I think it's really Jesus a destruction. Christ. So I shouldn't bet Longwood first half. I don't think so. Jesus Christ. I don't, th I don't think. I think Houston's going to come out and be like, we've seen some of these top teams doing what they're doing now. Like, I, And I said this yesterday in the show, Jimmy. It's like this is going back to like the older spreads, bigger numbers, mid-20s. Because I think the separation is just, it's there now. Before it wasn't, we saw like lower kind of like the one seed was like a 14 point spread. You're like, oh, these are kind of low because you had a lot of one and dones and freshman led teams. These kind of teams are, you know, a little more established and they're that much, they're just that much better. Come on. Longwood had to beat, again, they beat High Point twice to get here, right? Some teams, Washington State beat Arizona's, uh, you know, Northwestern can knock off a, uh, a Purdue kind of squad. To, oh, Mississippi State beat Tennessee twice. So sometimes the team plays a better team really good to get oh, to a spot. I don't so know now what... you're going to come in and play a team like Houston, who let's, I think the last game they were, they had like, what, 15 points at the half, right? What was that score at that halftime? They, they, they look, it was a close game. And then you're probably like, you know what, guys, let's just not get hurt. Go through the motions, get in. You, you don't think they want to come out? They have to get that. They struggle here, and then here come the questions again, like Tennessee, right? Tennessee's got questions with Rick Barnes. Like, they come out bad and be like, oh, here's the old same Rick Barnes squad. You're going to blow it. You come out slow in the first half here after a slow, it's a bad game, whatever it was. Started slow and just turned in. It was just a bad game, whatever. They can't have that here. It's going to be like, you know what? Bring the dogs, and we get up, and then we'll coast the rest of the way. We'll worry about the second round. But first half, I think it's balls to the wall are coming. Uh, and for you guys watching the show that don't know the run that Higgsy's on in college basketball, it is extremely impressive. Do you want to just touch it's, on it? Yeah. Well, well, listen, 
for the season, it's it's not good. It's I'm barely 500, a couple games under 500. But the last five plus weeks, I'm I think it's like 66 and 35 runs. So pretty good run of late. Oh, since that's, that's since it's February 25th, and uh, they're all out on Twitter. I put them on, yep. like, on yeah, the Twitter. Yeah. So money, that's uh, tweet and, and even all. before that, you could see when they lost. I mean, there was always a record there. But I'm just saying, wow, this is a nice little run I went on. So it's a great run, and it's still going on pretty good. It started yeah. out, it started out like 17 and four. So it's you know again 90 percent, but I've been uh been hitting them all right, so yeah. it's again in this one here. I really like this one. This is one I moved on, you know, pretty good. Well, let's let's finish off this card here. We're gonna move on to NHL with Mikey Money and Mister Gogster, uh, and also Spenny Pennybomb is gonna come in with with a best bet. But uh, the next two spots I'm moving on the Wisconsin Badgers. I'm going to bet. Now I haven't bet it yet. I'm gonna bet it. Uh, I think that. Uh, Every the public all over James Madison yeah. and loving James Madison. I, I think they're gonna get it right in the ye old drink hole. I really do. I, I think whiskey's gonna take care of business. Well, I uh from from preseason, I was all over two of these teams, JMU and Indiana State, right? And in general, did well with them and you know, with the team totals and everything. And even in J oh, even in JMU's last game against uh against the SMU, I live bet them to come back, you know. So I took JMU plus five and a half. I understand why they might get blown out. What, what do you want me to say? I, I, I'm sure it's a public play. Being on a public dog is horrible. I took him. What do you want, Jim? Five and a half, I took him. Oh, I'm going to fade you. Yeah, I yeah, want, yeah. Do. I, want I was all over McNeese. Big loss there, although I had Sanford. So I don't know. Is Jamie the right side? I don't know. I don't know either. But yeah. uh, I'm going to bet uh, <laughs> yeah. Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, just before Higgsy comes in on his thoughts with this spot, uh, the the market is really nice for Wisconsin. Mm, yeah, twenty four percent of the tickets yeah, yeah, and thirty three yeah. percent of the cash. Uh, the, the I love fading. Yeah, the yeah, public, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nope, you're right. I, I don't know if I'm right. Yeah, we don't yeah. know. I mean, the game's got to be played, and uh, but uh, I'm going to move on on the Badgers. We we had talked about CSA because I had grabbed we Sanford McNeese. I got West. I got James and I said a plus four and a half at opener. So a bad number. You know, went up to went up a little bit. It's just I see the number. I'm like I have to take it. Like, but as I said yesterday, and I said earlier today, is it just the books adjusting like two points because people are going to come in on the five twelve and the four thirteen dogs? Um, I'm going to run it out. I, you know, I th I think they're a tough squad, and I saw whiskey kind of falter a little bit during February. Played some tough game. They went three and eight, a couple of overtime losses. So I mean, that could turn into a five and six, but it's still you're in a kind of battle. And I, I, is Madison? Are they McNeese? Are they Sanford? I think they're that far down on the totem pole of bad conferences, but uh, an opener of four and a half, I have to, it, it just looks so easy the other way. I can't do that. And, you know, I, like I say, if it, I'll take a loss, it happens. I just see the number and I'm, I'm just going to go down. I'm not going to jump. And we're talking about CSA because you're like, well, oh, here comes everything on the other side and the line goes the other way. People go to Wisconsin. I get it. You're, you're, Battled. I mean, weren't they in the Big Ten championship, right? Didn't they beat Purdue or took them to overtime or something? I mean, I, I get the perception of their good team. They were ranked early in the year. At that point, were they really like a top ten team? I don't think they're a top ten kind of team. No, they're not. I mean, are they a top twenty five team? I don't know if they're a top twenty five kind I of team. I don't know if they are either, but I think that yeah. yeah. I, I I don't think they're a top twenty five. But so I mean four and a half again, look low. I just it just anything looks too easy. I, I don't think it's too easy. I mean, he's they line these numbers from islands in the Caribbean and in the desert where they have to fly in food and water. Mm -hmm. how, how bad, how bad can they be? You know, like they got to know what they're doing a little bit where if it's that easy, I just, I just can't bet to these ones. I, I don't get the low hanging fruit. Eve tried that. And what happened? We've been to doom society. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks lady. To, you want to take the freaking apple because he could reach it. <laughs> Billy Frieder, shit, shit was poison. Billy Frieder don't, don't says, fall for it. is JMU a top 75 team? Oh, that's a, that's a good point. I I don't you know. Here's the thing with that because you're gonna throw in a bunch of like lower teams out of the ACC and a Big Twelve. I mean, are are those really? I mean, I would take like that's why I'm taking James Madison because I don't think they're worse than like a, a Clemson team or uh, you know some middling Pac-12. I mean, I think that that my my they could they could win kind of game like this. my angle is that that James Madison is looked as like a sexy pick. You know, well, all, but they all are, and we're gonna have one coming up in a second with with uh, Grand Canyon too. Any of these teams, everybody's like, "Oh, you got to take these," <laughs> you know. I, and I get it, and I'm a I'm a dog guy. I had dogs yesterday, and but I look at it as what's the number first? 
It's and if it looks too good, I know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. it's, it was well, it was a four and a half opener. I'm like, look at this, freaking four and a half. And hindsight being 2020, like the DK early lines, they're always kind of like to the weaker side. Especially, and you know, NFL they put out some lines that are always like bad. You can jump on them early. You're like, well, look at these guys. Who's you know, like somebody's like, oh, I'm gonna be first and, and make a number. But even from four and a half to five, not a crazy move. Like I really, I think this line should probably be like a seven. It would make sense to me. Six and a half, it was still a little higher. But I'd still take the four and a half just because for them to open at that, I'm like, uh, it's going to get bet up. And, and again, I bet early, good, bad, or indifferent. I, I get down early on games. If this opened at seven, uh, James Madison would have 95% of the Oh, cash, yes, you know, exactly. Uh, so that's why I think going back to like the whole earlier when it, there was a huge, it got a lot of publicity about like, oh, unranked versus ranked. Well, that crap's been going on for a long time, whether it's college football or college basketball. You just found out about it. You know, so, but did they adjust to those and all of a sudden, you know, slightly move these lines a point or two, which I think they did. Cause then we saw some of these road teams that were the dogs all of a sudden start winning towards, and that's how my run started, like Kentucky over, I think Ole Miss or whatever. Like they started going the opposite way. Like now I did split those two yesterday, but I'm thinking this is a spot where they split yesterday, but today Wisconsin and St. Mary's could easily win by 10. And all of a sudden these are, three and one to the to the books you know so uh, that's what you got to look at it that way and that's the way i i i sense it but i still my gut says i, I got to take the, the dog with the, even with the, the bad number as a four and a half it's a fascinating basketball game at 9 40 p.m we will be at the brooklyn poker room here in san antonio for our poker tournament last year pete we went first and second yeah that's right yeah and uh and I want all I want all the money. Yep. Well, not all of it. So, Your first okay. place money. You want all the first place money. Okay. Uh, TCU Horn Frogs. <laughs> it's gone from minus three to minus four, and I want them. I want the Horn Frogs. What do you think of this spot, Higgsy? Uh, Horn Frogs, Utah State Aggies. Utah, Utah I got State. Utah State. I took yeah. Utah State early four and a half. I was high on Mount West. I had, a, I mean, I had them both. I had them. Well, I didn't have Boise to play them, but I've, right I've had them exactly. Them. Okay. Am I worried? And I said I was worried about my New Mexico today. I'm worried about my um, Aggies here, just uh, the other Utah State Aggies, because then we got New Mexico. You know, yeah. So we have Nevada team that blows a big lead. Colorado State looks terrible. Um, and then you have the other side where the teams they play just totally outplay them. So is it? Was the conference that overrated? I didn't think it was overrated. I, I thought these teams were all tough and they all should be here. Exactly. I did too. Uh, but I'd be lying to say like, oh, boy. Because you see that and you're like, oh, man. Like, as much as I like New Mexico, they still kind of ran through. They had a win just to get in. But you go back to December, they were pretty much on a roll. And then then what happens? Conference play. You lose at Utah State. You lose at Boise. Boise came in and beats you on, in the pit, which is a rarity. But, I mean, they got – you know, Mashburn's a good player, and has a good player. They have two guys who could carry a team, all right. So I'm going to look at, you know, that for that squad. But the Utah State team is that was the best team in that conference. It, it's no one talks about them. Right? We talk, all right, we talked about New Mexico, right? You want to talk about San Diego State? It's got a lot of love, but the but the best team gets no count. And then they're a dog. Come you, on, you know what? What uh, if this if this line moved a little bit, like it'd be like from a two to a four? I'd say it makes sense because Mount West hasn't looked good. It was about the continuity of the program, and I know Utah State with their new coach, he brings two yep. of his stars with him. But that was the big piece for Troy was yeah. that that TCU has a continuity, and then he was that was a, a the, that was his, he, a lot of the teams he likes, yeah. which is, and, and I like that more like starting the season. I get it, you know, you have teams coming newer guys, and, and a lot of those times those teams are, are favored in spots. Like, I, don't, I don't want them to blame. But now it's March, so they've had the entire season to gel a little bit. And let's be honest, this is a team that it, it won their conference. They It it beat teams it should have beat and has how many wins they have, or 25, 26, whatever they are. So I don't know if that's a, a, a not a talking down point or something I'd worry about in this spot. Like I, I think that's a moot point for them here. My point of why I'm concerned about it, you know, Although I like, as I said, I like better forget got Utah State. Ooh, okay, hey, hey, sucky, take sucky. it easy, there. hey fella. You're I'm, cool. I'm cool. Big shot. I'm cool, baby. Had a big shot. Okay, so, I, I want you guys to talk about the Grand Canyon Lopes 
St. Mary Gales game. I'm going to bounce out for a second and set up, get the hockey guys ready to go. So I'll be right back. Uh, can you do Grand Canyon, Lope, St. Mary Gales, the final game on the card, and then review your action for our uh, friends and family in the chat? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll set this one up. I'm not looking at the chat, but yeah, here you go. This is another one of these sexy dogs. I don't know why, why everyone calls them that, a sexy dog. All right, fine. Because I'll call them that too. Them. Yeah, I would, I, would use a different, I would use a different word. I would be like, uh, I would be like, yeah, maybe like low-hanging fruit-looking dog or something like that. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, no, we'll call them sexy. Fine. If that's the word we use, we use. Uh, trend, trendy uh, Trendy. Dogs? That's trendy what I would dogs? use. Yeah, but no, dogs? fine. So, so Grand Canyon, a sexy dog. Um, I think it's... I like the under. I bet the under at 131 and a half. Um, Suspected pitch. I bet the under. Uh, I, I I do think that probably Grand Canyon is an okay bet. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, you know, I mean, it's going to be, they're good. I mean, St. Mary's is great. You know what I mean? I As far as a bet is concerned, I was, I, I had a good read on betting on St. Mary's and then in the, in the spots in, against Gonzaga where it was a bad spot for them, yeah. I bet against them. But St. Mary's in general, not a team I want to bet against. So that, so I bet the under 131 and a half. Uh, I think probably Grand Canyon is a good bet, but yeah, you don't want to be on these sexy dogs necessarily, or maybe you do. I don't know. I, I think they probably have the best guy in the court. Right. That, that all being said with the Grand Canyon, and as much as I've had these other kind of dogs, mm -hmm. I didn't play this one because I thought this would have been the, the, the pick of the litter of taking the, the trendy dogs with Grand Canyon. Low total. You know, you know, yeah, I, I, I prefer the under in this game. I didn't, yeah. I didn't play yeah. in this game. I, 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 I want to take Mary's because I think everyone, as much as the James Madison line looks really low, yeah. people on James are like, oh, you got to take James Madison or Sanford or McNeese. And I'll tell you right stuff. now, I just glanced at Pinnacles. Now six juice to St. Mary's, minus yeah. six, I, minus 112. I think, so. I think St. Mary's and the under is the problem. Yeah. I, I might come in on St. Mary's. I definitely I definitely like the under. I mean, I mean St. Mary's like gave up whatever they, what, 28 points in mid-Tennessee or 30 points. Yeah, yeah. Like you get an effort like that. And again, this is a whack team. Uh, I don't, you know. Do, do you really have – would it be a shocker to you to see this game like these other low-scoring games be like a 36, you know, 30 with like yeah, 15 yeah, minutes yeah, going yeah. Like in, in the second half, like 10 minutes ago, like some really ugly game? Uh, that won't shock me. Yeah. And I, but I don't want the points there because I think Mary's um, – it just – it screams it screams Mary's to me. Mm. It just screams Mary's. Well, the market movement is definitely eye-opening. You know, a favorite favorite like uh, St. Mary's with this total getting bet up at Pinnacle is is pretty eye-opening. You know, so I'm off the side to anyone who took the sexy dog. I hope you cash. Anyone who took the sexy uh, favorite, I, I hope you cash. I, I, you want to pull for Grand Canyon, like yeah, you know, they have you know you you chalk up a lot of wins and it's a good little spot for them. How about you know I think Tarlington plays in where they play in the CBI. You can yeah, take a little yeah, Tarlington yeah. if you want some whack action. They, I think I think they played on you know, Sunday, maybe. You know, it's so so tempting to, to want to pull a trigger on on Grand Canyon, especially first it half, is. especially first half. And I get know. it. I, I'm there with you. I want to. I mean, I take. I mean, what do I got? UAB. I said I had. Yeah, I mean, again, yesterday I got Utah State. I I understand. I'm not taking dogs. Same uh, thing with the Vermont game and the Yale game. Like in a low scoring game, you want the first half. In a game yes. like the Sanford game, you'd want it full game. You yeah. know, but like. I, I I don't like Yale full game, but I do like him first half. I don't like Vermont full game, but I do like him first half. And same thing here. If I was going to take Grand Canyon, especially now that you can get three at 110 or whatever, I would definitely take him first half. Yeah. You know? No, because you think they're going to battle in the first half. That's what you expect. And it's just St. Mary's is is, is deeper. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like Grand Canyon. Yeah. So are you guys on anything else today? I took the under on that on that one. All right. So working right now, what do we got? So we got um UAB. I got UAB. Yeah. I have the. I got UAB Baylor, too. No, I'm on UAB also. Baylor 14. I did take the first halves for, I think, UAB and Colgate. We were on here with Tri. I said, I'm going to have a little first yeah. half, but just like small little. All right, well, let, let's review the games that are coming. Oh, no, Stet, okay. Stetson, UConn, Sean uh, likes the over, over and, and over, his over. argument is good. New Mexico, Clemson, New Mexico. we're both on New Mexico, right? Uh, Yale, Auburn, I'm on Yale, first half plus seven. I and Mike Auburn. M. Mike M. likes the under. You took the over? I like, yeah. No, I took Auburn. Auburn okay. Auburn. Oh, right. Took Auburn. Colorado, Florida, we're both on Colorado. Yes. Right, right, right. Then you got Texas AM, Nebraska, huge game. I'm on TM, Sean Higgs on AM, Dabby Cabs on AM. And then you got the pimp slap play of the day and uh, spreadsheet play of the day or something on, on yes. Nebraska. UVM, Duke, okay. I haven't bet it, but I would take UVM first half plus the points only. I agree that I think that Duke is going to roll them and lean uh, to the under, but Duke, didn't bet yeah. it. Duke getting under uh, for me, yeah. though. 
that. Grambling, Purdue, we got nothing. Uh, Charleston, Alabama, I want to take Charleston first half yep. plus five. I might pull the trigger on that. You got anything? Uh, Charleston, nine and a half. Okay. Longwood, Houston, I forgot. I'm on it. You want to? Bet anything? your cock lock of the day. <laughs> on, Houston, on, on, first Houston, first half. Houston, first half. Okay. Yeah. This team total over 37. Team total. Bet your yeah. cock lock. JMU, <laughs> Wisconsin. Yeah, I took JMU, probably the wrong side. People that I respect are on Wisconsin. And you're, you're off that one, right? Or no, I'm on. I'm on. I got JMU. four and a half yeah. with JMU, and I got uh, four and a half with uh, Utah yeah. State. And 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 Sean Nick took Utah State, Grand Canyon, St. Mary's. I I think actually Grand Canyon is still a good bet. First half at plus three, and I took the under one thirty one and a half. And I'd say I'm 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 kind of leaning to St. Mary's on that one though. How long do we have you before you have to drive? How many I stick hours? around for a while. We got a couple hours. Oh, not a couple hours. No, no, no. My daughter's like, what's for dinner? <laughs> when you come coming home, I just, I are, we going, want, want, are we going? Are we going to Molina? She wants. Uh, I she wants. Need, I need at least ten us. minutes. You gotta give me ten minutes when the show's over. I don't know if the show's gonna be over in time, so no pressure. Because I would love to. Have the show's ten the show'll be over tomorrow. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Mike's got a spreadsheet out there. He's got a notebook full of stuff for hockey. He's like, I don't get in here enough for hockey. I'm coming in ready to go. Well, it's you know he's had a monster NHL season. Yeah, and uh, our guys get to rock with him at six p.m. every night. And he's not delivered the goods on our show in the afternoon. So uh, I'm looking forward to watching Rock right now. Yeah, uh, he's excited. Mr. Sean Higgs, Mr. Peter Loshak, uh, you know, the reason why this group is special is because of uh, gentlemen like you guys. We look up to you. Uh, we look well, up I got to so much fun for all those years. I, I got it. Like I said, you know, I, I found Pete came on here, and that's how I found the pub channel because I was like, oh, Pete's on it. I got to see what Pete's up to because I hadn't seen him in a few years on doing stuff. So I was like, hey, look at this. We go back a long way, Sean Higgs, man. You called me You called me the <laughs> casual capper because I was like sitting on like a, my Did couch that? doing that's a pretty good. casual capper. <laughs> I was better 15 years ago. Yeah. Wow, that is good. That is good. Yeah, that was like I, I didn't. I, my setup was I was like just regular, regular, like in a little spare room there with the couch and the computer. And I, had, <laughs> yeah. I, had, I, had, I had, you, your little producer was like, you gotta hang a blanket over the window. <laughs> huh? gotta, I like literally, I had to tie a, a blanket up, a quilt. No, but it was great. I was, like, I was like, who is this marshmallow looking guy? But I was like, maybe no, he must be. Hold on a, a second. Reason. Whoa, I wasn't even a marshmallow guy. I was in shape back then. Oh, I was, I was leaned out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, yeah. I'll, I'll go. Yeah. Okay. I watched the I was in shape 2014. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so was I. I John told us his weight, and I was shocked to hear he wears his weight perfectly. It's well, quite I'm, shocking. Yeah. Now I'm well. I'm three ten now, but I was like two seventy. I can't I believe was, it. I'd guess two fifty. But also muscle weighs more than fat. I want to give you a big wet kiss no tongue but i'm gonna give you a kiss goodbye though. i only take tongue oh, so, okay. so oh god all right well uh like, <laughs> we'll give we're gonna do a, a little commercial here to give everyone two minutes to uh cycle in and out but uh everyone watching it is friday and you guys know what friday means we're running the horses today trade your membership to gold you will be automatically entered in every horse race every wednesday and friday a lot of names a lot of familiar faces and uh, another chance for fifty dollars to sign up for PSR Gold. It's going to be a lot of fun. Why wouldn't you want to be on this list, huh, Frank? That's a great question. Does AI determine the winner? No, Frank. The fastest horse does. So shout out to everyone that's a member. We appreciate you guys. We let our horses run forever, two and a half hours. Hey, you were racing. It's that Odeo. Here we go. And. They are off. Oh, you know I'm not winning this. My, my horse ain't like this. And here comes Big Show, who says First two minutes is too race. long. Big Show wants this race to end right now. They're going to be moving into the stretch soon. K Wolf up front, Saturday's making a move, and there's Nasty Motherfucking Nate. <laughs> and he should be seen. And he should be seen. Director 97. A hundred dollars. Oh the money. my god, the director! <laughs> and it's director ninety-seven. Back. Oh to back. my god. Fresh take it home! We're six five four! Oh my god! Saturated! Oh, Friedrich's gonna come home with it! Is it Billy Friedrich's time? Oh, Is it his time? No, it's not! Cody Norton made the money! He's still in the fight! He's still in the fight! How dare you come in his town? Does Coin have enough space to get home? Or will Gabby take care of business? Here comes the show! Oh my god! A third win for Director oh 97. God. But Connor Mac picks, picks out. He might be blowing his load a little bit too early. 
Does anybody oh, oh. The contestant comes Iron Eagle out of nowhere? Iron Eagle. It's a packed race. Five seconds. Crystal, Crystal. Crystal. from the back. Crystal. Justin Mackley wants his action. Justin Mackley wants to go back to back. Justin wants it. Justin needs it. Go back. Fire Justin. Where's the wire? Justin. BD comes out of nowhere. Oh, sure. yeah. I was trying to see what you had there going for your, uh, how you set your notes up. Uh, well, yeah, I'll show you because we're about to break down our NHL card. So there we go. Um, uh, Ghoster, my friend. Oh, thank you, buddy. Welcome to the show. Mikey Money the Pimp. Let's go. Uh, what a treat it is to cap this NHL card with you guys. It's fine, guys. Very thankful. Very thankful to hang with you guys. Man. Cheers, Jeff. Cheers, Cheers Mike. Let's go. Uh, and the Indian. Uh, All right. It is the NHL card now here. Are we live? Uh, we are live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're live. What, what, do, you, what do you think? We just. I, I thought we were still right on. Like. Uh... No, no. No. We're live. Okay. We're live, man. We're live. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Now we have a four-game NHL card. We're going to cap it here with Mikey Money, the Pimp, and Mister Ghoster. But Mikey, before we do that, everybody wants to know what did you move on in college basketball? Oh man, let's go. You want to dig right in? Let's talk about some basketball here. So and get close to the mic. Don't, don't, don't be afraid. Am I not to eat close the mic. enough here? Right, right, me, don't be afraid me, to eat the mic. Let me get on this fucking thing here. Let's talk about it, guys. Here, big opportunities today. I'm definitely entrenched in college hoops here. Of course, the hockey slate's been so good that we got to keep it rolling. But uh, digging in, taking a look around the board. First of all, yeah, favorite spot on the board. I'm all about this New Mexico team. I love this New Mexico spot. Mm -hmm. uh, Mountain West, you know, they've been struggling, but uh, I think these guys that are playing today are certainly going to turn that kind of, you know, every every trend can regress and get itself back to the mean. So I like this New Mexico spot. Uh, earlier today, it was sitting around minus twos. It's starting to come back to minus one and a half. Yeah, there's a number of people on it here, 65% of the bets and 68% of the cash, but uh, all good for me on that spot. I'm jumping in on this under in the uh, Yale game as well. So a little afternoon action that's popping off here. And um uh, you know, I saw this one really comes down to um, uh, Ivy League schools. Ivy League schools, first rounds of the, uh, you know, March Madness are, I believe it's eight and one to the under. Uh, great opportunity and the margin in those spots. You guys know I love to talk about those margin plays there. It's uh, it's almost nine points to the under in that spot. So this thing's moved up and moved up almost three points from, I think, the original opening. I think that's a great spot to get involved with. And uh, the best number that I saw out there, I believe, was 141 and a half. But uh, I will double check. And uh, keeping it rolling. Let's keep going here. Definitely got a big college basketball card today. Uh, Colorado, I'm jumping in on this Colorado spot. I'm big on these guys. I'm big on the Pac-12. Uh, you know, as far as the ACC and the SEC, those are not programs that I want to really get tied up to in this postseason tournament. And most of the uh, brackets that I filled out kind of reflect that as well. So uh, certainly the spot that I want to jump in on there. Uh, look, Duke, I get it. Everyone likes them. Everyone loves them. Uh, I think they kind of ran out of gas after that UNC game. They peaked out. Uh, this is a spot where you're fading the ACC, as I just kind of mentioned, and uh, you've got a team where um, uh, they've got four days or more rest in the ACC, struggling in the postseason to get it done. So 12 and a half points for Vermont right now. As much as not a big fan of this Vermont program, they don't play, obviously, the, the near caliber that Duke does. But, uh, you know, you look at the jerseys, a lot of people love that Duke team, and uh, I'm going to take the 12 and a half points. I think that's going to be just a few too many in that spot. Because I'm interested in joining you on that one, but keep rolling. I was thinking about the first half too. I know we kind of talk about those spots out there and where I've been, uh, uh, where I haven't pulled the trigger yesterday with travel and, and such, I missed some of these first half spots that kind of lined up so nicely for us here. Uh, it's sitting at six and a half. So it'll be a spot that I end up double dipping on here. I see, you know, it opened at seven. So it's starting to come down a little bit as well. So one of those, get it early, get it while it's hot. I think there's a good opportunity for the double. I just expect them not to, not to maybe win the game outright here, but certainly to be in control. And, you know, if you kind of look at Duke and their spots and kind of where they've been rolling around here, I could, should have brought my mouse in here. Certainly a little easier. But uh, at the same time, you know, Duke, back-to-back -back losses. I know we try to like to, to jump in on those spots and, and capitalize, but there's too many points, too many points. They, they're laying 11. NC State, definitely a big program. There's that UNC school. NC State, again, was in the rematch spot. But I think it's a great opportunity. I think it stays a lower-scoring game, which does boast and, and support the uh, opportunity for Mont to get the job done. And it's a ton of points. So we've seen a lot of dogs. You guys heard me talk last week. I love the dogs in the under, unless you can talk me off it. And uh, I just don't have enough of a reason to get there. So I think that's just too many points in that spot. And then as we move down the card, 
a uh, couple more spots that I jumped in on. I can't believe I'm looking at you right now, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> See you right here in person. In person, in studio. Yeah, man. I can't believe it, man. Money, uh, Mac. All the work that we've done together now, we, I get to see you in person. And, and I was so drunk when you came in last night. <laughs> yeah. I was just uh, not not, not the way I uh, <laughs> not my, my That was not my plan for first impression. <laughs> You know, you can only make one of them, and it was a great one. So you did great. It was awesome. Uh, I came in. I'm like, where's Jimmy? There? He's in there. I, look, I didn't see anybody. The lights were off, and nobody was home. I'm like, what's going on in here? Uh, and then, you know, and then uh, and then some choice words, and you were gone. You were like, choice words, really? I, I'm surprised I was – okay, well, I won't uh, wax on it, but I'm surprised I wasn't – Look at that. Two minutes left here. 56, 56. And Fuck. we got uh, just slaughters. Got, uh, I had the chance to move live. Oh, by the way, I moved live. Uh, sorry, guys. I moved live on UAB plus 11 and a half. Um, that's my first live bet of the actual weekend because I was so drunk yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yeah so that's my first. But I, I, I had a chance to get on FAU at plus three and a half and I didn't, which was a, obviously a mistake. So, you know, Slaughter's got 3K on yeah, this. Yeah. Let's, let's get this home for our guy, man. Our fucking leader. Money line yeah, money line. Money line. Money line. You. Uh, okay. Um, JT Yilsis would love to be there right now. You know, uh, the most important thing about last year was just making sure that everybody knows that we'll be here every year. And I'd like to be here for first round. I think this is a cool the year first round. So we're going to be here every year. Yes. Uh, look at these dope ass shirts that's we got. Right. That's our Papa Palooza. God, it's going to look good, man. That looks so dope. Uh, Papa Palooza 3, number 24 in the back. That looks fucking dope. Show them the new uh, Low Shack in the back shirt. This is the first. Uh, well, we had one at SBR, but this is the dopest well, shirt I've this, ever guys. seen. Well, look at this. This. Uh, this is our new uh, Low Shack in the bag. GTA style, baby. Yeah, man. Um, I'm gonna be that's rocking awesome. that shit. That looks that's dope, sick. Man. That's GTA style. That's awesome. That's fucking that. dope, man. That's fucking dope. I'm very proud to. Uh, yeah, for those who don't know, one for twenty or it's one for twenty-five, two for forty right now. So buy yours today. Twenty-five, two for forty. Two for forty. Uh, those are both beautiful, but that low shack in the bag is fucking uh, gangster shit. It's gangster Badass shit. man, get that awesome. swag. Let's go. All right, fifty-eight, fifty-six, Florida Atlantic. You know what? You know what? If you want to have a party. You want your boss to make money. Yes. Yeah. It's no fun. Let's yeah. go at you. <laughs> Trust me, man. Yeah. Uh, not, no, and, 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 you know, Slaughter's the, the fuck. He's such a real gambler. So, you know, he's, he's a, a good take, man. But, you know, wins, loss, he, he gets the game. But if you want to party, you want your boss to, to fucking cash. FAU running nice here. Yes, There's sir. Mr. Spenny Penny Bombs. Spenny, in the house. Hey. Spenny Penny Bombs going to join us. Uh, Spenny Penny Bombs and Peter Loshak are going to join us uh, for NHL after we break down NHL. Ghoster and Mikey Money. Yes, so sir. let's get right to work here. Did you finish? And I interrupted you. No, no, man. We're rolling. We got a full did, guard. We had a great did, night yesterday. I'll, let me move quickly through these guys. No, no worries. But don't, no, no, no pressure. No stress, man. I got the handyman. Do you think? Yeah, let's pour them up and I'll, uh, I'll fire through this here. Uh, Houston. Big spot for Houston. Great opportunity for Houston. Now, Gabby Cab knows. He's a, he's a big fan of the long wood and, uh, and uh, they've been profitable for us, but you know, if you want to answer the question, how deep does long wood go? Yeah. Uh, it's one and done here. I think Houston's going to blow these guys yeah. right out the gym. Not so deep. That's but not so deep. It's going to be uh, a game of just Shallow. a tip with long wood. Yeah. Tip. Yeah. Mike, by the way, uh, Cabby was in here saying that you, that you liked long wood deep or something like that. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, I just wanted to, to dissuade those rumors for you. Yeah, well, I appreciate you setting the record. Let's just set the record straight. Let's just set the record straight right now while we're here in person, right? Cheers, you guys. Shout out everybody in the chat, guys. Great to see you. Old E. Joe T, I saw you up in there as well, man. It's great to see everybody here in person, in the flesh. Get to see everybody, man. Up, great Ricky? names, faces. A lot of fun. A lot of fun going on, boys. Let's roll here. I'm uh, I'm moving along here. Let's uh, get this in. Miss you, buddy. Oh, wow. I should have moved on them live. I could have gotten plus three. Okay, but let's. Uh, I just want Jeff to, uh, you know, uh, he did provide the breakfast layout. And yes. anytime your boss picks up a quick 3K in the morning, uh, there'll be another breakfast tomorrow. You're very happy whenever yeah. Jeff wins. Yes. So yeah. let's, but you, but you make it sound like he's a drunken stepfather who's going to beat you, Coaster. Who, Jeff? Yeah. Jeff's my best friend. Okay. So your action? <laughs> On that note, uh, I'm on James Madison. I get it. A lot of guys like this whiskey team. Yes, yeah, I do. You know, you whiskey, like whiskey team. I'm on whiskey. I'm oh, better whiskey. Yeah. Oh, uh, whiskey. Yeah, I don't want to be head to head. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know, but I am. I am. Oh, yeah. I'll take the five and a half there. Let's go. I don't know how all these big 10 teams are going to get it done and keep advancing. So I think that's going to be a little bit of a change. I, I was last night, I was pulling out $100 bills all the time and I lost one. I'm, I'm gonna stop doing that because I would have done that right now and bet you. But I, I, I think uh, when you start drinking early, uh, you shouldn't. Touch your yeah, mind. no, no, you got yes. wallet. I just, yes. I just had the button in the back pocket. I didn't even know it was there. So, you know what? Let me lock this thing down. Let me lock this thing down. 
Guys, I like this Utah State team here. Utah was plus two and a half. Now we're sitting at three and a half as well. So I jumped in on that spot there. I know Mountain West, I talked about this, but I am not a fan of TCU. I'm not a fan of their schedule. I'm not a fan of anything, as I mentioned, when it comes Jesus. down to you we're, like the, you yeah, like the TCU yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be going at it. but but that'll be at the poker game tonight oh. in Brooklyn but yeah I'm on TCU in Wisconsin oh no well I don't mm. like hearing that no, I don't like hearing how about that. Alabama can I take the under with that can you follow me on the under in this Alabama no I, I'm trying not to bet totals I just don't think I have an advantage when it comes to I I really don't feel like I have a, an advantage as a gambler when it comes to totals I really don't you know the Big Ten you know or I'm sorry the uh, big tournament here they talk about the first half unders and uh, you know get on them early in the first round. Six and ten yesterday, so that's definitely kind of a bubble that's been burst, and uh, I can certainly appreciate that. Full game's kind of been regressing a little bit. We've seen faster pace starts, and uh, things kind of taper off. But uh, last spots that I have besides that Bama under there, I went St. Mary's. I doubled up St. Mary's against Grand Canyon. Nanya says it was a that you like deep Longwood. That was the allegation. The deepest of the Longwoods. That's Dan Caps. I mean, you should have seen. I had a, the man crush. He was gushing about this morning over the breakfast table. I was like, dude. You're gonna make out with him first. You can take him right in the bedroom. So who was yeah. it, Mike? Who was the Mike? Who's who the man? The uh, you know, it's one of his boys that he was typing up and talking about. So I'm sure we'll see him later on. But uh, I was like, yeah. F F A you up by two. Let's is go. It an embrace or uh, okay. let's go. You can take him right keep rolling, room. keep rolling, Mike. That's it. That's it. We're rolling. Okay. So okay. I've got so same can, can, can you do the uh, full review now? I will. Let's okay. go. Full review, really quick, rapid fire review from Mikey Money's college basketball action today. And we have been money. Let's keep it rolling here. St. Mary's. I'll uh, start bottom up. St. Mary's first half full game. I got Utah State plus three and a half. Uh, JMU plus five and a half. I took Houston. I got minus 23 and a half in that spot. Alabama, I got 173 and a half. It's sitting at 172 and a half. I'm fine with that. One point's not going to be enough to, to push me off the number. Uh, 12 and a half with Vermont. And uh, let's see, let's see. I know Daddy was all over that day, and I'm probably sitting here for 15, 20 minutes talking about it. Uh, I jumped in on Colorado. Uh, one and a half for me with Colorado now. And uh, I like the under in that Yale spot. I took New Mexico on the money line. And, uh, uh, you know, shout out to Razor. Him and I sitting around the coffee table. I said, man, the bookie's got to be shaking. It was such a treat being in person, sitting down with him this morning, talking spots, looking at games. We talked about a high level, and then we just broke it right down to this uh, Stetson first half under uh, 27 and a half, 27s. Now some of the 26 and a half's out there. So team total under, team total under yeah. for that Stetson spot in the first half as well. Shout out to Razor Sharp Picks. Yeah, Sir. man, uh, it's a great, great fucking group. Okay, this is legend. There you go, times, guys. Let's load it college basketball action. Let's see if we get this cash, man. It's gonna be a lot of fun sitting around Good. celebrating victories. Rochester's finest, yes, right sir. here, and Belleville's finest. Couple shit towns. Couple Lake on terrible guys. <laughs> Let's go, uh, NHL. Uh, my, uh, it better be my bread and butter, or um, you know, I won't uh, keep my family together. Wow. Ah. We let's go. Oh, the stakes are hot. Look, let's go. 7 p.m. Eastern Carolina Hurricanes, 44, 20, and 6, 21, 11, and 2 on the road at the Washington Capitals, 33, 26, and 9, 17, 11, and 5 at home. Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. Uh, when we talk about Washington's success this year, and I know maybe when you're 33, 26, 9, you're like, is that success? I thought they'd be much worse. Yeah. Uh, their special teams have stepped up. Yep. Alexander Ovechkin has stepped up. Mm -hmm. You know, losing Kuzi and they they lost Kuzi two years ago. Yeah. I mean, it was like Kuzi was head wasn't in the game. He didn't. I don't know. Uh, you know, we can't. Uh, the, the, you need a psychologist to wax on that shit. But but they're so much better than I thought they would be, and I still want to fade them nonstop. I have not made a bet in NHL uh, so far. So uh, today I did. There was not nothing that just like screamed at me. Mm -hmm. Uh, Peter Kochekov against Darcy Kemper is what I had listed. Uh, yep. Kochekov can say yep. that it's confirmed. Kochekov, 19, 12, and 3, 2.36 goals against average, 9, 13, save percentage, and three shots. Those are nice numbers. He's good. Uh, the, it's not he. The Hurricanes are fucking good. Yes. yes. They're such a yep. good hockey team. And Rod the Bod, Brindamore running the ship. Man. Guy's in the gym before anyone else, already pumping, oh, you know, iron. He's so much he's tougher than everybody on that team. He's a view. God, he, he, the way he chews gum, you're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know? Fuck. <laughs> He's just a he's a he's a fucking beast. Yeah. He, he'll he will he will he will beat you up. He will beat you up if you want to. And and for those of you that don't know, and, and um, I actually had this confirmed uh, 15, 20 years ago with some writers, uh, NHL writers. Uh, the the worst concussion Lindros got. Oh, yeah, was from Brindamore. Yeah. Brindamore gave yeah. it to him in the dressing room. He beat the shit out of him. Oh, did he? 
Yeah, brought old Brindamore Eric beat the shit yeah. out of Eric Lindor. when he was on Philly, or yeah, and that's yeah. why yeah. Brendan Moore was traded. He had it was a Rod went in after he beat the shit. It's like it's you or it's him or me, and they're like, well, I guess it's you. And so Brendan Moore was traded to the Carolina, Carolina Hurricanes, and he won the cup. The, the the biggest concussion in Eric Lindros's career is not from Scott Stevens' shoulder. <laughs> It's from bad. Rod Brindamore's. Just fucking give him the Rod Brindamore here. fucked because uh, that's awesome. Now, now there's some story behind that I can't quote. That part I can't quote. Like I guess he, I, I'm not gonna quote. But uh, there's some sort of uh, infidelity or some shit going on. But while I, you guys are talking yeah. about that, we have a lovely uh, bar camera as well now, uh, oh, so people nice. can see uh, Let's get live. live, live oh, yeah, can, can, can we can add we take a look? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a live bar cam as well as we're all watching. I want to see the bar cam. Thing. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see that. Oh, yeah. Northwestern. Okay, we oh, five seconds, four seconds, three it's seconds. It's a game. Two seconds. It's a tight game. What are you doing? Oh, oh, what are you doing? What? Like, he gave up. He fucking gave up. Northwestern is acting like they won. Jesus Christ. Honestly, they are. What the hell was that last possession, though, FAU? You are playing for overtime there. You had the ball. That would have been a great call. Some overtime. Who knew that? Jesus Christ. So the Hurricanes are on the yeah. second half of a back to back after winning their fifth straight game, 3 2 at home over the Flyers in overtime last night. And and I said on our show, like, I did not want them in that spot. I did not want them. No. But I might want them here. And you'd have to take them on the puck line. We'll go over the line history. Uh, Washington had their three and winning streak snapped in a 7 3 loss at home to the Leafs on Wednesday. And I have been very, you know, uh, when you fade teams nonstop, which I, there's a couple teams that I fade yeah, nonstop. Terrible, Billy. I fade them nonstop. And, and you start building respect for the teams that you fade. Sure. And I fade the Boston Bruins nonstop. Yeah. I fade the Washington Capitals nonstop. And these are good hockey teams. Yeah. I cannot believe Washington is playing as well as they are. You know, no, I know. Age. Uh, let's go to my history here and hand it over to the squad. Uh, what, what are you looking for for a, a puck line? Uh, do you want a road team on a puck line? I mean, it's just um, it's just a very tricky spot here with the Hurricanes, and that's why I haven't bet it yet. Uh, and I don't think I want to bet it, really, because Washington's just playing good hockey right now. I watch them play. They're playing – they're just much better than I imagined them being. And and I thought that, that Lionitis or whatever the owner was just like – giving up and just knowing that Ovechkin's chase to uh, 892 goals was going to fill the arena. Yeah. But they're playing good hockey. Carolina right now is in the minus one range, which I'm surprised. Wow, they're in the minus run range. Uh, they opened up at minus 201. They're now minus 189. There's been a move towards the Washington Capitals. And I don't care about cash flow in NHL. So Mikey Money, Mr. Gokster, Mr. Gokster, why don't we start with you? Uh, okay. Take it away. Your thoughts on Hurricanes, Capitals. Well, the starting Kemper, Jim, when we were looking into it, he's been just so bad. Like three goals against his last five, six games. So I wanted to try and take a case for the under, but more me and Mikey were talking about it. Carolina, Kuznetsov's game's coming back. Yeah, Kochekov's look really good. But like you're saying, Washington's playing good hockey. And they still got a chance in that last, you know, seven, eight wild card spot, right? So you think Kuznetsov rivalry spot? Is that what you're. I, I, I think Washington. Want to, want to be yes yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're they're gonna say hey see you know you're on the better team now but guess you know yeah, yeah. and they're coming off a 7-3 loss to toronto too i think there's going to be some goals here i carolina is going to be able to match them and with kemper if lingren was in net this would have been a tougher cap in my I opinion i'm not high on lingren I, I know his numbers are better than kemper's but um i feel like he's got a little more a little more upside like with with kemper it's it's just he, he six games you've allowed at least three goals or more and you got a carolina team that's they're, they're going to be it's going to be a tough matchup but with that being said jim this power play for washington it's it's in the 30 percent uh range right now in the last since the break really so i think washington's going to get up for this game it's going to be a back-to-back -back two for carolina they played last night with freddie anderson one three two so that's why i stayed off the um carolina but the total the, the side's going to be tough but when we're looking at goals mikey five and a half minus 120 that's that that's where i'm looking in this game i think it's gonna i think washington Washington can score at least two goals in this, and I see um, Carolina getting at least three. So five and a half minus one twenty, Jim. Steve G agreeing. Did you tweet out your action? By I, the way? They, I forgot to do that like yesterday. Yeah. End up yeah. going three and two. And oh, I know I, I know I did I not pissed. tweet out my action. I know you I didn't had such either. A monster night. I know you hit Buffalo <laughs> oh, first man. period too. 
Oh yeah, I didn't tweet that out. No, I know, I know. It's such a I had a monster night, and I tweeted out nothing. I know. I hit Rangers Boy, plus one twenty six. All the managers are bankrupt. We hit the Blues, right? We were gonna tweet at the Blues. Oh, I cashed the Blues. Yes, but just yeah. privately alone here, puking on my shoe. Uh, <laughs> over five and a half from Gogster here. Uh, so this is, uh, of course, we track every single bet that is made on the show yeah. uh, for accountability. And uh, and I'll tweet these out too. I'm going to tweet them all out right Gogster now. Gogster on the over five and a half in Carolina, Washington. Well, yeah. I've talked myself off of Carolina. Let's hear what Mikey Money thinks about the spot. Yeah, first of all, I heard the uh, the prelude to us in our conversation today. And uh, the one opportunity gave me one at bat on a Wednesday for the NHL. So mm-hmm. I'm going to kick some ass and take some names. I mean, look, it's like a two game card. I mean, shit, you know, when we go 50%, I don't, I don't know. The numbers weren't great, but uh, I'll own it. And let's talk about this game, though. I, I totally agree. You know, goes to a benefit of being here in person. You get the opportunity to talk to the guys that you see on screen, the guys that yeah, you respect yeah. the way they cap. And, you know, you kind of work at the game from different angles. We then kind of took a little time out. We, we kind of scrubbed the numbers together again. And originally, uh, the backstory here, we were talking about the under in this game. And uh, we thought this is going to be a potential playoff spot. Washington being on the bubble, uh, you know, tight game as they kind of, you know, move towards the direction there. But I think within about five minutes, we both looked at each other and said, you know what, this definitely feels like an over spot for us. Uh, The Washington Capitals, as far as being a home team on a Friday, are an over team as well. Uh, When we've got a number at six, and I know there's sixes and five and a half, but for index purposes, when I when I uh, when I cite some of these numbers, we can get a better number than the six. But um, in this case here, Washington Capitals as a home team on a Friday. They're eight and 15. They're losing those games by about one and a quarter goals a game, but uh, the overs hit 15 times out of 21. So strong trend there as well. I like the five and a half. Um, I think the juice is better for the six. So uh, I will, I'll take it it's hard with some of these lights uh, minus one Oh two. I see for the six uh, ghost. going to jump it on the five and a half. And what did you get ghost on the five and a half? Minus Minus one twenty. Okay. 120. So minus minus one twenty. Interesting. Interesting angle you guys have here. I mean, I mean, look, you look at this goaltender here on the other side with Kemper. Now, you you know, you're not a lingering fan. I can support that. I mean, he's definitely. No, I just I just don't believe in it. Well, look, I think he's better than Kemper, but I mean, like, um, I just. I exactly. Know. I agree. I agree. He's better than Kemper, but he's not. He's not. a. St- not, oh, my God, guys. This is yeah, that's a big one. fucking FAU or heartless, gutless, you name it. You know, they're down by eight guys. Time out. Over six was minus one one. Uh, minus one oh two. Two. Yeah. Yep. Minus one two. OK. Uh. Interesting. Very, very interesting breakdown. The breakdown is, is uh, got me off of the Hurricanes. I think the Koozie the storyline is interesting. When he demanded a trade, it was so fucked up. Uh, I think that w- when you have struggles with the bottle or with Blow, because yeah. his Blow, I think it was. Blow yeah. was his, when you just want to leave the city. You want to leave the dealers. Right? You want to, you know. That's why I left Bell. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in Bell. I, I can't control myself. Yeah. I just have to leave. So uh, I, the koozie sideline is a very interesting. Let's move on. Look at this last game, too, by the way, though. The last note that I had on that yeah. spot there. Seven goals he allowed in that spot. Interesting enough, they didn't pull him out. And I think it's because of the lack of depth they have at goaltender. They're short rotation. So this guy gets banged up for seven goals. They leave him in there. It was an 81% saving. Uh, if it gets trouble today, it's going to be trouble, I think, for them all day. They don't, they're not going to yank one thing. One, one thing to keep in mind is the affiliates of the Hershey Bears, they got Shepard. The Shepard guy, they won the, the Calder Cup with him. I'm surprised like, they're really keeping him there. They're really keeping him in the AHL. I guess Hershey, they're always the top team guys. But, um, yeah, the good thing about the Capitals, you got the Hershey Bears. They're one of the top AHL teams. They they really know how to – like they got La, uh, Laprierre and they got uh, McMichael, who played for the, the Calder Cup team. They won the Calder Cup. So – they got some good players in their in their farm system, Washington. Um, oh, yeah, we looks like we got some more shots going here, guys. I'm a little. Uh, I, I stopped shaking though. Looks like you're. Uh, That's good. I stopped yeah. shaking. Well, let's put that right over the laptop. <laughs> Sorry, man. Was that Bologna? <laughs> HP, baby. Get that fucking. All right, on. guys. All right. Cheers, boys. Cheers. All right, we let's move on. Cash. We move on to game two. Mm. God, the henny's nice. Uh, that henny's nice. We move on to 8 p.m. Eastern. Oh, fuck. We have the Ron Crawford spreadsheet play of the day on Dallas and regulation. Pittsburgh Jeez. Penguins 30, 29, and 9, 12, 16, and 5 on the road. Dallas Stars 42, 19, and 9, 21, 10, and 4 at home. We're in American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. Is now the time where Dallas is going to show that they're one of the top two or three teams in the league? Uh, because it seems that way over the last two games. Now, it's just two games. But, you know, they, they're one of those teams where they don't play their first line 20 minutes a game. They, you know, they they run four lines. Yeah. Uh, their captain Jamie Ben, who is someone Vancouver. I don't, well, Victoria, Victoria, Jacoby Walter. 
Yeah, fuck. That's why we parted, baby. Let's go. Remember, remember when Dabby Cap didn't want this on his record, though? Yeah, he didn't want it on his record. Yeah, he didn't want it on his record. Yeah, he didn't want it on his record, though. I mean, it's in my bank account. Yeah, no, it's in his bank account. No, I feel you. I feel you. The best part is Dabby Cap was talking about it all night. Do you think I genuinely give a shit? It's in my bank account right now, Vince. Let's go. All night he's talking about it. He says uh, the best line. So he's talking that. I hate it. He says, you know, take both these guys a plus 140. He says, uh, you know, uh, worst case scenario, one hits and one doesn't. Nasty. There he is. There. Nasty Nate rolls and he goes, There's Nate. What do you mean? Worst case scenario, they both lose. You're wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> You're wrong. So he talks shit all night, and then uh, the next day he's talking about it again in the morning, and then uh, and then the parlay came into play. Everybody played it eventually. So uh, Billy Frieder, that catch, Billy Frieder, two, two, two and zero on the waffle maker. Hey Jose, can we get the new uh, record? The twelve and one. Twelve and one. The waffle maker. The twelve and one. No, but you don't need to worry, Jose. I mean, uh, look, look at him walking. Out. Yeah. You know, you know, isn't Jose money in the bank? Oh man, he cares. Yeah. This guy cares, isn't that? Guys, you don't true? understand. Yeah, Jose is wouldn't he, be what it is if it Jose. Oh, he's the backbone in the pub, but yeah. uh, he cares, and that's all I want. I only want to yeah. work with people that fucking care. Yeah. Okay, but let's get back to work here. Ron Crawford's given us Dallas in regulation of spreadsheet play today. You know, you guys know that I think the Pittsburgh Penguins and Kyle. I think Kyle Dubis is an. Oh look at we got Wally in this. Motherfucker. Hey, Wally. 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 Look it up, my guy. Look at this. Calvin Johnson jersey. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Wally, say Megatron. what up. Wally, say what up. You're on, you're on camera right now. You're on camera. Yeah, man. No, no, you're looking at the basketball game. Look at that one. Look at that one. There you are. Wally in the motherfucker. Megatron. <laughs> man, Wally, you this motherfucker. I love it, Wally. Great to see you. Good to see you, man. Wally. Oh man. Oh, right respect, on, brother. respect, respect. And Wally, is your brother? Yes. Oh man. Wonderful nice to, meet to meet you. you. Wonderful to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks guys. for coming, oh, guys. Man. Ah, Wally, 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 Wally bring good vibes. Wally bring good vibes. OG Wally, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Um, so spreadsheet play the dates on the Dallas Stars here. And you guys know that I think. The Penguins are lifeless. A, no, I think they're a poorly constructed hockey team. Uh, Kyle Dubas is such an, uh, he's a little boy. He's hey, a little boy, there. and you don't let little boys run hockey teams. Oh, he's a little fanboy, fucking loser. He's such him. a little, like a, you know, now he makes a lot of money. You know, probably got a hot wife. And oh, hot wife for sure. Oh, for probably, sure. probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. Percent chance. Probably. So he goes. Look, <laughs> uh, Kyle Dubas lives a better life than me. I, look, I'm not. I'm not. But but I will say that he's a fucking ass clown, and he's a yep. little boy who 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 puts players on. I mean, Wayne Simmons and Joe Thornton. That's who we brought to the Toronto Maple Leafs because we're the same fucking age, <laughs> and and he. But I know. That you can be a fan of a sport and understand that it's a fucking business. Exactly. But Kyle Dubas doesn't understand that shit. I don't know how Kyle Dubas is making the money he's making. I don't know. And then he brings in Carlson. He brings in the the fucking Norris Trophy winner on the San Jose yeah. Sharks who playing meaningless hockey. Exactly. I, he should not have won the Norris Trophy. He's playing meaningless hockey. <laughs> You're right. The stats are all meaningless moments. Oh, is that a stack of cash? That might be mine. It is mine. Oh, okay, we got a stack yeah, of cash. Yeah, yeah, it's sure? <laughs> yeah. Stack of cash. Okay. 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 Some coins floating around out there too. Uh, Trent Ferguson says, "For the love of God, somebody get Go Goji another shot," and we will do that. Uh, but I think. Are Pittsburgh you sure that's yours? I'm pretty sure. God, I just love the deliberating over this ten dollars. It's ten dollars. Go, Ghost has ten dollars account. Add, add, add another one on that shit. No, 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 you'll care about that. I, I, I didn't see it. I think, I think I am. Yeah, because I pay, I just got sunglasses for you seven bucks. I only got game? three dollars left. And I got yeah, bet ten dollars. I'll bet you ten bucks on this game. You yeah, you know what? Go, well, we'll make a bet on this. This ten dollars is going to be a gamble. We're gambling. Okay, but let, let's. Penguins let's coming go. off their second loss in three games, five two at the Devils on Tuesday. Uh, that market went heavily towards <laughs> Pittsburgh, heavily, like 40 cents towards Pittsburgh, and they still lost because they're, they're old and slow exactly. and boring. And this is no fault on Sidney Crosby, who is playing his heart out. He's playing his heart out. He's, he, he's you know, but it's no he fault. He shouldn't go him. out like this. It's, Lead the well, team in goals. Out. Well, no, I know, but. Fuck him. The Stars coming off their second straight win, 5-2 at home over Arizona on Wednesday. This is the final game of a five-game homestand, which is not a spot I want to back a team. Yeah. 
the yeah. five, fifth game of a five game homestand. Yeah. It's not like you leave it like I just it just. But I want nothing to do with the Pittsburgh Penguins. So uh, Mikey Money, take it away. Yeah, let's go. Let's talk about this game here. So. Big, you know, you, you mentioned it. I, I think they're all but done. You know, they had to be done. They're making trades at the deadline with key personnel. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, you they're still stuck with uh, with Malkin in the mix as well. But, you know, you look back at kind of what they've done there. He looks terrible. Oh, yeah. He just he looks, looks, he so looks bad. Out. Low Shack's done. been hitting He's his shots down. under for a while now, under two and a half, because the guy can't skate. So how are you going to shoot the puck? Like, he, right. can't, he can't even skate out there, you know? it's Oh, he looks terrible. It's awful. You know, and then as you look back at what's been through, what they've done here, they're they're just in and out. They're inconsistent. Win yeah. one, lose one. Win one, lose one. You know, so a couple of numbers that I've been tracking here. You know, we look at the away dog when they're playing against the Western Conference. They don't play well. Ninety-seven and one ninety-three out there definitely says take a Dallas spot there. But the spot that I'm going to ride with me uh, tonight here is this over on this Dallas team. Big opportunity. You look at a couple of things. You look at Ottinger. He has not been in form as of late. He's let up four goals or more in four of his last eight games. So this guy can certainly go out there and get shelled. It's yeah. their offense that can go out there and produce that pulls them across the finish line. Yep. So you look back 5-2, 4-1, 6-2 loss, 4-3, and we're just seeing goals, 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 goals. So uh, three of the last four games have gone over as well. Uh, Dallas, when they're in the big favorite role, and they're very much they are here today, 17-0 and to the over in that spot. So I'm going to jump in there. I love this opportunity. I think we're going to see some goals on this Dallas team. I think it's, again, a Friday night. It's a big spotlight night for these guys at home on the – on the big lights, and uh, it's a big opportunity out there. Just just to bash up on this Pittsburgh team that's checked out. But I'm going to go one more. You already kind of led to them, and, and we're going to talk about some player props. Maybe I'm channeling my inner Pete Loshak. Here we I go. the opportunity to meet the great, but oh. I'm excited about the opportunity Isn't here. Isn't he magical? Oh, man. He's yes. fun. He's fun. Yeah. Guys, if you haven't met Peter Loshak, oh, <laughs> there's no one like Peter treat. Loshak, I'll tell you that. Oh, just, a, just a good there's guy. No it makes you feel good about some of the spots you're on. Even I downplayed some spots. He's like, oh, no, no, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> So I didn't have a lot of shout out to him, but uh, player prop wise, I'm going Crosby goal. Give me a Sidney Crosby goal. Leads the team with 33 goals. You got a bunch of bums that aren't doing shit anyhow. And uh, someone's going to score for Pittsburgh. It might as well be the guy that's the captain, still leading by example, if you can call it that. And here's a guy for us at plus 195. So I got the over six uh, and a half is out there now. I'm going to jump in on goals and I'm going to jump in there with our guy at almost wow. two to one my money. Give me some Sidney Crosby action. Uh, I've been wrong before, but I feel pretty good about this opportunity. I have to um, squeeze my left hand. Yeah, you're uh, clenching up there. I, I really, I just uh, <laughs> obviously, I'm a, I'm a big Sidney Crosby fan, and and uh, fans don't make money. Yeah, uh, I'm so, not a Sidney Crosby. Okay, no, I respect I respect your action. I would love to back Sidney Crosby score goal, but I do not want to be watching a hockey game hoping for for one player to score a goal. I fucking, but your overs are respect and. Uh, uh, yeah, Al Cervic, we got the Al Cervic, my man, uh, gifting the Falcons. Falcons, there you go, Falcons. The Look Atlanta that, Falcons. Wow. You know, and when I asked anybody Canadian, I said, um, what is this bird? They all said Falcon. Falcon, yeah, it's an Atlanta Falcon. <laughs> That's how I say it. Well, we also learned yesterday that uh, uh oh, here we go. Here gutters we go. are in, in Canada are called eavesdrops. Eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. I don't know what the fuck that Jamie, is. Jamie, you know what an eavesdrop is? Of course. Is? Thank you. I said it to all these Americans. They go, "You mean gutter?" I was like, "What I the go, fuck are you talking about?" I go, "It's an eavesdrop." They go, "No, it's a gutter." And then Nuke had to explain the gutter is what goes into the drain. But anyway, it's it. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, let's we not use that as a benchmark. You guys still use loonies and tunies as frame of Well, everyone else uses yeah, Celsius yeah, yeah, and yeah. liters. I don't know what you guys are doing. Yeah. Let's, you don't need it's to follow a, everybody else. You're a leader by example. <laughs> Shout out America. You know, I love America. <laughs> I do, The too. fact that they don't use the metric system is just the dumbest <laughs> shit I ever heard in my life. Yeah. Well, Mike, uh, real quick, who uh, are you betting on tomorrow, Team America or Team Canada in golf? Oh, man. I mean, look. He wants to make money, golf's so. Golf's a little different, you know. Uh, uh, I look at the deal, please, bro. Yeah, nobody's, nobody's, I'm, on, I'm on Team Canada with this one here. You brother. Know, listen, I, know, I hate to say it aloud, but, you know, I got to... Oh my Come Goonies on. and Toonies M now. I, I think the Canadian problem, golf's on the I think upcoming. the problem with Team America is Jose Bouquet. Yeah, I mean, Ooh. you know, he's already talking about he's going to be the worst guy out there. He's not really yeah. handicapped. He's, not, he's, he's, he's got no call. And the action has moved. I think I got picked up from the airport. They said it's minus 400 now. Yeah. That, it was like, minus 180. I thought it was minus 200, but he's got he's got these sloppy oh, arms. Well, well, I actually, Jimmy, uh, I, you haven't mentioned it because it started hailing and we didn't get to finish the game. I, uh, I mentally put Troy in the... In the washroom. I think that's impossible. I I, I got the him in the, wa in the washroom. Yeah, oh, wow. I put him in the cycle. <laughs> He's Canadian now. Yeah, uh, He's Canadian. I don't know. In the restroom. Here we yeah. go. I, I put yeah. him in the cycle, and uh, let's just say at the one point room. we were up in cornhole against him. 
So uh, you know, uh, I don't believe in. I, I think that Jose is going to let the team down. Well, yeah. There's, is there any question? Now he's a great friend to have on oh, the that, course. It's yeah. a best ball, and he's got Ixnizel though. Ixnizel, no, no, and still Jose is going to let them down. See, this is the thing in best ball. Usually, you take four shots from at least like each person you got to take four shots from. Mm -hmm. So what I'm worried is. If we were talking about him throwing 76 lefty, uh, striking out anybody, I would I would back Jose throwing – baseball is his sport, and he wants to cross into golf. Come on. The crossover is going to be a challenge for sure. I think when it comes to uh, – Jose, Jose, I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for Jose, you. Jose, it's your shot. I think you should go to the bag. You should pull out the bottle, and you should pour everybody a shot. I think that's going to make things a little more – you know. Well, no, because Ixnizel is going to be so fucked up. <laughs> But he's natural when he's fucked up. Well, that's why I got a back. That's, that's why the, I got a back hand. That's the problem. Say the okay, so at this point here, I've not moved on anything. You guys have the over five and a half in the Hurricanes. Uh, Washington, Mikey took the over six with less Vig. Yeah. Uh, Mikey's on the over five and a half in Pittsburgh, Dallas. And we have a huge Saturday NHL card that I'm going to be all over. Don't, and I'm don't not forget our Sidney Crosby goal spot. There. Oh, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't what, leave Sydney's... what is the Crosby goal? Plus 195, Crosby, anytime goal. I, you know, I know you said you didn't want to sit around cheering for a Sidney Crosby goal. Look, I love him. I if, love him. What Canadian if, doesn't? Exactly. If, you, if you take his goal scored first, it's 14 to 1. But we're uh, we're not going to go. We're not going to get greedy. We're just going to take the 195 here. Look, I understand the stakes are high. I go one and one on the first that ever appearance, only appearance on betting with the bag here. I can't, I can't go out there and give out fourteen. Uh, Let's just get this two to one. Al Cervix says he's on Gokster and Ping Pong. Look, uh, and ping anybody, pong. anybody wants my action, hundred dollars a game. Anybody I'm more wants, of a golfer, Al. Anybody but. fucking wants it? Um, it's, it's it's not about physically. I can mentally break you down. The moment not I the moment I realized I couldn't handle the ping pong game is when uh, I was watching last night Spenny and Dabby banging it away at like two thirty in the morning after smoking about eight planes moon rocks galore and they're just bang 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 look like look I like Forrest Gump I could fucking destroy those two guys and and I get extra joy out of destroying guys who are you know the wingspan for both Dabby Cab and Spenny Penny Bombs so much so much bigger me. I, I, I'm gonna. I would fucking light them up and fucking smoke them. And if they want the opportunity for that shit, it's a hundred dollars. Look, Dabby Gump had that long wingspan, but uh, you know he. Uh... Twenty-one to five. I beat Dabby Cab. I was a shaky mess. We were coming back from the from the horse track. I was so shaky. I hadn't eaten. I was fucking shaky. And I lit them up and I fucking smoked them. Nine p.m. Eastern. Columbus Blue Jackets. Twenty-three, thirty-four, and twelve. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Yeah, wanna... I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give a Dallas play here. Let's get, let's get him on Dallas. Right. I'm gonna give a Dallas play. I'm going Dallas rag minus one seventeen. That's good. I'm with our guy in the like chat that. here, Ronnie. Like that, Ronnie stuff. Crawford. There, I uh, I just said yeah, Pittsburgh. They've beaten what Columbus. They're beating the, the the bottom dwellers, and you're playing a good team here. So, uh, give me Dallas guys regulation minus one seventeen. Hmm. I guess I would. I think the Stars are good. They're so much better of a hockey team. Is it situationally right? Fifth game of a five game homestand. How many has Ottinger played too? Because I know Wedgwood was playing I don't quite trust a bit. Ottinger. Of... Do you trust Ottinger pylon. right now? No, he's a pilot. No. He's a pylon going in You know what? I do not want that. You know, I've always questioned their character. And, yep. uh, you know, Jamie Ben, obviously, with what he said about the Steens and all that shit. And you, you guys know he's from Victoria, BC. And I, I hold anybody from British Columbia more accountable. Uh, I love that he's fighting, though. And he's, he's a cap. He's, you know, but, but yeah. still, I think he's. He's been much better than I imagined him to be in the last year or so. But I just don't feel like I have the accountability with the Dallas Stars. They're about to head out on the road. I decided that. To... No, you make a good point, Jim. You make a good point I... the last game of the road trip. I just. Uh... But I... They're so much better of a hockey team than the Penguins. Ex the... Oh, sure. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, Question. are they going to Like, I know it's the last game, but is Pittsburgh going to beat this team? And they've been lifeless, man. Not... One thing that I've done, and look, I'm not sitting here up 50 units in NHL, and, and, wow. and it bothers me so much, but I, I'm i not going to sit here and trust the Dallas Stars on a fifth game of a five-game homestand about to head on the road. I'm just not going to do it. I just, I, it I just doesn't, it, it doesn't, it's, it, they're so much better than Pittsburgh. If this was a seven-game series, we're talking something different, but I just, okay, let's roll here. Next up for us, 9 p.m. Eastern, the Columbus Blue Jackets, 23, 34, and 12, 10, 16, 7 on the road. At the Colorado Avalanche, 44, 20, and 5, 26, 6, and 0 oh at home. 26, 6, and 0 oh at home. They are such a good hockey team. They're so good, and I have no futures on them, and I do not want to have futures on them because I don't think they're big enough. I don't think they're tough enough. I really don't. I 
Uh, we all screaming, a lot of screaming. Uh, that's right over there. Sounds, 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 that's, sounds, that's a sign of spending penny bombs yelling about Western Kentucky. Yeah. I love no, it. Is Western no. Kentucky doing well? No, he's he's yeah, shot the up. Northwestern money line that he took this morning. What I tell you, I had Western Kentucky first half. I was going to take the money line. I should have. Maybe he is. I know it's on Western Kentucky. Let's go Western Fucking Kentucky, Dodd baby. Dodd 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 the total's at six and a half. She's and it's taking the money line. Fuck. Sorry, I'm just Western Kentucky was my dog of the, the whole tournament. No, I love it. And they're up right now. The total's at six and a half here. Western Kentucky. The let's get to the money line here for this next one uh the columbus blue jackets and mikey we've talked about the blue jackets i have not faded them i've not faded them one time all season uh, i really think they're a very good hockey team uh, my issues with them is the yeah you know what i said he was celebrating that yes i love it love it i love, it. I, love it. I love when uh you know you know the money's online when they're flexing you know? oh yeah uh, plus three thirty-two money line for Columbus. You know, uh, honestly, I'm interested in them. I, I how could I not? Uh, now the problem is Chinnikov and the injuries. Uh, I think Chinnikov is a very good hockey player. Uh, I think that their Russian second line is extremely talented. I'm just going to pull up the injuries to know if Chinnikov <laughs> is playing here. Uh, Gokster, talk to us. What are your thoughts on this one? Just quickly, I hit the over 141 and a half Northwestern Atlantic. That's 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 wild. Um, going that's back to this, yeah, that that's wild. Overtime hit it. Wow. Uh, Seattle Airs or no, um, Columbus and uh, and uh, Colorado. I don't got much on it. Um, Gorgiev starting. Mers Lincolns is going to be in confirmed. Is Mers Lincolns? They got a back to back tomorrow, so Tarasov's going tomorrow. From what I know, this Chicago, this uh, Columbus team, guys, it's uh, I'm banged not... up. Look at this injury. Yeah. Justin, Jim, give me an injury. Danforth, Justin Danforth, yep. day to day with a concussion, so he's not playing. Yep. Uh, an important right winger, Zach Wierenski. That's the huge. Most important That's defenseman. Huge. He's day to day. So I, you know, Adam Bokfist. So are you are you going to have? Are you going to go into the game without Wierenski and Bokfist? Yeah. Chinnikov, day to day. Patrick Line, personal. He's still out. Uh, you know what, Patrick Line? Uh oh. If I was your father. <laughs> <laughs> seriously. No, seriously. If I was okay, your father. If I was your father. I would be so disappointed in you as a man. <laughs> you are such a fucking failure and you have all the talent that anyone's ever dreamt of. Uh, anyone's ever dreamt of. You have all the skill, all the fucking talent, but you can't be a fucking man. You're such a little bitch. You're such a little fucking bitch, Patrick Line. And, you know, and he's out. Just he's been out for a while too. Yeah, Can't get right. But but what a little fucking skunt. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Kentucky, baby. I want to take the money line. They're dogs. They're, they're dogs, man. Western Kentucky. I was telling them, man. Western Kentucky, baby. I underestimated them hilltoppers. He's a tall son of a bitch. What do you mean? All American wide receiver is not going to be tall. He's no slot receiver. He's he's on the outside. Let's let's focus here. Uh, let me let me just fin finalize this one more time. Uh, Patrick Line, you are such a disappointment to your family, to your fucking heritage, to your fucking country. You're such a fucking disappointment, you little ass fucking bitch, you pansy ass little fucking skunt. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Uh, Blue Jackets, Colorado. If I had the fucking talent of Patrick Line. I have 76 goals in my rookie year like Team Mussolini. You know what? What a little fucking. Okay. Uh, Merzlikens, Georgiev, Jackets, Avalanche, Ghoster, take over. I love Western Kentucky. Uh, yeah, I don't got much in this game, Jim. I mean, it's a pass on me here. Uh, I got some in the last game, but I'm, I'm going to stay off this game. The injury report you I'd told I'd be me. on the Jackets. If, Are you? If, no, I would be, but I just there's just too many injuries. There's too many injuries. Yeah. Merz Lincoln's on the road. It, I always know I want Merz Lincoln's at home. He's, n he's not a good road. He's not a good road goalie, Jim. If I could have been the talent of Patrick Line, you think I'd be sitting here hammering Hennessy? No, no, I wouldn't. I would be in the gym. I'd be, oh, God, what? A, Patrick Line, man, you're such a waste of talent. Is there anything sadder in life than being a waste of talent? Fucking waste of talent. You know, Carter, we got skates on Carter. Nice. And, uh, nice. And, and, I just want him to play with heart and character. Something that Patrick Line has never done. Yeah. Okay. I, you don't want him. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm gonna guess you don't own any Line jerseys, dude. No. 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 He's such a okay. But let's. Uh, so no action for you, Mikey. 
Nothing for me either. No, I, I, you yeah, know, I was pass. looking at some goal scoring props here. You, you know, there's too many guys injured in this Columbus side of things. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to lay the juice with Colorado either. I mean, you know, you look at their number and kind of what they've been doing here. They've been winning. They've been collecting and they're starting to get together at the right time from a West conference perspective. But uh, I just didn't, you know, four games in the card. I'm trying to thread the needle on this one too much. I think yeah. it's just a spot that I want to pass. I agree. Nothing for me here. So let's talk about catching a Damn falling right, knife. Who wants to catch a falling knife? I've been dealing with the Seattle Kraken, Arizona Coyotes game for the last 24 hours. Mullet Arena in Tempe, Arizona. The Kraken have lost six straight hockey games, and they've looked bad doing it. A second half of a back-to-back after losing their sixth straight game, 3-1 at Vegas last night. They look good against Vegas. They didn't, des- you know, they they probably deserved a better fate against Vegas. I was on. Uh, it hurt. Yeah, I, I would have probably been if I wasn't puking on my shoes. Uh, Arizona had their two-game winning streak snapped in a 5-2 loss at Dallas on Wednesday. I want to fade Arizona every opportunity I can get. And I think they're a young team moving in the right direction now. Remember, they had the 26-year-old manager. Yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah. And you know where he is right now? He gone. He gone. There you go. No, he's in a fucking ditch. <laughs> he's in a ditch sucking line A's. Okay. Yeah, with line. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Uh, Seattle power play 21.5%, penalty killing 79.1%. What's up, Kelly? Look, uh, I think they're a good hockey team. Uh, now they're dealing with some injuries, and we'll, we'll go over them now. You know, in the off season, we all talked about uh, I was at Guillermo's or Tucci's spot, and I was saying I'm going to bet uh, crack in futures. And then the lines came out there were minus 125 to make the playoffs, a team that was an overtime away from the Western Conference final. Yeah. And when you guys talk about, like, uh, I respect the books, minus 125 to make the playoffs and you're, you're a goal away from the Western Conference final, I flipped. I Nothing but the Seattle. I wish I had taken their under. And then I moved on the Winnipeg Jets over 91 and a half points, and I moved on the – uh, Nashville Predators over 87 and a half points. And I got off of Seattle Kraken because I respect the books. And, you know, some people respect them, some people don't. And it's your game. And if, if you're succeeding, then it's what, you know, that's all that's important. I want, <laughs> we have this opportunity here where we're all gambling together and, and winning is paramount. I want to back the Seattle Kraken here so badly. But do I want to, I'm not like, do I want to catch a falling knife here? I mean, I just, I, uh, they open up at minus 105. They're now at minus 107. I'm not going to look at the money. I don't care about the money. I want the Kraken, but I don't know if I can press the button. Mikey, money, take it away. Yeah, uh, look, it. I know you don't like to look at the money. I'm the same way. I don't spend a lot of time talking about the cash, but there's a couple In the NHL numbers. or? In the NHL. Yeah. And, you, know, well, you know me with the yeah. rest of them here. I think there's a, a huge miss. you got to use technology at your disposal. Everyone else is, and they're trying to do it against you. So use what's in your favor here. But in this yeah. case... 99% of the cash on the Arizona. Is that right? Fucking 99%. Oh there it is in the flesh. Oh my God. That's and ridiculous. It's... Who's betting on these fucking coyotes? Everybody. <laughs> why? Yeah, why? Everybody's betting on these guys here. And, you know, the, the number that I like. So, yeah, you talk about their kind of losing streak and that second leg of the back to back. I certainly like to get involved with the with the teams that have the more rest versus not. But the thing that's going on with Arizona is they're rolling back to Connor Ingram. Uh, Connor Ingram is one of those guys that's just had his tread worn off the tires. There, yeah, they, yeah. Just, they beat him up in December. They ran him like 18 yeah. straight games, and he couldn't stop a beach ball after that. So I now, now you move forward, guys. and uh, there goes that 10. See you. Yeah, you lost that 10. <laughs> <laughs> Look how angry he is. <laughs> He's still what talking. Bert, <laughs> Bert talking he it. took the it's 10 and went to the table. <laughs> 10 bucks, man. So, uh, you know, as far as 10 bucks, as far as the Arizona side, though, you know, again, a team that's uh, worn out this goaltender and and they really don't have anybody left to get it done. Uh, Small stadium as well. It's got to be disheartening knowing that you're playing in front of what, 4,500 people. And they got a new one, eh? They got a new one apparently in the works. Yeah, it's called Utah and it's going to be in Salt Lake. (laughs) I hope so. I hope so. so. Uh, You know, know, uh, shout out to our guy, Clint, uh, Die Hard and Memory podcast. He gave us, he gave us the best bet in UFC and I put a, Big bet on it. Big, bigger than, <laughs> the biggest bet I made in UFC. It's only 500 bucks, but it's the biggest bet I made in UFC. And sometimes Jeez. it's the second best bet of the year and minus 160. Winner? I don't know. It's oh, okay. happens tonight or okay. tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. But, uh, so as far as this, but game. his coyotes, his coyotes yeah. could, 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 if, if I had a pint glass of semen, I would offer it to every Phoenix Coyote <laughs> fan. And I, seriously, uh, like, and the, my, my pint glass is half full. 
and you guys do not deserve an NHL hockey team. And you guys have disrespected the hockey league. And I fucking hate, hate that I have to talk about this fucking hockey team. Well, that's a, that's a hell of a segue to where we're going to go with this game, but I'm going to catch that knife, baby. Put my hands out, got the gloves on. I'm ready to catch this thing with both hands. I don't give a shit. I'm going for the handle, of course. <laughs> But if it's the blade, it's the blade. So be it. We cut these fingers up enough. And uh, as you look at these goaltenders here, you've got Joey Decord as the uh, uh, presumed starter on the Seattle yep. side of things there. 252, 91.7 uh, save percentage. Connor, no tread left on the tires. Ingram rolling out there for these guys. And, you know, as you kind of look at it overall, uh, yeah, both teams are kind of mired in mediocrity at best at this point. And so, you know, as I as I look at these guys here, you got your... You got your the big spot I like, though, is a number that I've been tracking specifically with, um, you know, the, the Seattle Kraken side of things here. Has to do with their opponent getting softened up before the game before him. Cheers, boys. Okay, I'm interested in where you're going. Double cup. I like it, though. Keep going. I'm interested. Uh, Seattle specifically. They go out there. They play a team that's gotten hit 20 or more times the previous game. We got some numbers behind it. What happens? 22 and 14 out there in those spots. So not a tremendous edge, but what it was, it was moving in the right direction. The loss last night it looked a lot better at 22 and 13, but tells me that somebody else has already beat these guys up. And when you look at the Arizona Coyotes, how hard is it to beat these guys up? Not very hard. So now you've gotten beat up across the rink. You got that little edge going for you as well. We got another spot that speaks to a lower scoring game. Seattle on the back-to-back -back. when they're on the road after a road game, they're four and 11 to the under. So, they still find a way to step up. Goaltending comes through, shines out for these guys, and they keep the pucks out of the net. Now, you got a goaltender that's got no tread left on his tires. You got a team that shows they can win when they've got their team, their opponents softened up the previous no game. And I put the two together. For me, it's a great opportunity for a low, big spot. I'd even consider Seattle minus one, but they, they kind of got me last night. So I'm looking back at it and saying, I can get my money back with this one. But I'm going to jump in on this under as well because I just. Under? The firepower. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm rolling. Uh-oh. You're, you know, obviously you like the other side, no, no tell on this one, but you know, I just think at this spot, again, you got two teams that are kind of reeling. Um, the challenge that I have is can Joey Decord step up and, you know, ring the bell here at two, five, two with the 91, seven, um, you know, it's an average goaltender in the NHL. I think he's had a much better season than the average goaltender. Don't you think nine, one, seven, say percentages, uh, is he, is he starting to, like you talk about, like, uh, get tired. Uh, he's been a, lifeline for this Kraken team. Group hours let them down for two years straight. So I, I think maybe he's getting tired. Yeah. But he's been excellent. And, and I think a 917, what is that? That's your Demko save percentage? I mean a 917 save percentage is top 15 in the yeah. league. It is, but uh I still think that you know you got some guys that are banging around that I know it's only a couple of percentage points difference between them to get to 92, 92 and a half, but uh you know <laughs> Yeah, Grubauer came back in. To, it was kind of the right time for Grubauer to come back to from the injury. What he an kinda, ass he, clown he's he, been. He pulled some. The cord had the tread coming off the tires. They pull him back I out. Grubauer goes in, in, and away they go. So. So at the end of the day, all the more reason why I want to get behind this thing here. We've got a softened up opponent in the Arizona Coyotes who have been struggling in their own right. Seattle should be able to get the puck past Connor Ingram, who we've just talked about being gassed. And then I look at this, and they've got the stronger goaltender of the mix here on the Seattle side of things. So One bet for me in NHL tonight. Seattle, Seattle Kraken. Kraken. Yeah. All right. Well, at least we're there. Add the under for me as well at this case here. I think, you know, they've got a spot where they can keep the puck out of the net. When you're on that second leg of the back-to-back, -back, you can't just go out there and play all gas, no breaks. you got to play a little defense. And uh, you got to protect this guy. And he's already shown that, to, to Spenny's point there, his numbers are enough to, to be ranked in the top five in the NHL. Uh, and, you know, from that perspective, I just don't think we see a lot of goals on the Arizona side. Who's going to score for Arizona? But that being said, uh, very curious to hear Mr. Ghoster break it down for us. And, Let's hear it, Ghoster. Uh, and talk about it. That was a good point you made there. Um, it's funny, actually. Decord and Grubauer both played in Belleville. Grubauer played for the Belleville <laughs> Bulls back in 2010. And then Grubauer, or uh, Decord was our goalie when uh, COVID hit. And we were the top team in the AHL. Um, go I'll tell you one thing about Decord, man. Oh, he's got heart. He's got heart, man. Decord. Yeah. He's got heart. Like, 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 like he's he he's not like a he's not afraid of the moment kind of guy, right? Now, when you're saying like he's been worked a lot, I I, I kind of see that. But Grubauer has came back, so yeah. I feel like they're kind of doing like the Boston right now. They're going back and forth, back and forth. Um, some numbers I had here quickly. He hasn't been that good in his last five. Decord. He's got like an eight sixty eight seventy save percentage. Yeah. 
And then I looked here too, when he did play Arizona earlier on, he allowed three and his form isn't as good coming in. So that makes me a little worried about, about Decord. about Decord. Yeah. He's got heart here. Um, just with two bad teams like this, yeah. I, and defensively, they don't scare me. There's no Vince Dunn still. They got Schwartz back, uh, Seattle defensively, Arizona doesn't scare anybody. I've said that for a while. Um, Ingram, I agree. He's kind of worn his tread off his tires there. And then, it just it feels like a game both these teams guys they haven't won a lot either they they haven't got a lot of mustard going like they haven't done anything especially you know where i like actually in this game where i'm thinking about it is seattle in the first period because they're coming off all those losses playing much tougher opponents too than uh than this arizona team so i kind of lean towards if anything seattle first period and then as the game goes on i, I don't want 20 minutes though i want 60. no i, I hear I, I think they're the yeah i want 60 i want every single second i like the first period i like the over five and a half but what i officially tweeted out and i actually bet guys is the over five and a half here minus 120. um yeah. i just so i, I just up yeah we're on we're going nah. you know what ten dollar bet on this one there's that yeah. even though that ten dollars is gone we got a ten dollar bet here there you go yeah, we'll better, we'll better, there you go we'll find it. couple gotten. couple He's beers gotten. All right, uh, let's beers. review. Can we review all action? Yeah. So for me tonight, and I'm going to, um, not much, but I'll probably go a unit and a half or something uh, because I've only got one game in the NHL night. For me, for me tonight, it's just the Seattle Kraken. Mikey Money, can you review your NHL action? Let's go. We got this Capitals game. We're going to take the over six. We took the, extra, took the extra half there. There's five and a half out there, but to keep the big down, I think it's a spot where we see sevens in this game, maybe eights. I like it. If you push, I mean, uh, keeping the big down, I think that makes you know, sense. And, and, it, and it's the ROI, right? You look at this thing here, dollars in, dollars out. So give me this Caps game over six. I'm jumping in with them, boys. I jumped on this Dallas spot over seven. I'm sorry, six and a half. Uh, I did miss the uh, Sidney Crosby goal at plus 195. I know everyone loves that spot there tonight. We'll be Sid ripping the that kid. thing on. I love him. I love him so much, but I hate cheering for one person. <laughs> Hold on. I Spenny, Spenny, do you like Sidney Crosby? Danny Betts in the motherfucker. Danny, Danny, Danny Betts? Danny, Danny, no, no, Danny, you got to you gotta make an appearance. You got to make an appearance, Danny. Really? Poke, poke, great, your head, Danny. poke your head in the camera, man. Uh, what's up, Danny? What's up, chat? What's up, Danny? Love it. It's good to see you, man. Shot Danny, my man. Sir, Fuck yeah, man, Danny Betts, the motherfucker, man. Um, keep rolling. Yep, and then I go with this uh, Seattle Kraken and the under. So uh, shout out to the crew there. I see humble money family says yeah, Pimp Slap in the building. We're here, man. We're on location, boots on the ground. You know, and we're gonna uh, get after. You. you know what the thing about Mikey Money is? Uh, we, I would not add money to somebody's name. I really wouldn't, unless it's everything, and. It's everything for you and, and what you're doing in this industry. And uh, I just, I really, really want to be sitting beside you. And Mr. Gokster, uh, I'm just, you know, six years now we've run. Together. I know, man. I got, I got you know, uh, I just, I really believe in you guys and we must win. We have to win. It only, it's always going to come back to winning. That's it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. I got one more play for you guys. Let's, oh, let's go. We're talking AHL. Oh, oh my Belleville Senators are playing the Laval Rockets. Shout out to our guy Slatsy. And uh, we're pretty healthy. We got Sogard in. Uh, I was looking at Laval. They're really bad on the road, too. So are you going to make me bet my first AHL game of the year? <laughs> what? It's a back to back. We got a home and home coming up, too. So it's two games at home. But Jesus Belleville's Christ. got the Belleville's got the better lineup here. Oh, my God. I have to bet Belleville. Tonight. And we're going Belleville minus 125. It's already in. I That's already bet it. We already bet it. We're at, I wish I was at the game. We got a bit of a homestand coming on. This is a big three-game homestand for Belleville. I cannot believe I'm betting Belleville. So tonight. it's, it's the boys. At Papa Palooza, I'm betting fucking the <laughs> For betting AHL. AHL. You know what? Bo Bovada's got fuck it. It's got CHL. It's got Quebec Major Junior right. League. It's got it's WA. It's got everything. I'm like, you. I'm looking at Kingston Frontenac. Yeah. I'm thinking, holy shit. But uh, yeah, guys, Belleville Senators. I got Belleville Senators minus 125. Dallas Regulation minus 117. Seattle, right. Arizona. We're on the over. Going head to head with Mikey here. Over five know. and a half minus 120. Yeah. And then Carolina, Washington, I'm on the over five and a half minus 120 closing card. Let's go. I love you guys. I love you guys. Um, let's make this fucking money, man. Look at that cash. Money, baby. Let's go, fellas. Mikey Money and Mr. Gogster here uh, delivering NHL for you guys. We got Spenny Penny Bombs and Peter Loshak coming in to give their thoughts on this NHL card. Then we're going to get You're an NBA. For a treat, guys. Uh, I love you guys, man. Love let's you, go. Be good. I'll give you guys my uh, little bonus spot for you guys there. Go with this Miami Heat under. Under total, under. That's it. That'll do it for us here. Well, See everybody the, up later on. You're on the Miami Heat under? Yeah, the yeah, under. Okay. Yeah, load me up. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I got it. Mike. Let's get this cash, boys and girls. Great to see everybody. Shout out to the chat. I see Kelsey, Nunya, Dan Kelly, Billy Friedrich in there, Andrew G, 
Kent Davies, our guy. Kent Davies. And, he's at uh, Valero. Uh, Val- I, I don't know. The Valero uh, <laughs> golf tournament. He's there yeah. right now. He was here with us on Wednesday night. Man. Well, I hope everyone gets their cash, man. Good luck with your action. Get this college basketball. We got ourselves a big day, and I'll see you guys real soon. Let's, let's fucking go, man. We got a big poker game tonight at, at the Brooklyn Poker House here in San Antonio. Uh, Mikey Money, can you get Peter Loshak as well? Get, uh, get yep. uh, Loshak here. Uh, Spenny, come in and take this middle seat here. Uh, Mr. Bombs himself right now uh, in business. You just cashed on Western Kentucky, man. Wax on that shit. That was a beautiful little start there. We had, uh, Northwestern. We had uh, Northwestern uh, to start the day as well. We had the uh, plus four and a half, took the money line with them, and uh, had the uh, first half money line with uh, Western Kentucky at plus 395 and uh, the uh, plus eight and a half as well on the on the point spread. So beautiful, beautiful start to the day. <laughs> you deserve it. I love because it. Because you've flown your ass down to San Antonio. You put out that and you deserve to get that fucking cash. Gotta take them shots on them dogs. That's what I say every time. You know, everybody loves, you know, playing these favorites, you know, these tougher games. But uh these dogs are live. These dogs are live early, especially too. You know, we've been seeing it especially oh, all day man. yesterday. We see all these dogs oh, come man. out flying early, getting smacked in the second half. And uh oh no, I love it. So NHL so player props. Oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Right. NHL player props oh, okay. and Peter Loshak. And you know, one thing about uh Peter Loshak, because we're all cut from the Peter Loshak cloth. Live? Yeah, we're live. Yeah, we're live. <laughs> hey, we're all hello. cut, we're all cut from the Peter Loshak cloth. And one thing about uh what Peter has taught us is to track every single thing that is said. I would agree with that. Yeah. Every fucking single thing. Every yeah. single fucking thing. You and you know, time. all no, no, I do. I don't. I don't know if I have the time, but um, that is very important because in this industry, there's a lot of waxing poetic bullshit. Ooh, yeah. A lot of pretend, a lot of, oh, oh I'm yeah. doing this, and I'm doing that. So the one thing that we can promise you at Pub Sports Radio is we're going to track every single thing that's said. Uh-oh. You've made how many player prop bets in NHL over the last two weeks. You should, I didn't say, you shouldn't track every single thing that's said. Not, not, I that's love not, it. That's not my rule. I came up with that. You are going to be held accountable. <laughs> yeah. You're they going to be held that well or badly. They haven't it. done that badly. No, they're not doing great. But uh, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still doing it. I'm still betting them. I'm still taking them. I'm going to give them. Okay. Because we are going to talk about it publicly. Yeah. Uh huh. Sure. Okay. Uh, Pistol Pete Loshak and Spenny Penny Bombs here with this four game NHL card. The only move I'm going to make on the NHL card right now is the Seattle Kraken. Uh, second half of a back to back, you know, to, to, to calmly place their balls in the mouth of Connor Ingram. But let's talk to you guys here. Now, do you want to go game to game or do you want to just run through the slate? For your NHL action. Game to game, sure, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, well, we start here with the Hurricanes Capitals. As much as I... So, Gokster's on the over five and a half. Mikey Money's on the over six Mm -hmm. with less VIG. So, it's minus 102 or minus 120. Mm -hmm. Spenny, Penny Bombs, Carolina Hurricanes, Washington Capitals. Your thoughts and your action. Uh, My spot in this game, I know it's uh, uh, kind of, again... Just the kind of same trend that I'm always on. I like a dog here in this spot. I know Carolina's running hot. They got five straight wins. Uh, they're doing well. Um, they're just on the road for a big, big stretch there. They just came back at home. Now they jump back onto the road again against uh, against uh, Washington here. And uh, you know Washington just had a, uh, a t- tough loss there uh, against Toronto recently. But uh, they're you know had four rattled off four wins before that. They're playing some good hockey right now. They really are. I'm surprised. And they're playing some good hockey right now. And I like Washington here in this spot, especially with Carolina on a back to back, going back on the road again to Washington. I think Washington at home here as a dog. I like this spot. Um, so I'm taking Washington. Uh, I hate this old ass hockey team. I know. I know. But Tom Wilson is one They're of my favorite players still. in the NHL. And Ovechkin is, you know, if Ovechkin breaks 892, then um, we're just lucky to watch him. <laughs> to watch. He just, uh, he's the real deal. He's the real article. I you love know, him. We, we talk about these guys that just, let you down nonstop, and I and I hammer on those guys uh, that let you down nonstop. And Kuznetsov mm-hmm. let the Capitals down, character wise. Yeah, he's got all the skill in the world. Now he's on the Hurricanes, and and if you've looked at his, uh, 
his numbers right now, they're spectacular. Yeah. And he's so slow. I'm watching the game, and I'm like, <laughs> he's sco- he's skating so slowly, but his all of his numbers are like uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Right now. He's playing very, very well, Crazy. I guess. Yeah. But I watch him, and I it's hard to it's hard to watch sometimes because you're like you just like he's floating sometimes. he's so slow yeah so do you think there's a um, rivalry uh, do, do you think that the capitals are going to want to beat him so badly i think i think that's another factor as well where like you you know you have these guys that were there for a while and then and then uh, they, they leave you and they just kind of maybe have a bad taste in the mouth after they kind of left and whatever. And so you, these other guys, especially these younger kids that are on the team, they want to step up and, and show, uh, you know, the opportunities that they that they uh, should have been there in the first place. Anyway. And kind of, yeah, exactly. Kind of got to rub it in his face and be like, well, this is what happens when you leave. And, you know, so. Billy Frieder giving us a final score of four to two. He's also on Kuznetsov over a half point. Uh, Nanya says Pete just buried three more bodies. And Dan <laughs> Kelly says, Pete taught me about women's Olympic curling. <laughs> Pistol Pete Loshak. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're. Can you believe that? Right there? <laughs> you got I'd say, yeah, you it. should pay attention to everything and record it. But you got to keep it in context. You also don't have to fucking advertise whatever the fuck you find out. You know what I'm saying? You advertise the good shit. And then uh, also, uh, what once in a while, lie, right? That's another thing I lie, tried to tell lie, everyone, lie, right? Lie, well, yeah, as yeah. you don't want to do it a lot because you don't want to be branded a liar, but strategic yeah. lies is important. Yeah, there. there's a whole lot of shit that, 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 that I tried to impart on. I'm kidding. Carolina I'm, Hurricanes, Washington Capitals, Pete. Well, you talk about the Kuznetsov. Now, just from an absolute, like, you know, the script perspective, Kuznetsov to get a point, why not? I mean, he actually has been playing, playing okay recently. Why would you not like that? To get because, a point because he's fat and slow right <laughs> because he's fat and slow now uh his numbers right now are so impressive it is, i can't, can't believe going over his numbers like what he's doing because i'm watching him play and i'm like this fucking guy <laughs> just did a rail <laughs> you know this guy's got two pints deep and he's playing hockey so i i just slowed down but i'd be good wow but his uh his numbers are off the charts right now. Yeah, he is. And why is that? You know hockey more than I because because he his career is on the line. His whole life's on the line. Hmm. All right. He hasn't shown up well, yeah. You never know how they're going to respond. I'm going to hold off on that. Statistically though, Ovechkin to get a point at minus 160 current line of pinnacle looks good. Why would that line be so low? Because Carolina is great defensively. Carolina is top 5 team in the NHL against an aging group of ass clowns but they're on a back-to-back so wouldn't that would that matter defensively jim they didn't play well yesterday right they They didn't play well they they beat philadelphia in overtime uh i i I do not you know rod the bod brindamore Mm -hmm. is the most accountable man Mm -hmm. in the nhl now i've never met him and i shouldn't be saying this shit i'm not i'm not a shrink i'm not a psychologist but god damn is he gonna uh, i just i don't know I, this this to me you know Pete, you talk about weighted coin flips mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you, you you succeed in baseball with them i do not want weighted coin flips Pete. right i don't well, i i just i want more of an advantage here and i just i look i don't know if i've got it I don't know. all right i'll give you another thing i've tried to teach people is you know use bribery and and think about motivation and stuff 20 bucks for you not to 40 bucks for you not to mention my overall specific pr- player props record how about that? 40 no, bucks. No, no, no. No, every single player prop I've got locked He's out. incorruptible. He's it's incorruptible. unbelievable. For real, though. For Fucking real. incorruptible. No, but also, our fans want to know, because you've given out 57 on our fans. <laughs> <laughs> no, and our fans want to know, and I want to but, tell them. I right. want to tell them how you're doing. Right. It's not good, but I'm also, like, you know, easing into it. Bet size is very small, and I'm, like, not, I wouldn't say learning on the fly, but I'm taking it carefully and, you know, uh, uh, telling people that it's a new thing that I'm getting involved with, right? If you lose, yeah, I want everybody to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the player props have not in the show. The player props have not done well. Um, in general, though, I'm doing better than in the show. I'll tell you, one I'll give right now: Martin Nitas over two and a half minus one forty six. Nitas over two and a half minus one forty six. You did do Martin. You did do Martin. Martin right? Yes, Martin Nitas. Nitas over two and a half minus one forty six. I'll make that official. Okay. Um, okay. I are, wanted you gonna, to, are you going to send me your... Yes, I'll, official, send, okay. I'll send all these. These are also up to the minute pinnacle lines. You can chop around and probably get better. Uh, I was just because of the script, I was thinking about Kuznetsov point, but I will pass on that. And also statistically, Ovechkin to get a point from the way I look at it is, uh, you know, I do all my 
pricing out here and that you fucking Poisson calculators. Ovechkin get a point has has great value, but you're saying that because of Carolina coming off a bad performance. No, Ovechkin's playing better than I've seen him. He's, he's playing he's, a lot. He's playing few weeks. Yeah. He's playing incredibly well. Mm-hmm. He's playing incredibly well, and he's somebody that. Uh, He's delivering right now. He know he's got the chase for eight ninety two. He's mm. got to do mm. something. Yeah, yeah. all right. I, I, like I like it. I'll add that one on. I uh, would prefer uh, the Ovechkin point over right. the Crosby goal that Mikey Money Mikey gave up. Did. But now that Mikey Money Crosby goal is at plus one ninety five, and I do not want to sit here hoping for one player. I do not want to do that. Shit. Okay, but you can add that one on. Pinnacle minus one sixty one. Ovechkin point minus one sixty one. Current up to the second line of Pinnacle. All right. Okay. So we move on to Pittsburgh Penguins, Dallas Stars. Uh, Spenny, Penny Bombs, uh, Mikey Money gave a Crosby goal and the over five and a half. I wanted the Stars, but I can't get there on the fifth game of a five game homestand. I just do not trust Ben and Sagan. And I know, you know, Duchesne, these guys, I just don't trust their character. I don't just, I just don't trust them. Yeah. Ready to go. I, I, I'm on the same kind of spot here. I would like to, to be with Dallas in this spot. I would too. Um, I just, I just can't, I just can't do it. And especially the way that Ottinger's playing right now too. He's, he just hasn't, hasn't been consistent enough this year. For he's me. not been good. He hasn't been good, nearly as good as he's been in the last few years. And Eight ninety seven save that's percentage. What I was saying. That's what I was looking at too. I was like, you gotta be like, not even in the nines, like three point zero two goals against average. Was the- it's not consistent right now. And I'd like, you know, Dallas is clearly the better team. But it's just a spot where I, I just I can't I can't do it. I couldn't do the minus one and a half. I couldn't you know I couldn't back the money line regulation. Uh, I'm just off a spot. If anything, I would lean to the over as well with the, with what they like uh, with like uh, Mikey D and stuff. Uh, but I can't I can't. I can't, I can't I, no. You don't like you don't like Ben. What will you? Why don't you like Ben Jim or Spenny? Bob? Jimmy Ben for a point. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's the what's the value? Minus one sixteen on, on the fifth yeah, game of a five game homestand. See this. Well, see again. What I do is what I do because because the juice is so big on the props. You know, I do my uh, my pricing out. You know, with with I try to use advanced analytics for it, and then I look at the spot to think if if the uh, if it's you know if the pricing out is is off for a reason. You know, is there any reason for Ben not Ben to get a point at minus one sixteen not to be a good bet? He's got a point in the last. Nine out of last ten. Nine right. out of the last ten. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I'm not going to sit here and trust Jamie Ben. I mean, Pittsburgh's a desperate team, right? So that so means that, that means they're going to clamp up defensively, right? I don't think he scores again like he does. He, right. he has the last two games, but an assist is is easily available. Why would you not? Yeah. Why would you not want him to score in the in the like goal? I don't think he would. I don't think he uh, he scores three goals. Uh, he's just in not one of those guys that right. three. He doesn't score. Can, like that consistently enough, you know, two games in a row. But also, fight. also, but assist, sure, he can, he's, he's about to get on the road and bang horse. Mm-hmm. Like he's, you know, he's, got 30, he's about to get on the road assists. and bang horse. Uh, he's got to pick what city he's going to and, and decide which horse he's going to bang. Do so you think it's not a good spot? It's the fifth game of five game homestand. I mean, my parents are shrinked. <laughs> yeah, my parents are shrinked. Yeah, and, and that's this is a, you know, so I'm not. I mean, like, a, so you're thinking that would be about Ben or about everyone on Dallas. Well, I don't think uh, that f- the first line of Dallas Stars are playing about 18 minutes a game. They should be playing 21 or 22 minutes. Mm-hmm. A game. Does it set them up perfectly for the playoffs? Probably. Uh, fifth game of five game homestand. I just, I, I, I do not want a favorite in that situation. Mm-hmm. In fact, we're probably talking myself into the Pittsburgh Penguins, which I'm not going to bet because they're, you know, old old and slow hmm. Hmm. so i uh, look I, and I, I do not want to get talked into a bet on the pittsburgh Penguins. i just i i do not trust the star's character uh rick bonus you know when when rick bonus was his coach he got moved to head coach because uh uh the, their head coach at the time was a booze bag mm-hmm. and he's not been in the nhl since right he got he got the the booze bag got fucked over but rick bonus is the booze bag <laughs> of my wildest dreams he's such a hard ass he's he's and, and you know, now he's in Winnipeg and he's doing great things. And and, and Rick Bonus, his wife is sick right now. And Rick Bonus is just. He's... What about the uh, what about the rook? Stanko. Yeah, that's it. So there's two other ones that I was looking at but statistically have value according to the way I look at it. No point for Duchesne at about minus 105. Like no point. No point. And Stankoven like over two and a half shots at plus 145 yeah. or a goal at like goal. plus 270 yeah. or 260 or something like that. Yeah. He's had like. All all these has has the bag set his age today. I don't know if I have, but I'm had a nice shooting forty four years old, and you could, you know, oldie, you could count 
the rings on my nutsack when they're placed <laughs> slowly on the top of your tongue and then they <laughs> slowly drip into your tonsils. All right, listen. Stankovan over two and a half plus one forty one. We can make that official. Yeah. Over two and a half plus one forty one. I don't mind that at all. Statistically, also some value on a goal, but again, these are just my stats, sure. which might be way off. Sure. Count the rings on my nutsack. <laughs> I want you to count the rings on my fucking nutsack, Woldy. Now I know you got old in your name. You know, respect to you. And I don't I don't have old, I'm not old bag or whatever. But I just if I could just let you count the rings <laughs> on my nutsack while they're dribbling down your tonsils. Let's move on to the next spot on the board. The Columbus Blue Jackets at the Colorado Avalanche. We're in Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. Uh, Elvis Merzlikens, Alexander Georgiev. Uh, the Columbus is just, they're, they're a team that I've not faded once all year, and I'm not going to fade them. Uh, I'm not going to fade them. Um, but they're too injured right now for me to back them. And I also have the under 106.5 points for the Colorado Avalanche, which I thought was a going to catch for sure and now they're on this six game winning streak uh seven game winning streak they're coming off their seven straight win four three at st louis on tuesday blue jackets coming off their second straight loss four three in overtime at detroit on tuesday that's i don't want i don't want to have lunch here i don't I want minus one half i mean they're probably going to cover the minus one half but i, I don't want to bet it but the abs need they still need wins no you're right maybe the they avalanche do. minus one and a half is the bet i'm not on the I, I'm on the Avalanche. Sorry, yes, I, I'm on the Avalanche minus one and a half. I don't think that Columbus is okay. I'll make I'll game. make two bets here just because I don't see any reason not to. It could be wrong, but um, but uh, McKinnon over four and a half shots and McKinnon mm -hmm. over one and a half points. When I when I took it, it was one fourteen and one thirty five respectively. I'll just make official whatever uh, the current lines on those are. But those are definitely going to be official plays for me. McKinnon shots and one and a half points. Shots is one fourteen. One and a half is minus one forty. So that's a little bit higher. But OK, I will take both of those. Jesus, uh, no scoring in this. That's in UConn game. Yes. And I moved on the over there. I wonder if I should live bet it. Uh, let me just get my battle line going here. I did my only live bet so far. I got the Hundo on UAB plus 11 and a half. And yeah, we'll, we'll see where it, you're 11 and a half on UAB. Live. Yeah, yeah. I have them plus seven free game. It's a six point game right now. Now it's 142 and a half. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on the over. Uh, let's talk about the final game on the board here, and then we're gonna get into NBA with uh, it's Durrell and LJ, and that will be how we close our show here. And man, uh, it's th these are this is a special squad, man. Uh, I I'm surprised that you guys have talked me into Avalanche minus one and a half, but I think you have. I it, I I just I just don't see uh, Columbus in this spot, especially with their injuries and everything that's going on right now. And, and the such a fade spot, like the Avs need to win right now. Even Mikey D, like or, or sorry, Mikey um, Pipslap was saying, you know, this is a complete fade spot for <laughs> for Columbus right now. And I, I just I, I they're so beaten up. They're so beaten up. This will be the first time that I've faded Columbus all season. And right? I get it. Like it's not, you know. No, I think you guys are right. Okay, I think you guys are right. Uh, Kelsey says horses. Horses are coming. Like they're rolling. Like Colorado's coming. rolling right now. They're you know what six, seven game win streak right now. Seven games, yeah. Like they're just they're just rolling right now. Wow, this is not Avalanche minus one and a half. Pete, I did not think I would get there after you guys broke it down. I, I certainly didn't get there after Gokster and Mikey Money broke it down. But I, I'm I'm there. They're playing at. I cannot. I have no futures on the Avalanche, and my hope is that. Because they're not big and tough, the that moment. they will get no. They're they're just not a big hockey team. They're, they're not, not tough. Yeah. and they they don't have Gabriel Landeskog, their captain. Pete, yeah, I, I I think that they're going to be whittled down in the playoffs. In playoffs. Yeah, for sure. I don't think they're I don't think they're going deep in the playoffs. If the Kings played the Avalanche in a seven game series, I would Kings. bet I would make a big bet on the Kings, Kings. and sure. I'd love the deal Kings with the consequences. Love the Kings this year. They're not playing very well right now. Right now, but that's fine. They're still in a spot, and I I still like the way that they play. Let me ask you one quick question. Also, uh, you guys know Aki uh, Rantanen, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, oh, wait, what you say? BT is thirty five miles out of uh, so he's he, BT is going to be here. In probably what what thirty minutes? Okay. Love it. <laughs> on his way, thirty five miles out. BT, you're good. Wait, I tell you what, as soon as you walk into South Taiwan, one, you're home. Love it. You're home. Um, Literally just here, baby. statistically, Ranton in to get an assist has great value. Last two games on the road, he has not had an assist. Any reason is he injured? Any reason to think this that statistically it's not a good bet? What? No, I like Ranton in to assist for an assist. Point and assist. I worry yeah. about Ranton on the power play just because of Nishuskin coming off of uh, rehab. 
Nishushkin is absolute magic. Is there room for Rantanen on that first? I would need um, some of like Steve G or some of these Colorado backers to, to talk about that to know it more implicitly. But is there is he the odd man out when Nishushkin comes back? Is Nishushkin gonna get the, that much time right away? Oh yeah, yeah, right yeah, away. Oh, he's, he's he. I love Nishushkin him. is I love him. He's you great. know when when you when look, uh, you guys know what it's like. If you if your buddy is so talented and he's a fucking booze bag, a sauce bag, you get him in the rehab. You get him coming out now. Uh, Nishushkin is is. I would say this. I would say Nishushkin is top three in the NHL on the power play. Top three players in the NHL on the power play. Okay. Shoes in front of the net. Still like All right, I'll make Rant an assist at well, I got it at 151. Now at Pinnacle, it's down to 150. Sometimes the micro moves are weird at Pinnacle, but I'll take that. Rant and an assist minus 150. Rant and in. Okay, so let, let's hammer this because uh, we got NBA with LJ and uh, Dural. Can you believe I'm going to be sitting beside LJ and Dural capping the NBA card in a minute? Man, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Uh, Seattle Props. Kraken. I'm on the Seattle Kraken. We, we broke it down and I second half back back. Uh, you know, do you like want to under. catch a falling knife? I kind of like the under. But do you want to catch a falling knife? And uh, I'm choosing to do so with, with the Seattle Kraken. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, six straight losses. Seven, sorry, uh, six straight losses. Yeah. Uh, second half back back of losing to Vegas last night. Uh, that you know that game was down the last few minutes. Uh, Pistol Pete Loshak, Seattle Kraken, Arizona Coyotes. Okay, the two props that I was thinking about were um, Cooley over one and a half shots at minus 196. And also, statistically, again, you can tell, and I, in fact, I asked Mr. Gokser about this before, Jared McCann to get an assist at like plus 210 or whatever has great value statistically, but he hasn't uh, done well recently. Is he injured? Is there any reason to think that there's something a little bit wrong with him that would make my so numbers with who, off? With who? Jared McCann for Seattle. Yeah, I mean he's 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 been dealing with some sort of an upper body injury. He has, that. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For how so, long? I did like th I guess three weeks, four weeks. This correlates with what we were talking about earlier and how we, we were talking about Joey Decord and how well he's been playing lately. And I think that he's you know playing some really good hockey, playing some uh, and this is a good spot where they need to step up and they need him to get a win for them right now. Uh I'm taking Arizona team total under two and a half plus one twenty. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's an interesting look. Yeah. Mikey's on the under already. Yeah. Wow, that's an interesting I look. Like that, like, oh, look. I like that look right now. <laughs> Team total under two and a half for Seattle at plus 120. And I will make Cooley over one and a half shots minus 196 in official play. As far as uh, McCann, again, you know, I, I price my things out and statistically there's value there, but situationally or injury wise there might be stuff that i'm missing that's making the line off that's what i'm asking you guys for so i'll hold off on mccann I'll, I'll tell you this yeah. about jared is he's a great hockey he's playing player. he's a great hockey player and when when you know three years ago when they were doing the uh draft for the expansion kraken he, hasn't he was the most sought after games, player by ron francis and ron francis is a real sharp dude now i know that his kraken aren't succeeding this mm -hmm. year but um he is a he's a Corsi darling. We talk about the Corsi numbers and those, those who are failing. Kuz, Kuznetsov four, 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 four and five shots in the last three games, no points, but like he's all over the map. With right, him. he's a hell of a hockey player, and he's he's minus the last few games. Like he needs a good game to step up. That, that's, it, but right. but, so, but, so, but uh, the problem is that we don't know if he's one hundred percent healthy. That's the thing, right? That's the only thing. Is it possible that he could be one hundred percent? That he's not one hundred percent and getting all those shots anyway? North Ender says Ron Seems Francis like butchered that draft. Look, North Ender, they were overtime away from making the Western Conference Final. A couple of years. Overtime away last year. Yeah. Overtime away from the Western Conference Final. So if you want to, if you want to talk shit about Ron Francis, uh, you know I'm just not. I'm not going to hold your hand there. Uh, Pete, did you tell Jimmy about your recent purchase? Oh yeah, I bought a few of those shirts. They're pretty. They are pretty yeah, fun. They are pretty fun. I did. Right. They're right. <laughs> they're dope. Yeah. They're, dope. <laughs> they're fucking dope. I mean, I'll give them out as gifts. Okay, wait, Jose, Jose, Jose. Can you get LJ and uh, Daryl? We're gonna go with five minutes. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you guys uh, review your NHL action here? Yep. We'll start with Spenny Penny Bombs. Yeah, we got. Uh, first off, we got uh, Washington money line. Uh, here against Carolina, uh, I believe, what do we get it at here? It was uh, plus 170, and I got that for the Washington Capitals, their money line against Carolina. 
Uh, we're skipping the Pittsburgh and Dallas game again. I just not confident in the fact that Dallas can get it done, even though you know, we probably would like it. Um, and then the uh, Colorado Avalanche game, we like Colorado minus one and a half in that game, uh, taking Colorado minus one and a half. And uh, the last game is the Seattle Kraken versus Arizona. And we like Arizona team total under minus, uh, sorry, under two and a half at plus 120. And those are my plays for that game. Very interesting look, the team total under. I think it'll just give me more confidence on betting the Kraken. I don't think I'll do anything differently. Um, Pistol Pete Loshak. All right. So I got for props, uh, Martin Nichas over two and a half, minus 146. Ovechkin point minus 161. Stankovan over two and a half shots, plus 141. McKinnon over four and a half shots, and McKinnon over one and a half points. Rantanen assist at minus 150. Logan Cooley over one and a half shots at minus 196. And the uh, the stuff that I wanted to, that, that I'm leaning towards, um, again, Riley Smith assist at like plus 255 was something that uh, looks like it might have some value. Ricard Raquel over two and a half shots at plus 143 is something that I was looking at. Uh, bunting over two and a half plus 114 and i really want to give ben as a to get a point minus 116 statistically i love it but i, I don't know they're, they're they're talking me off of it i guess uh boone jenner under two and a half shots at plus, minus 101 looks good to me and um and also a little bit of value which is probably solid but small clayton keller to score a goal plus 180 but i'm mm -hmm. not going to give that one officially but mm -hmm. that looks good nuki and i want to give mccann do assist you plus give two a best bet here in the nhl do you have a an idea what you what you know what you know what i support the goalster right i he washington money line i'm on it already that's really basic capitals capitals money line for the yeah, new quarter okay i just i just asked my brother to put it on put it on yeah uh nuki nuki i need you to sit here and say I, I want i want everybody watching to to, to see you on screen okay. man if you don't oh, mind come on come on, here. Here. Yeah. Come on. Uh, i love peter loshak Let me get and my benny penny bombs i love you guys analysis out of your way so <laughs> you can sit here and uh <laughs> i love you guys appreciate uh nuki nuki give us your your thoughts on the washington capitals put the headphones on my friend and um we have uh mr nuke worker uh rolling with us here a uh, big part of our trip and uh nuki how are you getting paid um well and talk uh, get into the mic oh, yeah, okay yeah. so i'm also on uh, what spenny just said uh uh capitals plus 170 although i don't know if i'm getting the 170 because i'm texting my brother back in canada to put your action in. yeah so uh but anyway i'm gonna be on them and uh i'm just kind of uh i i think it's a good spot for them i mean uh i forget the goalie well we have uh, kemper kemper, gonna kemper. Be in that. Yeah, yeah kemper's gonna be in that yeah and you know he's he can be uh you know he's, touch and go yeah so so that's why i just thought the 170 was uh it was worth it once like we were in there this I morning. Right. I think risk reward. I I, I get it. I, yeah, I we like Golkster. We're sitting and talking with Golkster and Mike, Mike, Mikey M. And he uh, that when they first told me that Kemper was in, then I was in, and I believe I knew Spenny was. So anyway, that's where I am. It's kind of uh, I kind of tailed him, but uh, once I heard Kemper was in, I had to go that way. So I like the risk reward. I like the risk reward, and I get it. Um, I get it. So, would you say that the Capitals right now at plus one seventy with the implied probability, you know, over sixty percent? Would you say that's your best bet on the board, or is there anything? Um, else well, uh, yeah. I mean, in hockey, for sure. In fact, it's my only bet on the board. But my favorite board, my favorite bet today, and in, in you know, that I have so far is uh, I'm on Wisconsin minus five. Whiskey, I'm right there with you. Yeah. I haven't bet it yet. So but. that, and I'm I'm sitting. I've got uh, UAB right now. I've got New Mexico. I think they're getting their ass they're getting kicked. Destroyed. And then I got uh, I got Florida, uh, Colorado, Florida and Colorado. I got I got Florida. Or sorry, I've got Colorado, and uh, so those are my only bets so far. But I'm good. As soon as I get off here and let the big boys in, I'm going to be texting my brother and <laughs> making some action, baby. If you're in town, come on down. I love you, Nuki. Baby. Okay, I love you guys too. I'll be back. All right, get that cash, my man. Yes, sir. All right, it is now time for go, NBA. And we have an eight-game card. We have a pretty magical eight-game card. Let's bring in our NBA experts right now. We got my guy, Durrell, and my guy, LJ. Wait a minute. Am I sitting bitch? Is what, bitch in the middle? Yeah. 
I don't know. I, I thought Robbie posted it out. I like. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I know the the. Is that bitch? Really, <laughs> bitch? Man. Bitch, man. Bitch, man. What's up? Uh, you guys. About time, man. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah, yeah man. Uh, now LJ destroyed last year on this show. That's right. LJ, you made us a lot of money. Fucking money. Yeah, we about to do it again. Yeah, we were. Hey, it was a bunch of collabs going in there outside since we waited. Goddamn five hours to fucking get on the show. Goddamn, Jimmy. Look, uh, maybe some Hennessy would calm me. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, uh, my yes. water. Water? Oh, come on. Did you just say that? Let's get some Hennessy. The fuck out of here. No, no. Let, 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 let me see. I think I think some Hennessy would relax you. Yeah, man. I'm on edge right now. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I had, I had a shot of Hennessy on the show. Uh, like, I can't believe we're going to hammer this bottle. I don't know where it went. It, full it I... was full, yeah. Oh, really? And then we, I don't know how it's all gone. I, I don't, I have no way. Well, right I wonder. Um, you don't have another bottle, huh? I don't, but Jeff does. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going to be happening today. Okay, um, you guys, as men, I am so fucking thankful to be your friend. Yes. I love you guys so much. Yeah. And I want you to win. We have to win today. Most definitely. We're we all together. To we'll get the money. Let's get it. I love you guys. Look at LJ Daryl yeah. live in person. I find oh man. No, man. This is good. Okay, let's get to work. Let's get to work here. Let's get to work. We have a beautiful eight-game NBA card, and we have it's Daryl and LJ from H Town live in studio with us here. We start at 7 p.m. Eastern. We have the Boston yeah. Celtics, 55-14. 23 and 11 on the road at the Detroit Pistons, 12 and 57, 7 yeah. and 29 at home. We're at Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan. Boston, you know, in the throes of the seven game winning streak. So all my stats are going to be last five. Yeah. Uh, Boston, last five. They're playing at the, a uh, slower pace. And we see that across the NBA right now. Yeah. Everybody's slowing down. Uh, defense is becoming a priority as we're, you know, in the stretch mm -hmm. uh, to the playoffs. Boston is 5 and 0. Oh, they're playing. Uh, the 24th fastest pace, 95.60 possessions game. Detroit, one and four, 100.3 possessions game. Detroit has used 30 players mm. in the NBA this year. 30 <laughs> players. That's a franchise record. Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Who, 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 what team has ever used 30 players? I mean, it's just so nonsense. It's too bad that the great, City of Detroit has to deal with this shitty basketball team and Monty getting this huge contract yeah, and like yeah uh it's you, just you think he gets fired no anytime no, no, so no, no, they're no, gonna no, give they, him how many years do you think they're gonna give him uh what, he uh, uh, this definitely couldn't happen again next year right uh, uh, you know um Monty got uh, Detroit doesn't have the kind of money to fire a coach uh, Monty Monty's gonna get his run mm -hmm. here so let's set this one up for you line wise and we're gonna pass it over to our group the celtics seven game winning streak yeah beat the pistons 11994 uh without tatum or holiday uh so holiday has got this right shoulder contusion i'm gonna pull up uh and i don't have it up right now but i'm gonna pull up exactly who's gonna be in and who's gonna be out yeah, uh Osir, tom thompson blood clot done mm -hmm. for the year isaiah stewart mm -hmm. done for the year with the hamstring strain mm -hmm. uh also fontecchio and quentin grimes didn't play in that 122 103 loss to Indiana. So let's pull up the line history here and then hand it over to you fellas and see uh I you know I, I don't mean to put the pressure on LJ after what he did last year for us. But he made us a lot of fucking money on this pub of blues a day. And we got Saturday too, LJ. And also uh Durrell, you guys well, you know, let me just set this up. So here we go. We have a uh, and we're going to use pinnacle opening lines. We have the Pistons plus 14 and a half. They open up at plus 13. A one and a half point move towards the Celtics, who don't care about this basketball game, but the the Pistons are just so beaten up right now. I don't know how anybody would trust them. So do you want to back a big favorite here? Uh, there's 9% of the tickets on the Detroit Pistons. Now, we don't have any cash information. I don't know why, because the Ash, Action Network, I guess, you know, 
sucks. <laughs> I don't know. 9,582 tickets in. They're not going to give us a, a money call. So here we go. LJ from H Town. <laughs> LJ from H Town. Let's go. Yes, sir. Piston Celtics. Take it away. Yeah. Um, Boston, as everybody knows, that I wasn't really invested in them last year simply because I felt like they depended on that three-point shot too much and there wasn't another way they could score. But now that they have Drew and they have Porzingis, they have extra options now that they Is can Drew go to. Is Drew playing tonight? No, I'm just setting the stage for us, like, okay. why, I'm, why I'm now investing in this team okay. because of how they were last year. But at the same time, Drew isn't playing. But I feel like their lineup is probably – they could run three, Derek White, Porzingis, or Tatum, or they could have Brown, White, and uh, Horford in there. So – they can pretty much miss and match for the most part, especially against Detroit, because Detroit, you know, they don't have anything that could compete with Boston, in my opinion, on their roster. So I'm always going to take Boston first half, Jimmy, 25 and nine against the spread. I mean, 27 and seven against the spread in the first half on the road. But saturated saying 50, 18 and one is Boston first half. Yes. I three. mean, it, it's ridiculous. They're the number one team in the NBA in the first half and on the road is even better. So but. The injuries is what I'm I'm concerned with because I need Jalen Brown in there for the most part is where I'm really confident. But if Derek White and Tatum are in there, I may get to that, but I just have to see who's playing for me to pull the trigger on it. But heavy, strong lean, Boston first half. What do you think, Daryl? Yeah, so first off, we need to know who's playing for sure. If you look at how this game could go, Boston first half does seem like a strong look. It does. But Detroit can kind of hang around, right? We saw that happen in the game they had played before March. Detroit had actually beat them first half 66 to 47. But, I mean, you're just talking about recency bias and how they're playing right now. And they're playing some damn good ball right now. Um, so I didn't step on this game. This is going to be a late game if I'm going to play it because you just want to make sure that full injury report is coming out and who's playing. Um, <laughs> this is probably a prop game, um, if anything. And just the way, I mean, in their last 10, I mean, Jesus, the Celtics look like they're coming out of the East. I don't know. You could say it was the Bucks, but anything could happen. But just the way the Celtics are playing in their recent body of work, they're just being the Celtics and, what we're not talking about really right now is how Jalen Brown has come alive as a leader on that team. Now it's oh, always been Tate Tatum. This has always been Tatum squad. Yeah. I don't Jaylen, think so. Yeah. That's yeah. Jaylen. Yeah. I, I, I mean, we were talking at the beginning of the year about why do we pay this motherfucker almost what 300 mil? How did he get the bag? And he got the bag, but now you're starting to understand why you'd seen a couple of games that happened where he had actually huddled up the team and said, yo, let's get to work. And they're kind of buying in. So I will look at Jalen Brown's props right now because he's playing really good ball. Um, I, I do believe he is starting to, to kind of shift as more the leader on the squad. I've always thought it was Tatum, um, but no, it hasn't been. It's really been about Jalen Brown. And I'm, I, I'm daring to say this team goes as Jalen Brown goes I agree. as of right now. No, I agree so, in totality. I, yeah. I, I, I agree. Uh, we're getting a lot of love for the I don't give a fucking shit what the spread is play today. Ooh. Hey, Big T, Big T, can you play the uh, I don't give a shit what None the spread is play up, today? Man. Maybe it comes up. Maybe it doesn't. We don't know. But let's play it. Let's fucking play this. <laughs> is that Big T? Yeah. Big... Listen, right. hey, man. You ready for this? Here's my analysis. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a fucking shit. So yeah, I I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a fucking shit what the spread is. That's the best one. Oh, ever. I've, I've got some chicken. Oh wait, can we get you guys? Uh, can we get you guys? Uh, let's center a little bit. Let's okay. get you guys. Uh, LJ, can you come through? Chicken in here. No, no, I, no, I, I can wait. Chicken, but I can you, LJ, wait. LJ, come in, come in, come in. Let's get you guys in. Okay. He can eat that shit. Yeah, you okay. want to eat it. I, I, I'll, I'll put it down here. But, but, here. but deliver fucking winners. Yeah, yeah. No, trust me. Like, uh, you know, eat, eat anything the fuck you want, but please so, put money in our fucking pocket. Man. That was uh, Skinny Duro. I don't give a fucking shit what the play is, what the spread is. That was Skinny Duro. Mm -hmm. And these, I don't give a fucking shit what the spread is plays you this year. You haven't, you haven't dropped many. I haven't dropped many. No. I think that's only for Skinny Daryl. 
<laughs> I think so. So the, no. I mean, maybe they'll come back. We'll see how postseason goes if Skinny Daryl comes I don't back. I didn't really, I didn't even really like Skinny Daryl. I know, man. I hear that a lot, man. Let's move on. Okay. 7 p.m. Eastern, Oklahoma City Thunder, 48 yeah. and 20, 20 and 13 on the road at the Toronto Raptors, 23 and 46, 13 and 21 at home. Scotiabank Arena, Toronto, Ontario. We have our golden boy, uh, the the our favorite son. Yeah. Shea Gilgis Alexander coming home. Uh, you know, he was born in Toronto, but he's from Hamilton. Hamilton's yeah. greasy and dirty. And, really? Oh, it's so dirty and 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 Shea coming out of Hamilton is it's it so meant our, so much. It's meant so much to this uh, our area. It's Shea so Gangsta much. Alexander? Is this what we're calling this right now? Shea should be on the hundred dollar bill. Oh wow. wow. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah, he's he's uh he's a Canadian boy. Uh, yeah. and, and I don't want to wax poetic, and I don't want to like uh, affect my gambling, but yeah. Shea Shea, I would say is is our now his I, uncle is a dad at my daughter's school. Mm -hmm. It goes by the name of Foots. Mm. He got big old feet. So what would it do if he won the MVP? What would that do for him? Look, I, he's not going to win MVP. And I don't no. want to play pretend. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa, whoa. No. Well, I, 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 he still has a chance to win uh, MVP. I. Who do you think I'm going to give it to? Who you one giant Jokic? Jokic? Yeah, is going to win the MVP, and I, yeah, I, I just you have to earn. You, you know, the fact that that Shea's going to come second in MVP voting will. Maybe give us an opportunity. So if OKC okay, gets the number one seed, he's, he can't get it. If they get the number one seed in the West. If they get the number one seed in the West, then he gets it. Okay. We have to see if that happens because they're right there. You think they get there? They're right there. OKC, Minnesota, Denver. They're right there. You know, so he's, he has an outside shot to get it because he's putting up 31 every game. And they're winning. Jokic is the MVP this year. Okay, I understand. I'm no, right. no, but I don't. I'm not, I'm not saying he is. I, I'm not saying he's the most valuable nah. player to his team. I'm just saying that that's the award. The award's going to be given to Jokic. Okay, we'll see what happens. But so, if you think I'm wrong, what, what's it? Let's can can somebody in the chat give us a live number on? Yes, give us a nine live number on Shay to win MVP. Let me tell you this. You're going to set this up, but let me tell you this, Jay. Specifically about this game tonight. You ready for this? Oh, no. Are you ready for this? Oh, no. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Just a second. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Give me SGA points. I don't give a fucking shit <laughs> what that number is. Troy, uh, <laughs> I mean, T, T, you got to give us the. Uh, I don't give a fucking sh shit. Shea is plus 550 for MVP. 550 for MVP, but uh Big T, we need we need the uh, That's it. I don't give a fucking shit what the spread is. We need mm. we need we need this joint. He's like, "Man, come on. Man. Play this joint. Play this fucking joint." You ready for this? Here's my analysis. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a fucking shit. So yeah, I I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a fucking shit what the spread is. Have so 30.5 or what juice? Um, I have to look at that. It's not juice, I believe it's minus 117. Let me give you something I heard. It's crazy. Shea has scored, he'll be in an elite group of uh people. Oh, yeah, I've got that. Uh, he scored 30 points, yeah. Uh, so he's the 13th player in NBA history right. to score 30 points or more 50 times in a single season. Mm. Only five players have done that in the last 35 years. Mm -hmm. MJ Harden twice. Yep, Harden and Kobe. Yeah, and um, that's I, I know Harden, Kobe, and MJ. Okay, can you can you give me the last guy? Harden, Kobe. The last MJ. guy means so much to me in my. Oh God! I so he's a Toronto he, guy. He has MVP. No, no, no. He there's one other guy who scored 30 points or more 50 times in a single season, and he's you know played for the Raptors. Kawhi. Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady. Why didn't I know that? Fuck okay. Team so, SGA, Shea Gangsta Alexander, mm. has scored 30 points against every team this year, mm. for the exception of A, the Bucks, who they haven't played just yet, mm -hmm. and B, the Raptors. Going. I see where you're going. 
be the Raptors. I'm riding with you. I see right you I like now. It. I like it. I he's like playing. It. He's in Toronto. He's, he's playing in Toronto in his hometown. I like. I like. I like. I like. I like. I like, I like, I like right. I like. And the, and they've already played, and I believe he had 27 points that game. Somebody fact check me on that. He didn't hit 30. I like that. So like this that. is his last time to hit 30, and I believe and he's going to give you nonsense. Nobody gives a fuck about nobody. Can, yeah. Oh, but do you think that? But but LJ thinks. Do you think the Thunder care about this game because they're going to try and catch? The number one seed. Mm -hmm. the, the Thunder care about this game, but Toronto can't. The thing is, is if they're up forty or fifty, because the Raptors are a fucking disgrace uh, in injured. Uh, and we even know if 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 Manuel quickly because he's got the personal. If he's he's Bronco, not going to play. You have Scotty Barnes with a hand injury, Podal with a finger injury, uh, Barrett uh, obviously dealing with his brother's yeah, death. Yeah, yeah. Boucher with the knee injury, a uh, Carton with the ankle injury. So they could be up forty yeah. points by the end. Is Shea going to play in the fourth quarter? He could get 30 before the fourth. He can get he 30 better, before the fourth. He better or we lose the bet. He can get well, 30 yeah, before yeah. the fourth. Or we lose the bet. I like yeah. that. So yeah. are you going yeah. to So yes. you're going to put your money on the line? I'm on putting Shea? my money on that. I like, I like how I like where that. he's going. Yeah, he he's this is his only chance to do it. That's A. And B, he only has to do it against the Bucks, who they haven't played yet. So he's got to hit his 30. You better believe if we are knowing stats like that you better fucking believe they know it they know it and most importantly he knows it mm -hmm. so they're going to make sure if he's playing iso ball or whatever they just get the fuck out of his way and let him do his thing that's the way i look at it so sga that that i just believe that number he's going to probably give you 35 37 easily i think so i think so i think so i think so so that's okay. my plan uh, so that so this will be the first uh player prop over 30 points and i talked about this with lj a lot last year that i will bet because i do not want uh 29 and a half is my cutoff mm -hmm. really yeah i didn't know that okay yeah, yeah half, i never want i never want to ask anybody for 30. yeah this is it friday night in your hometown yeah you balling out i love that i like it too i love it Derek. i like it too good call okay Let's move on to the next spot on the board, 8 p.m. Eastern. We have the New Orleans Pelicans, 42 and 27, 22 and 14 on the road. The Miami Heat, 38 and 31, 17, and 15 homework. Kaseya Center in Miami, Florida. Both teams are three and two over their past five games and playing at a slower pace. And we know mm. that NBA has slowed down over the last little bit. Uh, the Pelicans, 21st in pace over the last five games, 96.2 possessions game. Miami, three and two, 93.5 possessions game. That's the second slowest. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I saw food. Too. I saw that too. I didn't, I didn't I even see, see the fucking food. No, I, I saw the big old. Titties. I saw it. Those people in Ohio big old just hanging out. Those are some big old. Is he single? Okay, let's get <laughs> back to the uh, situation here. Back to business. Back. To we have uh, big ass titties, man. Big old nipples, probably too. You know, uh, the <laughs> <laughs> the pelican sitting here at a uh, plus. Three still Pelican yeah. sitting at plus three. They yeah. open up a plus three and minus 107. Uh, so there's been a two cent move to the Miami Heat. Yeah, Christopher Comtini telling me to focus, but all I can think about was because geez, I, I like that. I like it. I like to slap me in the face. I would like that. I would like a big, I would like a big right hook, like a, with, with, with the right titty. Don't get I fired. Like, I would like the right titty to slap me. Don't, in the don't face. get fired. I'm not gonna get fired just because just because I want titties in my face. Don't get fired. What? I just because I want he's in my face. No. Uh, the Heat have seventeen percent of the tickets and seventy six percent of the cash. Yeah. I mean that we have not seen that in in our whole show today, mm. where there's um, yeah sharper action that we can quantify. Yeah, one uh, time said that. That's the that's crazy. That's crazy here. So let's just go over that one more time because, you know, we're putting our fucking money on the line. 83% of the tickets are on the new one. Oh, God. The Heat are going to take care of business. I think so. Oh, fuck. I'm starting to. <laughs> Mikey Money gave us the under. So let's yeah. set this one up. Uh, Bam. Is playing. Bam missed that yeah. the game, the 107-104 loss. And I watched that uh, ending of that basketball game. And I was extremely impressed with the Miami Heat. You know, now we're talking about a, you know, a Cavaliers team that's hurt with injuries. So it's not. But I was really impressed with how clinical uh, 
they dominated the end of the game. They just took over when it when when when, when it became important. Now Bam is questionable right now. I don't know if you have, he's playing. He's playing. He is playing. So no Jay Rich mm -hmm. shoulder injury, no Tyler Hero with the foot injury, no Kevin Love with the heel injury. Uh, the whole win for the Heat late was scary. Terry, he was fucking magical. He was so incredible. I just, I've always been a scary Terry fan, but the way he took over that Cavaliers game, I mean, with his new team, he's only 25 games in. Yeah. I really believe in the man as an individual. I've always believed in Terry, mm -hmm. uh, but that was just, he took over the game in his new, with his new team. Mm -hmm. I really, really believe in him. And his, his, if you go statistically with what Scary Terry's been doing, he's not, he's averaging 15.7 points a game with the Heat. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's not, he, I don't think people understand how important Terry Rozier is going to be if you were just looking at it from a statistical basis, because he's fucking magic and 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 they let kyle lowry go with his big fat ass and and, and i i think Sick. that i think that they should have done it like i you know yeah. uh, so the pelicans are coming off this loss on thursday and that's the reason why i didn't i didn't immediately bet the heat mm -hmm. uh they lose 121 106 to the magic mm -hmm. uh ingram goes for 21 minutes and gets hurt uh the knee injury the knee. was going to be 2 weeks yeah so yeah. he's going to be back for the playoffs uh, Zion, I mean, Zion, Zion Williamson had eight turnovers in that fucking basketball game. You know, when, when people say like, uh, oh, uh, the, your biggest star is, is Zion Williamson. I want to bet against that motherfucker. Mm. I really do. I really do. I just eight fucking turnovers in the. Yeah. Uh, so. So the ball's in your court, Daryl, and then we'll go to. Yeah. Uh, um, I was talking to LJ about this game. This game I'm in church on. I it it feels like the way the Pels have been playing this season that they should come ahead. Just for record's sake, in the last ten games, the Heat are nine and one against the Pels, but they don't cover the spread. Mm. This time you have small number here the minus three this has been one of the lowest this, this will be the third lowest number of the last 10. i just when i look at this game i really wish bi would play and i really wish bam would have stayed out but of course heat smash yeah is it heat smash spot i, I i'm just i i'm really scared of the heat right now because if it is if it was a smash spot then you would see some the kind market. of movement yeah market you would see it, especially after the no, Bam everybody, news. Everybody's used to Miami losing at home. And the Pelican, everyone loves the Pelican. Look, I, what do you think, LJ? I think, yeah. I, I, look, I, my my fucking fingers are starting mm -hmm. to. Do we move on the fucking heat here? I don't know, Jimmy. I think it's more of a live game to see if we can move on the heat live. You know, there just you because I full disclosure. <laughs> Put your face in the camera, man. We want to see. We want. We want. We want you. Yeah, man. BT the motherfuckers. I keep talking about how uh, your expectations always uh, in yeah. life are hurt, and then you will you come with our squad. Yeah, you BT walks in, gives you five, and, and like you know, it's like, oh man, that's this shit what's is up. special, man. Yeah, this shit is special, man. We in here already. This fucking money, BT. BT, do you have a best bet though in NBA or anything like that? Because we want to know. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Four hours, five hours. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. That, man. You know, I, I hate talking about it too much. It's just that I'm 44 years old and I've learned that you have no expectations on anybody or mm -hmm. you're going to be disappointed. Yeah. And then I come with the squad. We here, man. 
Okay. I, I don't want to. I don't want to explain. You didn't I think I was going to come, Jimmy? Did you? You know, I just I don't want to put honest. pressure. I don't want to put honest. pressure on it. You know, it, I wanted honest. you here last year. I man. know. So I don't want to put pressure on. Uh, life was life, and bro. Okay. Miami but Heat. Back, back to the uh, the Pelicans. Uh full disclosure, Jimmy. I stepped on the Pelicans early, plus the three, just because. I broke down the scenarios. As you remember, this was that fight game that they got into the fight. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And Brandon Ingram didn't play in that game either. Mm. So now the fact that he's injured is giving me preparation now because I believe that he can win, but I'm hoping the Pelicans still cover because I already stepped on the number. But 1781 against the spread after a loss is just mm-hmm. something you can't ignore. And that's the reason why I stepped on the Pelicans. But the fact that they don't have Ingram, I have to depend on Zion to get most of this production. I don't think you're going to like that yeah that's my point and that's why i'm saying i I really don't want to give it out on the show because i'm not confident in the bet now because i didn't expect brandon ingo to be out of this game scary terry can take care of business has not can you guys legitimize scary terry over the last couple couple days man he's been fucking phenomenal this is what this reminds me of he was so fucking money uh the heat could go all the way to play the celtics in the conference final this is what it's a little bit of Boston Celtics, right? And to me, it's a little bit of Charlotte Hornets with Devontae Graham. Hmm. Like, there were games when you watch, and this was when LaMelo was a rookie, that uh, he can just take over games, bro. And that's probably why he's still around to this day. Because I never really liked Scary Terry, to be honest with you. Hmm. I never, I thought he was kind of streaky. He wasn't. I like him. He's not, he's not a player or in my opinion this is my opinion he's not a player that you can count on him to lead the team every night i think he's becoming that man yeah but i mean we're talking scary terry this is what his eighth year in the league ninth year probably and and you're just now saying that i mean yeah (laughs) i'm saying it and i'm saying i believe it he said he could go to the conference finals that's what he's saying well so so wax on that shit Nah, well, I don't think about that. Mm, mm. They're gonna need Tyler Hero back. They're gonna have to get of course. everybody back. You don't think Hero's coming back for the playoffs? He's coming back. I mean, sure, yeah, but... the fucking vanilla vanilla white boy oh, gonna God. come back when time's right, man. He doesn't give a fuck. He's gonna he's gonna rest his foot's up in the air right now and it's being massaged by big titted, beautiful women. Okay. He doesn't look uh you th- you don't think hero's gonna come back for the no, playoffs? I'm not saying that, but how productive is he gonna be? Hero don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck because he can shoot better than everybody in the league. He's such a cocky motherfucker. Why did you just say that? He's so cocky. He's so cocky. He believes in his shit. Yeah. It's a lot of players like that, though. If you don't (laughs) know, you you just said he shoots better than anybody, everybody in the league. If he's going to be in a three point contest, no, no, no. If he's going to be in three point contest next year, Uh I fucking, what, who, who, who who will be? I would take that bet. Come on. Tyler Hero? Yeah. yeah. Tyler Hero. I would take that. Fuck out of here. <laughs> no, look, like, you guys can hate think, the fucking... I Grayson Allen over fucking... Hey, hey, I love Grayson Allen. We digress, though. We digress. Let's get back. Like, okay. We digress. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. But... Like, okay. Heat, heat. I'm moving on the heat. You're moving on, moving the, heat. on the heat. Well, I haven't okay. bet it yet. Okay. And, and that, that's the most important thing that we do yeah, here yeah. is that, like, it's not... We Bam don't talk in. pretend or anything like that. Yeah. I lean to the under in this game. Just because of what Mike That's mentioned, better and nineteen and six to the under versus the West is Miami. So, uh, Spenny going on the Butler double double. Uh, hey, I don't Spenny's mind. great NBA capper. I know he's great. He's, over, he's over here killing. You know, he picked all the dogs. Only one on fucking Northwestern made everybody <laughs> mad as shit out there. <laughs> look, you mad guys, you guys, shit. look, everybody, everybody, uh, <laughs> saying a bag of big hero guy. I'm not. I'm not a big hero guy. <laughs> I'm not a big hero guy, but I, I, I just I want to be around winners. Shout yeah, that's yeah. They got 17 points. 17 yeah. points in the first half for this Stetson's. Is this is brutal. Look at there, they're wiping you can't wipe the sneakers. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm gonna stop. Uh big shout out to Jonathan Yim. Um says shots for the table. Twenty dollar shots for the table. Let's get it. Uh we're oh, gonna have that sports analytic website, just so you know, has uh, Pelicans winning one thirteen to one eleven. Yeah, are they are they betting? I'm DeAndre Ayton right. is such a little bitch, man. Hey, He's can I can I not have a little bitch shot? Though. What's going on? What's going on? Archie? Okay, okay. How how much? You tell me on the stop. Okay, there you go. There you go. It's just a. Uh, can I? Can I lock this one? Oh yeah. 
we're just finding cups. This is this okay. reminds me of college. Okay, we need. I don't a... know who the fuck drank out of my cup, but oh well. <laughs> Seen yeah. a bunch of fucking greasy lip marks on believe, my shit. I can't believe we finished the bottle. You finished oh. the bottle. Jesus yeah, you Christ! Did. I can't believe we finished this the bottle. This is all you. Wow, yeah, just pour Henny in my chicken. I can't believe your chicken would be nicer with yeah, that shit. Uh, LJ, LJ, Listen. let's get this fucking money, man. Let's get it, man. Ah. Holy shit. Oh, John, Jonathan Yim. Oh, God. That one didn't go down so well. Yeah, that one was wrong, wrong, too. Pause. Oh, Jesus. My pussy's is disgusting. Oh, God. Pause again. Bro. Cleveland Cavaliers at the Minnesota Timberwolves <laughs> were in the Target Center in Minneapolis, yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. The Cavs have let go of their lead in the division not that division records matter anymore in the nba we'd let that go yeah but i love that the bucks have taken over because my friend dan kelly told me to bet the bucks at plus 275 to win the central division at the all-star break mm. that was at 275 yeah man now i only put 500 dollars on it but it's gonna help my life i like that it's gonna help my life shout out to dan kelly was Dan? Hey, wait, 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 wait was, big t big t can you throw on the Dan Kelly uh, graphic, we got a Dan Kelly graphic. You know, uh, Dan Kelly, he's money in the fucking bank, man. And it's so important that, that, fucking that Nate. you Celtics want. This guy. See this? No, no. We, we, we need you for the Celtics breakdown. This is brutal. Sorry, dude. We need you for the Celtics. Oh, yeah, we did do it. All right. yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, man. <laughs> and again, and again. Uh, we already know what he's going on. Big, big T, big T, uh, big T, hit us, hit us with Dan Kelly. It's at the very bottom. It's at the very bottom. Keep going, keep going. You want, yeah, yeah. You'll see DK, DK uh, plus some DK. There you go, there you go, there you go. Right there. I think you got it, right? DK. Yeah. Hit that shit. I thought you got it. Okay. No man, it's yeah, always that's, a, that's an old school. It's one, nice. Right? Though. It's it's like, the other one is where he looks like fucking um, um white from uh, Breaking Bad. I want, uh, Kyle Anderson. Walter White. Walter White. I don't know. Yeah. Why don't you do? Why don't you do the tank like play of the day anymore? What do you mean? We do. We talk tank all the time, man. I told you to find some black tanks. Yeah. No, we did that. Oh, you did that. We did that. Uh, T. There's a. Well, I don't want to, but but there's some some big titted black women that we got, <laughs> and, and they're beautiful. Uh, so it's number right, number beautiful. two or three. It's not. Nice, man, she looks nice too. She's yeah. surprised. Okay, she's yeah. surprised. I was I was surprised. She's that. surprised. Cavaliers at Minnesota Timberwolves each are trying to bounce back from a loss. Yeah. They, they're both ba yeah. bouncing back from the L. Uh, Cleveland coming off that 107-104 loss to the Heat, where the Heat took over. You know, why would they take over? Because Donovan Mitchell, broken nose. The, you know, when you have a broken nose and you're out for seven games, I think you're a little bitch. He doesn't. I'll be honest. Wow. I'll be, no, no. Put on the mask and be a fucking man. Get on the fucking floor and be a fucking I man. I agree. But so he's he's 27.4 points a game, 6.1 assists, 5.3 rebounds, and he's probably afraid to wear a mask out there. And I get it; they're big shoulders and big elbows. Yeah. And look, I, but but still, look, get out there and fucking legitimize yourself. Uh, Mobley with a sprained ankle, Struce, Struce. I did not know how magic he was. Oh come and, on! No, I didn't. I didn't because oh that run with the Heat, I was like, oh that's a one year thing. But when I watched him in crunch time with the Cavs stepping up, I was like, oh, shit, he's a real deal. He's a real deal. Interesting. Now he's been yeah. out. So he's averaging 12.2. He's only shooting 34% from three. Which is low yeah. for Max. Mm. So uh, they've both been ruled out. Mitchell being ruled out. Mm -hmm. All three of them ruled out. Mm -hmm. So let's go through the line history here for this spot. We have uh, uh, Minnesota right now. Minus seven and a half. Minus seven and a half. They open up minus seven. There's a half point move towards them. 
And then from a cash flow standpoint, we have uh, 29% of the tickets and 2% of the cash. 2%? On the Cleveland Cavaliers. 2%. Wait a minute, 2% and that moved to a 7 from a 7 and a half? That's fucked up. There's no way Minnesota should be 7 and a half. Especially if Ant is here. Spenny, Spenny saying there's no I think, way. I think I think Ant is definitely playing. He has he'll to play. play. He'll play, but he's oh. questionable. He has to stink or whatever. Rudy's iffy though. But well, we know Ant. We know Ant's trying to be MJ. He's, he's trying to play 82 playing, games a year. But he's going to play 82 games a year and and man up. You know he's he's trying he's to be MJ. Man. He, yeah. yeah. But didn't MJ? Who said that Ant was the closest to MJ? Didn't oh, MJ yeah. say that? No, somebody, somebody said Someone that said yeah, yeah. that about Ant Man as far as the, the player <laughs> who's resembling the yeah. closest to MJ is Ant Man. LJ, what are your thoughts on this because spot he here? Shoot a lot of um, game I'm definitely player. hoping that Anthony mm-hmm. Edwards plays in this game because I'm going to take the PRA over cool, 40 and a half. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Just because he's hit it in nine straight games. Absolutely. He's at home, front of his home crowd on a Friday. You know how I feel about that, Jimmy. Mm-hmm. So that's a strong, strong play right there, in my opinion. Yeah. And the under as well, heavy lean, just because Cleveland 21 and 12 to the under on the road. Um, 16 and 9 to the under after a loss, you know. But it's 206 and a half. I usually want those numbers to be like 210, 212 around that range if I'm mm-hmm. going to take an under. I, I think 206 is pretty low. Just because of Miami and uh, Cleveland, I think the other night was like 205 and it hit 211. And I didn't take it just because I felt it was too low. What do you think about the NBA slowing completely down over the last two weeks? I mean, it's run? because it's, it's it's go time now. You got to position yourself in the you standings now. Yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure you get stops now. So, of course, the unders have been trending, and I have a strong strong lean to it, but I can't get because two hundred six and a half is just too low. I, I need to be in two ten range right there. But Anthony Edwards for sure over forty and a half. PRA, my man Jay Peasy in the building. Peasy the motherfucker. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I didn't know who that motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, Chad, I'm on. I'm on Anthony Edwards. I need yeah. him to play. You see, he's on the shirt right here because this is yeah, the dunk of that. the year so far. So, it was nice, but oh, come on, it's that, a dunk, Daryl. Yes, it was. God was a dunk. He threw it in the goal. He threw it. He don't have to touch it. You don't got to throw it, it in. So he like dunk. So for a, okay, so a dunk. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. A, du- a, a dunk. It went in. Man. You do not have to have your fingers touch the rim for it to no, be a dunk. Not, no, not if you right there. Boom, throw it in there. What do you think Will Chamberlain used to do? He used to just throw it in there. He didn't have to touch it all the time. He impregnated, he, he impregnated white women. I mean, it was, hey, it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful play. But, but he, he destroyed John Collins. Get, <laughs> that was a that was a glorified powerful layup. Hey, whatever the case may be, he he embarrassed. Glorified that guy. powerful layup. I've never heard. That. <laughs> yeah, I mean, powerful <laughs> layup. You remember we were talking about DeAndre Jordan and his dunk. Oh, yeah. You remember he did that? Yeah, yeah but DeAndre is sloppy. He's a sloppy basketball. He threw player. it in just like Ant Man. No, I mean. <laughs> Ant Man, Ant Man is the business. He well, he needs to play. That wasn't a dunk. The Henny's starting to get to me. Uh, he okay, needs to play LJ, LJ, that's my bet. I'm back in what? So Minnesota. No, no, Anthony Edwards, PRA yeah, over forty yeah, and a half. Yeah. So to LJ's point, I am riding with him on that. Um, and Edwards over. Yeah, o- over forty and a half. He Four hit that nine straight game. Three sits, then I won eight plus. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's uh, good too. And double Spenny, double. Spenny, Spenny going uh wanting uh the double double. Spenny's a very good basketball captain. Spenny was the only one out there on these dogs and he's hit. I know you I know you made Slaughter, man. Slaughter put three <laughs> three bands on the fucking parlay, bro. God damn. You can't be you can't be yelling and clapping your hands like that. Hey, if I would have put three bands on a game, dog, I'd be like, man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Northwestern over there. <laughs> it was quiet. Hey, it was quiet as shit. You heard, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 
Let's move on to the next spot on the board. Yeah. 8 p.m. Eastern. We have the Memphis Grizzlies. 23 and 47, yeah. 15 and 20 on the road. at San Antonio Spurs. 15 54, 8 and 25 at home. Why, I don't know why you guys want to fuck this game. Because Cause you I like think, bump fights, bro. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah no I do. Time for I do. Goddamn bump fights. No, no. I want to watch bump fights. And also, if anybody wants to fight each other tonight. Nobody's uh, fighting in San Antonio. Well, no, we love each other. We love each other. <laughs> but, but I do like, I, I you know, um. I don't know. Uh, let me uh, set it up so we can knock it down. The Spurs have been playing good basketball. They've been playing good basketball, and they should be bet on. Victor Wimanyama has been playing good basketball. Devin Vassell, <laughs> Kelvin Johnson, Jeremy Sohan. No, no, you did not just say that name. Jeremy Sohan. Oh, my fucking God. You just said that guy's name. Yeah, man. Well, look, look, if he had big tits, I would suck on them. Okay. I mean, what do you want me to say? I mean, that guy, man, he's not, <laughs> is he still what playing point? Say, is man? he still playing point guard? I, I, I too would suck on his tits, admittedly. Oh, I, 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 too, I too would suck on his tits. Oh. Yes. Uh, but uh, we're just a reminder for everyone in the chat we are running the horses at the end of the show. Oh, yes, yes, okay. horse race. Yes. Oh, oh, we haven't done our own horse race with the, with the squad either. Uh, yes, that's, yeah, we're running the horses. Yes. And we're doing that tonight. Hopefully. Well, Tomorrow I mean, night, we got actually. poker. We got yeah, poker tomorrow tonight. night. We'll be actually running the horses in the hand. bar. But yes, uh, you know, Jimmy. By the way, four and a half hours right now. Oh, I, you know, if, yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy's three sheets to the wind, Jose. He does I'm not, not care. I'm not three sheets to the wind. But, Maybe two sheets. But if anybody wants to suck on these balls, come on, bro. I'm here in San Antonio. I'm at South Tower 101. <laughs> come and on. I would like, man. No, I would like. I would like. Okay. There's, um, here's the tits. So San Antonio has yeah on this huge eight game homestand. Is that your girl, Jose? Okay, just making sure. You missed the tits, Jimmy. I did miss him on this one. Okay. On this round. But you said Jose's girl, and I, oh. I respect that. I he respect got excited that. and wanted to see Helga. No, no, no. I respect Helga. I respect you guys' game. I respect you guys' game. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not in, in uh, by the way, uh, there you'll see more of those later, Daryl. Okay. So, okay. Oh, ooh. okay. Ooh. That, Let's hurry up, man. Wrap this Helga? shit up. Is yeah. that Helga's tits or Jose's tits? <laughs> Who knows? That's a surprise. Oh, uh, oh, never I mind. Tell you, I tell you, never what, mind. Let me let me give you an idea. Can we Jose, cap tomorrow? Jose's tits are hideous. Oh, God. they're disgusting. Has Jimmy started talking about his pussy lips yet? No, oh, I haven't. Let's just say focus here. Uh, San Antonio has uh, three more games on this. Yeah. This is Kelton Johnson over Edmonds. The Grizzlies. The Grizzlies make me want to so crawl into a Walmart ditch. Cusa. They do. They make <laughs> like uh. As a basketball fan, I'm wearing a Memphis Grizzlies hat. I the Grizzlies make me want to crawl into a ditch and die. Yeah, really. And He's, then you'll never hear from me again. So you're Maybe only wearing I, the hat because it matches with your outfit. That's right. Okay, but not only my outfit. Talk about a lot J3. of injuries. Everybody's injured. Right? What we got? These fucking J13s. Yeah, I puked on them. Nice, oh, I puked on them last night. Those 13s are nice. Oh, I didn't puke on this one. I puked on my left one. Oh, oh God. I puked on these motherfuckers. Really? Man. That's disrespectful. But, those are nice. Yeah, thank you, thank you. What yeah, you yeah. Add, added respect, man? Yeah. No, you you Much. you watch me with the J threes. Let's okay, whatever. Let's say focus. Uh, the Grizzlies are a fucking mess. Uh, J G G Jackson put up seven threes. Seven threes last night or two nights ago, whatever. It what's was. his What's his nickname, Jimmy? Ah, uh, just uh, remember I told you already. What is it? The Block Panther. Oh, that's nice. That's so oh, bad. That's so, that's so fucking bad. <laughs> what about, do you have a nickname for uh, Dijon Juro? No, 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 no. Triple J calls himself that. What about Jake LaRavia? Do you, a... <laughs> you have a nickname for fucking Ginger. Jake LaRavia? Okay, Ginger. Uh, these, this fucking makeshift G League fucking bullshit. But they're... Uh, Anybody want to trust the Spurs in this situation? No. no. Why the fuck are we even yeah, talking about this goddamn game? Game, game? No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop that. Don't we don't pass games because we're trying to make money and what? bum fights. That's I want the whole point of trying to pass this game so we can make money. LJ, what, okay, exactly. What do we say on this game? Just as a personal play, just take Wimby's blocks and forget about it. Yes, that's all you got to do. I mean, that's always going to be the automatic right. bet. He's averaging five blocks, so just take the blocks take, and get the fuck. Ta- yeah, take Wimby's blocks, which. His blocks, four blocks are minus 587 right now. Come the fuck on. 
five blocks is, blocks is uh, minus uh, 114. Yeah. So just take his five blocks if you just want to, and don't even watch the game. Just wake up with some money in your fucking bank. Definitely. That's all it needs. Yeah. We're not, shift we're not tits, doing shift tits, bouquet. I thought you were saying embrace the bump. Shit. Man, shift tits. Let's bouquet. go to the next game. Also, I was saying literally picture and shoots, whatever. You know what? Yeah. Like, I, I'm not going to, you know, hold me accountable for, for, I, I Look, you I went really outside. puked on your shoes. I went outside. I puked on my fucking shoes, and it's my shit. It's my game. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, look, look, look. Oh man, I don't. I don't like them laughing at me. I know. I would. I would, I would laugh at you too, bro. No, no. Fuck. Fuck you guys, man. Fuck you guys, man. I I, I go fucking hard. I don't give a fuck about anybody. Yeah. Anybody's bullshit. I go fucking hard. I drink nonstop, and yeah, I puked on my fucking shoes. Suck my fucking dick. Love it. Next up for us, 10 tell p.m. Him, Eastern. Fucking tell him. Indiana Pacers, 39 and 31, 1860 on the road at the Golden State Warriors, 36 and 32, 18 18 home at Chase Center in San Francisco, California. Indiana, three and two over the last five, playing at the fourth fastest pace in the NBA, 100.41 possessions again. We talked about how it's slow, yeah. it's slowing down. So that's uh, not that fast of a pace. The Warriors, though, uh, three and two, 96.80 possessions game, 18th in the NBA. It's not a very fast pace. Uh, the Warriors are playing now. Steph, uh, when when the time is right, he steps up. You know, he steps up. Uh, right now, the Warriors are minus five and minus one oh nine. Right. And there's been a five cent move towards the Warriors. That's mm-hmm. it. Just a five cent move towards the Warriors from a cash flow standpoint. Here, seventy four percent of the tickets are on the Warriors. Mm-hmm. God, God damn, do I want to fade the Warriors right now? Why? Wow, I want to fade the Warriors right I'm, now. I'm 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 all over the Warriors here, bro. I am all over the Warriors, and I haven't played very many Warriors games. If you want to make a parlay, this would be a good money line parlay with the Lakers. But I like the minus five, and this is the reason why. The Warriors are behind the Lakers, and who's quietly creeping up on the Dubs and the Lakers right now are Houston, the Rockets right now. Nobody gives a fuck about Houston. Well, no one does give a fuck about Houston, but you do not want those guys to get somehow get in the playoffs and knock one of those two teams out. I just believe at oh (laughs) fucking a Mm. yeah. I I I, if Houston makes it you know into a playoff spot with without Singoon, you still think that they're live without Singoon? No, no, the the thing is nobody spend spend, spend the thing is is, what what because the coach wants to fuck your wife. Well, hey, you better watch out. He's a wife fucker. <laughs> All right. No, seriously, but what, not, that, that makes a man. And the, hey, I'll uh, tell you right now. Udoku wants to fuck our wives. If I if I was married and I had a wife, I would not bring him around Udoku. He's a wife fucker. You know, I would. I, you know, it's interesting because I would want Udoku to fuck my wife. See, Leslie, and you are a fucking cornball. Oh, cornball. Yeah. You want to be cornball on that shit? Yeah. Because I want my wife to be pleasured by Udoku. <laughs> See, I make me cornball. No, no, I know. I do not think that that makes me a cornball. I really don't think that makes me a cornball. This is my question. This is my question. Would you watch? Yeah, he would. You got to watch. Oh, no, fuck. Are you kidding me? I'm gambling in the next room. You think I watch? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Uh, Udoku, <laughs> Oduko. Uh, you know, I hope, I hope his, I hope his chest is like fucking blazing. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I just, is it watch. You think I give this a fuck? Crazy. No, just pleasure my wife. Make her feel good. Let me fucking gamble. You think I watch? I don't give a fuck about Udoku. Hey, real, I just want my talk, wife man. to be pleasured. You want to? <laughs> hey, Jimmy. I'm gonna tell you right now, Jay. Brothers don't do that shit, though. <laughs> man, I just watch. I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna watch for a fucking hey, second. Man. Brothers don't. I just do want to gamble, man. I just want to fucking time gamble. To gamble, huh? Hey, yeah, okay. no, for real, for real though. For real, man. Uh, <laughs> have his way. Have his. Have his. Uh, this is whatever. brutal, bro. This, this is, is off the chain. No, no, for real though. That's for real. No, no. <laughs> I want my my wife to feel good. <laughs> you? And I don't want to watch. I don't give a fuck, man. I mean, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, goddamn, oh bro. God. There's no way I'm having any wife fucker around my wife. Oh my god. Bottom line. I want my wife to be pleasured. And you can't do that? No. <laughs> In the end of patience. Anyways, at back the... to the game here. Yeah. So... I'm all over Golden State here. I think Golden How State. How can you coming. be on the Yeah? I, I'm just okay. The, how how have we capped throughout the season? What this one here to me is more of a narrative cap. So 
I'm putting the numbers aside, right? And, and this is just one of those games I'm looking at. A, you don't want Houston to have any type of life whatsoever. All these games are meaningful to the Lakers and Golden State, and it's quite as kept Sacramento. So this is a game that I believe Golden State can win and can win easily, provided they fire on all cylinders. Do you and think minus- they're going to fire on all cylinders right now? You really think these Golden State Warriors in San Francisco, California, are going to fire on all cylinders? They cannot lose. I mean, they're they're on the heels of LA right now. They cannot lose. They cannot lose at all. I'm just saying, at this point, this is a game that they've got to win. They've got to win this goddamn game. And I like Golden State here to win it. Bottom line. Bottom line. I stepped on Golden State. Let's put some numbers behind it. Right now, Rem Rem, Rem Mo says it. He has three kids and he's scared to fuck his wife. See? See? Wow. I can't even read these comments because I, I guarantee you a lot of these motherfuckers in the comments want to have a wife fucker next to their wife. I don't want to watch. You do. Why do you think I want to watch? No, I do. I, I do you, not want to. Would you pay him? Look, would you pay him? Pay him. You fucking pay him. You know you want to watch, My bro. bankroll's my whole life. Pay so, him. I don't, I don't even want to eat So my you chicken. think a guy is going to voluntarily want to have sex with your wife chicken. while you in another room gambling? Why yes. are we talking about wife fuckers? Yes, I do. No, I really do. I really think that you was... must have fantasized about this. No, no, no. There's no fantasizing. No, no. Give me this fucking. Get chain. that JMO in you, man. Yeah, I'm not even. No, no, for I'm real. This porn. Is I'm not you, This is a strong y'all. point for you. Like you, you're really passionate about this. I need a skip. Am I? Form. Yes, you are. You, yeah, you know, I'm just trying to understand where is it coming from. Indiana you know? and Golden what? Look, State. Uh, I'm a 44 year old man. Pascal Siakam double double. I'm not poor. He's shit. Hell why? No, why not? No. Why? I got pour my own shit. Yeah, you pour your own Jesus shit. Jesus Christ. Thought you were my and we're friend. also taking Draymond Green plus two ninety seven for a double double. Oh, yeah, Spinny is- dropping bombs, ladies and okay, gentlemen. Spinny, th- those are good. Those are good. Cool. But Pascal and Pacers right now third to last in the league for opponents points allowed. They're sure. averaging. They're they're giving you at least what one twenty two right now. Yep. Team total on Golden State is one twenty two and a half. This number is going down, so you can probably get this at maybe one twenty one. They're averaging 121 right now in the league. They're in your top 10. Golden State against Indy, a team, a game that they have to win. This game is going to go fast. That's why it's going to go fast. It's going to go so fast. Are you on the over? I am no, not on the over. Spenny, Spenny, did Spenny move on the over? Okay, so I like I, I took Golden State minus five. That might be a little scary because this line has not moved at all. But I do like Golden State over 122 and a half. I stepped on that. I could I could move on the Pacers and the over, but I need to like. I could move on the Pacers and the over, and um, wow. You know, also like if 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 I didn't like you so much, I would you know put hundred dollars on the table and bet you here right now. <laughs> but I like you a lot, so I'm not gonna put that shit. Uh, that's a huge glass of. I know. I need it right now. Talking about white fuckers and oh man, this is Look, getting out of hand. You hey, you know what? That's why they fool. You know what? Here's my analysis. Sure. Are you ready for this? Oh no. Are you ready for this? I think I am. Give me Golden State. Oh, you're gonna lose. Minus, I don't <laughs> give a fucking shit. Oh, oh. I don't give a motherfucking shit. T, can you what the us? spread is? T, 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 get us home, man. <laughs> T, T, T like, home. man, listen. Oh, yeah, I'm just over out. here chilling. No, you listen got, to y'all you, motherfuckers you, I, talk about I, white I, I fuckers. Think, I think you're losing. I think you're losing. You ready for this? Here's my analysis. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a fucking shit. So yeah, I I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a fucking shit what the spread is. I I think you're gonna lose this bet, and I'm only wearing one shoe. I think oh, in life, if you're only wearing one shoe, you're probably going to lose anytime. Jay, <laughs> Jay, in the history of yeah. us doing this show, yeah. you never call me out like that, bro. No, no, no. You just said, I think you're going to lose this I think you're going to lose. <laughs> this is insane. Even when you didn't like the bets, you never said, I don't think you're going to, I think you're going to lose this bet. You just said, well, I think you're going to lose this bet. Full disclosure, I'm with Daryl as well, Thank Jimmy, you. so you could lock me in. Total State team total Thank you. over 22 and a half. What a dick. What a, what a, dick. What a fucking... Because... I thought he was, like, one of my best friends. Okay. No, 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 I'm going to go to the State team total. My Negro. 
because 17 and 7 <laughs> in their last 24 with Steph Curry in the lineup. Okay. My so, Negro. They're going to score 122 points. Now, for them to cover the spread, you know, I'm not taking that. That's a Daryl. Hold on. But I'm going to trust that they hit that number because they've been doing it the past 24 games 17 times out of seven. So as long as Steph is in there, I believe he's going to get the threes up. I believe they get the attempts up. And Indiana likes to play fast. So I believe the possessions will be there for them because I believe it's going to go over just because I just looked it up that Golden State is second and then we got the over at home, 22 no, and nice. 14. It's a nice over. It's a nice yeah. over, yeah. So if, they're gonna, if it's going to go over, I believe – Golden State gets their team total over. Yeah, so. I believe I believe that Golden State takes it right in the fucking goat hole. Okay. Let's move on to – we have two <laughs> games left on today's card and on today's show. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting Pub Sports Radio. DC uh, said he wants to ask you something, Jay. What do you mean? DC Capper says, Jimmy, I want to ask you something. Uh, what the fuck, man? I'm not, I don't play pretend. Fucking ask. <laughs> I don't know. DC, I ask him, bro. Well, Saturate said, what's a goat hole? A uh, goat hole is don't don't <laughs> don't please not. 10 p.m. Eastern. We have the Los Angeles Clippers 43 yes. 25 21 14 on the road at the Portland Trail Blazers 19 and 50 11 25 at home. We're at the Moda Center in Portland, Oregon. Clippers are two and three over the past five 93.7 possessions a game, playing so slow. 27th fastest pace in the NBA and Portland at 16th fastest pace, only 96.9 possessions a game, playing okay. very, very, very yeah, slow. Yeah. Both teams are playing very, very slow. Uh, in Portland, when you talk about Portland, you want to talk about the injuries because they have an enormous amount of injuries uh, right now. We'll get into that in a second, but let's talk about the line history. Uh, this line right now is at minus 13 for the Clippers, or minus 14. We've moved a point. So we have one point moved towards the Clippers. And then from a, oh shit, sorry. From a, know, my mother's calling. She must be listening to the show. Oh no. Oh, no. You got me in trouble. Well, you know, uh, you know, life's not easy, man. Oh, mom. 47% of the tickets and 98% of cash on the Clippers. And I do want to say something to my guy, Daryl's mom. Uh, what? You, 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 you created a wonderful man. You, 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 and that takes a lot of, a lot to, to create a man. And, and you did that. And so you should, you just did a great job. Thanks. So to, to, thanks, mom. No, no, really, really, really. You, you, I was going to put her on the phone, but she cuts up as bad as me. Shout out so, to the girl's mom. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do that today, bro. <laughs> so here we go. Sharp action on the Clippers. As it should. LA has won eight straight games against these fucking Trailblazers, man. The Trailblazers are uh, trash. Trash. Yeah. Basura. Uh, Is that what you did? Basura? The Portland's lost four straight, eight of 10. Yeah. Take it away. Yeah, so out of all the large spreads on the analytics site, this is the only game that actually is covered. Hmm. Right? So, okay, C is not covering. Boston's not covering. Like, none of these large spreads are covering. But the Clippers are covering. I really don't care about this game, to be honest with you, because I have seen the Clippers play and what they look like when they're not really motivated to play. And I have also seen them drop games to where they're up by a shit ton of points and they just lose it. So to me, the safe play, if you're going to make a play on this game, would be Clippers first half. Cut that, cut that lead down. Play the first half in this game. I think you got a good spot there, but Portland is absolutely trash. Absolutely fucking trash. And I guarantee you right now that these guys are probably not even motivated to play this game. Like nobody likes going to Portland to play at all. Why? Strip club Mecca? It, not really. Like you can go to the can, and they have that I think it's, it's a Pearl District. Oh, fuck out of here with the bookstore. No, it's the best bookstore in all of Yeah, America. I know what you're talking about, but the, what's it called? <laughs> yeah, it's the best bookstore yeah. in all. I got I got trading basis. I got that book there. It, it changed. Yeah, my life. you're right. You're I, I mean, so Full disclosure, you know, I lived in Portland for four years. I right? didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. We, oh, Jimmy. Sorry. I, I talked. God I, damn it. I tell you every fucking year. No, I guess I, I guess I just uh, didn't care. Don't listen. Yeah, you don't listen. That's it. Yeah. So I lived in Portland. Yeah. Um, nobody gets up to Harvey's. Portland. Is it Harvey's? No, no, no. no it's not Harvey's. Joint. Harry's? No. What the fuck? Is I'll think of it in a minute, but they like it's on. It's 
It's, it's on, the best bookstore it's on the I've east been side. in my life. So, like, you're talking about the Pearl District. Like, strip clubs really don't hit like that anymore, if you ask me. No, it's I've, a bunch of hippies out there. All these guys go to the strip clubs every night. I've never gone to one in San Antonio. I don't know. In San Antonio? Never? Yeah, no, I never. I just, I just, I don't care. I just want to win money. Yeah, at any yeah, rate, don't like, it, right? well, this is what you do. Powell's, Powell's. Powell's, that is right. Powell's. <laughs> what you do when you go to Portland is you go to Beaverton to the Nike store. No, no, no. You go to Powell's bookstore. No, no. No one's... Fuck. Who the... F you think James Harden's reading? I don't give a fuck about James Harden. You That's what I'm saying. You think he's fucking reading? You know what? I want James Harden to, to smash... There's two Northside. places that you go to Portland. You go to the Nike store in Beaverton, and you go to Voodoo Donuts. I know Voodoo Donuts, but okay. Powell's bookstore is the greatest bookstore I've ever been to in my life. The sports section is absolutely fucking spectacular. That's where I got training spaces. And that's where I built a, I built a hedge fund for uh, the 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. Anyways, like I said, no one cares about Portland, bro. Okay. Well, no one cares about Port Portland. Like, no one Saturated cares. says, what's a book? Exactly. What? Exactly. We're talking about fucking Powell's. Powell's. Powell's magic. Powell's not a Powell game. Ma not a game. We're talking about Powell's. Powell's. Uh, it's, it's we talking about Powell's. Thank God. Thank God we're talking about Powell's. Not a game that I love that I would die for. We talking about Powell's. It is the greatest bookstore in North America. It's the greatest sports section in North America. It's fucking phenomenal. Howell's Bookstore in Portland, Oregon. Everybody should check it out. It's the only reason to no, go to Portland. Don't, no. First off, if you look like me, do not go to Portland. Why? Okay? Just do the history, bro. Really? Yeah. Well, sun downtown all day, man. If you can find his props, take Daniel Tice rebounds over. Okay. Well, I, you know, I, I'm sorry to hear that you didn't feel at home in, in Portland. Because, yeah, uh, I, I don't bet know. you did. I bet you did. Why? Just got a blue eye white boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. A blue eye white boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I lived in Portland for four years, man. I'm telling you right I'm now. sorry they didn't love you the right way because uh, you're a great man. Let's go into the final game here on the board. Yes. Uh, so, but Clippers, Blazers action. LJ, did you see Ron? Is, Ron no, is I'm not interested. Facts, Ron is talking uh, Girl knows to cover 13 and a half spread. They barely covered that spread the last game they played. So I'm not interested because who knows? Portland may be up for this game simply because they got smacked up the last game. So we can move on. Simply put, the yeah. final game on the board here: Philadelphia 76ers at the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah! Oh no, what are you talking about. Oh no! This is what we talking about? So, uh, do, so let me ask you this: uh, Do you support D'Angelo Russell as a man? Wait a minute, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. What kind of question is that? I'm straight up, straight up. Like as a, as a man, I don't, I don't even know how to answer that question. I mean, you do you, don't, do you, you think don't. he's? Do you think he's a boy? No, I think he's a a, a man boy. No, I think he's a a fucking narc. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're, so we're still we're still doing like Nick Young memes, like when he first came in the league. I you're, you're not that, gonna let that shit die, huh? No, no. I think that it's a sign of who you are as a man. Oh, do you not? Do you not? Because if you don't, I, I, I will yeah. Okay. To For what it's worth, yeah. I, I think that will forever tarnish him. But what you shut you, your I mean, fucking mouth. Let yeah. your friends do their thing, man. Bro, was what? Was it nineteen twenty? Still, the fact that he would even say anything and you're right, anything, you're right, you're why, right. Why are you talking about it? No one can, you're right. Don't, don't ever talk about anybody that's not you. Facts, facts, facts. Hey, in the but, words of D'Angelo Russell, why y'all bringing up bullshit? Why, yeah, you bring, yeah and, and secondly, 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 for real though, has it happened again? No, no. because nobody wants to be anywhere fucking near that fucking narc. I get it. Well, Austin Reeves does. I mean, these guys are golfing. Well, Austin Reeves needs his ball sucked more than any of us because nobody nobody likes Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves assist tonight over. Nobody no, likes Austin Reeves. This motherfucker. Yeah. 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 I gotta go. <laughs> I only got one. <laughs> I don't even smoke, but can I have a cigarette? I need a cigarette. JP, what kind of cigarette is that? Is that a Newport? Before it's too late. 
That is racist. Oh, shit, man. I need a Newport. Man. Is that a Marlboro Light? Okay, let's cap. Let me have a goddamn cigarette, please. What? Well, it's a Newport. It's not a Newport, man. Jesus Christ. I'm so oh. sorry that you have an addiction. I'm so I'm sorry. Not, I mean, you're driving me to smoke. What? You're literally driving me to smoke after this goddamn show. Why? Because D'Angelo Russell is a fucking narc? No, because you said you want your wife to be <laughs> fucked by Ime Doka. Did I say that? Did I say that? You did. Live. Shit. She can rewatch it. In 4K, dog. Like, yeah. what? Is, what is we talking about? Did I say that I want my wife to fuck by Doka? Hey, I've learned a long time, Jimmy. Be careful what you wish for. Jesus, I do not want Ime coming over to my house. Hey, well. Put it out there. Smoking uh, uh, let's let, let at least <laughs> let me buy him a hotel then. <laughs> okay, let's go. Final yes, game on yes, the card. Yes, final game yes, on the show. Yes. Philadelphia 76ers yes, at your girls, Los Angeles Lakers. Goddamn right. Man. Goddamn right. Let me ask you, uh, how much do you think the Lakers are going to cost you tonight? No, no. In the in this year, this year, how much money do you think you're going to win money on on the fucking purple and gold? Yes. Why? Because they're going to succeed? Because it's all about matchups, right? Here's the thing. If by chance we can get to the eighth spot, right? Yeah, which you should. Who are we going to play? Maybe go to the or maybe, the next, like, 10 minutes. maybe go to the state. Okay, the bottom line is this. It's all about matchups, Jay. I'm telling you right now. Deadass. If the Lakers are able to advance... And they play OKC in the first round, they are beating them. They are absolutely smacking OKC. It's a size issue for them. The matchup is not a good matchup. What if they play, if OKC plays Denver, which is not in the first round, but if they play Denver, they're going to get smacked. Okay, if they play the shit. Shit. The Lakers. Look at the history of this year. And maybe take five or six games. Four, two, no. four. No. Look at the history of this year. Lakers own OKC this year. It's oh, a size I, and it's a matchup you know, issue. The, the regular season games only were important to the Lakers. Bro, the, 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 I'm telling you right the now. The Thunder didn't give a fuck about those. I'm telling games. you right now, Jay, listen to me. Mark my <laughs> words. If for whatever reason, OKC is first and the Lakers are eighth. Because they've won the plan, I promise you, Doug. I promise you, they will smack the shit out of OKC. You know, it's an exciting, it's an exciting angle. It's an exciting angle that, that actually it's is. a size issue, yeah. right? OKC cannot get past the size of, for whatever reason, of the Lakers. They they just can't. So uh, all I'm saying is, yes, I could put my money on the Lakers. Just all it, it completely depends on position. So. If they can get past this, this is why they have to win these games. Wild, wild Town just put in. Uh, what is the? Uh, are those Franks in Amsterdam? What, what is the? Uh, but he says, uh, "Who's ready to join my party in Amsterdam?" <laughs> Who the fuck is Wild Hound? Money in the bank, man. He's uh, is that euros? He's really yeah, giving he's you, dropping okay. euros. All right, bro. Okay, let's 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 hammer this last game. So, so yeah, so Russell I, puts up twenty seven. LeBron puts up twenty five. The brow puts up 22 and 15. Yes. He's got the eye injury. Is he good? So, yeah. So, this is, again, LJ and I was collaborating on a lot of this shit. Where have you been? Man, I had to go to the bathroom. Bro. God damn it. Jimmy got me drinking. In I know, man. So, uh, me and LJ, hey, LJ was on some shit today, and I had to ride with him. But what we like the angle. You ride with him? The parlay here. There's a parlay going on here, LJ. You guys got a parlay you're going to drop on this one, bro? That Jameson may be faded. Good. Lakers shot 57.8% from the floor. They shot 41.7% from three. They put up 23 fast break points, and I do not believe in this basketball team. Who? The Lakers. Because, you're fucking because old you, you But no, but I hear what you're you saying about say if, they, if they're, they're going to put the pressure on a, on a young Thunder squad. Like, I get that. I get that. I okay, get that. so the look is this. This is LJ, and I'm completely with it. LJ had all the data to back this shit up. 80 boards plus LeBron's assists plus D'Lo points plus 525. Can you hit that one more? Hit it again. In the 80 boards. I think they're at 13, 13, and a half. 13 and a half. Juice to the over. 
Remember, I like this. I hate seeing plus money props. Whenever it's juiced, I love it. 80 boards, juiced to the over, 13 and a half. LBJ assists, eight and, eight and a half. They probably went up from seven and a half. I guarantee you they opened at seven and a half and had that number steam up to eight and a half. D-low points were probably at 17 and a half. They're now at 18 and a half. Juice to the over just a tad bit. Take that for plus 525. We're about to uh, close up shop here and do the horse racing. Uh, we have a horse raising $50 for all the gold members here at Pub Sports Radio. Uh, LJ, can you and then Joe? Oh, and, and, and are you ready for this? Uh oh. Are you ready for this? Well, I think so. You, uh, LJ, are you ready for this analysis? I'm always ready. Oh, no. Give me the Lakers minus I don't give a motherfucking shit mm. with the spread. You ready for this? Here's my analysis. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a fucking shit. So, yeah, I, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a fucking shit what the spread is. No movement. You have 90% of the tickets on the lake. I know. I know. And you're just going to sit with the public. You're just going to. I know. All right. So you're going to be. You... you know, this, this man, this liquor make you a little different because you're just shitting on all my plays. Today. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to be. Daryl, welcome to my world. Darryl. I know. I'm just, trying to make money. I'm just trying to make money. God damn. Okay. So I'll what tell you that? what. I'm going to. I'm very interested in the 76ers. Mm. No, I mean, I mean, and I'm not just going to say that out loud just for yeah. fun. I'm going to bet. I'm Daryl, bet. what'd you bet? Lake? Oh, yeah, I love this. No, 76ers. no, no, no. It's just, I just, um, I just think your plays are shit. No, just no, I don't that. no, 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 no. I'm just, I just, I just don't feel like the Lakers give a fuck here in this situation. I know they're, they're in the, the spot. The Sixers, no. though, the Sixers care. They care very, very, very much. You don't they're think the Lakers care right now? No, I mean they're trying. To Lakers get lose and and Golden State wins. The standings are. But well, see, this is the thing, Jimmy. The Sixers are very vulnerable on the front court. You know they're missing pieces. So yeah. Anthony Davis plays Hachimura with one know. eye. Listen, he can play. He can play, Jimmy. <laughs> so. The fact that they're vulnerable, I'm not going to take the spread. I'm just going to do Warriors and Lakers money line parlay. You can make that official on the show. Warriors and Lakers money line parlay. Because I believe the Lakers win a game. They're 8-4 and four at home versus the East. So they do good in this spot. And Sixers are missing pieces. Lakers, you know, at home. It's like they play well. Friday night, front of the crowd. You know, I'm just going to ride with the money line and just hope they win the game. There was somebody in the chat who gave out a rank, but gave out Mac that maxi to go over 29 and a half we, we, hey we were talking about yeah, that we were okay. talking about that but the issue was what he he, was what he, he had hit a, the bed last yeah, he had a bad game yeah he had a bad game. game what last game yeah against the sus isn't that the perfect situation for i mean not, sometimes not, but you gotta I, look at the matchups you yeah. see what i'm saying what do you got to deal with in the backcourt what d'angelo hey, clown russell man I the, mean, the narc no you still got lebron too you know no but who's going to defend maxi's that fucking narc they'll switch on him they'll LeBron, switch. yeah they, get, they have yeah. pieces LeBron, if he's if he's starting to get hot early they'll make the switch i want to make something else official too if i made love to my wife d'angelo russell would tell everybody okay my listen chicken. jimmy my chicken. He would can, tell everybody, can, can like, i make some else, bag, make some else official yeah, yeah sixers team total under 109 simply because Three and nine to their team total under in the last 12 games. They struggled to score 100 points. So, so I'm going to have to fade both of you, motherfuckers? Oh, yes, you're going to have to. <laughs> Definitely. Because they struggle to score. And the Lakers are at home. I believe they're going to play defense. You know, Anthony Davis, like you said, with one eye or two eyes. He's going to be able to perform tonight because he knows he has a great matchup versus this vulnerable Sixers front line. Okay, so let me ask you this, both of you guys. What's up? What do you think the Lakers are going to do come playoff time? You I mean, they may they may game? squeak into the play on play in. Yeah, and it depends on who they play in the first round. Well, Jimmy, if they play Denver, they're, they're out in the first conversation round. Conversation last year. It just depends on the matchup, Jimmy. And they went to the Western Conference Finals. <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah, they did. But I do believe they're old, and I believe that you know just depends on the matchup. If they got a young squad like OKC, okay, they could beat that team. Timeout. Fuck you. <laughs> Also, shout out, shout out to LeBron's wife. 
she looking good. Yeah, I, I like good. Savannah too. She looking good. Much props to Savannah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Savannah. Very, very great role respect. model for the ladies that yeah. represent their kings in yeah. this world. You know. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm no king, man. I'm no, we're all dude. kings, man. No, when when you right. married, you have a wife. You're a king. I'm not, man. I'm just a dude. No, man. You're a king, man. You're but uh, trouble, but I do it. like uh, I do like her. She's cool. For real, man. Savannah, shout out. Okay, uh, let's review all let's action here in NBA from both of you guys, and then we're gonna do the horse race. We got big show picks up in this motherfucker. Uh, so we'll go with you, LJ. Can you review your NBA? Action? My review action is we're gonna start off with the Pelicans plus three. I already took it, you know, so I might as well just make it official. I'm not scared, you know, but. Like I said, I just went on the numbers. You know, they're good off a loss, 17-8-1. I can't ignore that. And like I said, 10-5-1 and five and one against the spread as a road dog. So Miami don't play well at home against the spread at home. But the fact that Ingram is out is giving me, you know, hesitation. But, hey, I rolled with it. I took it. Might as well ride. Uh, Boston, first half, heavy lean. But I need wow. my players in yeah. there. But yeah. I'm going to make it official and tweet it out. So you can make it official for the show right before tip-off. If everybody's in and I like, I'm on Boston first half. I'm on Anthony Edwards, PRA, over 40 and a half. He's hit it nine straight games, and I believe he's going to clown in mm -hmm. front of his home crowd tonight. Oh, it's a nice LJ, play. do you need Horford to play? For no. That to be I, for, so I'll, if Horford. If Porzingis plays, I'm really confident. Okay. You know, it, one or the other, okay. you know, I'm going to take it if I have Tatum and Brown. You see what I'm saying? I like, I your, I like your Edwards look. Yeah, I like that. So yeah. 40 and a half. Warriors team total over 122 and a half. Like I said, numbers say 17 and 7, last 24 with Steph. And like I said, I parlayed the money line with the Lakers, you know, whatever number you can give me. I don't know the number, but go to state Lakers parlay money line and 76ers team total under 109 just because they struggle to score. And I believe the Lakers play defense and want to win this. Game. And I, and I don't think I'm I've only eaten a croissant today, just like yesterday. You're going to throw up. Wow. No, I don't think I'm going to throw yes, up. You're going to throw up. Uh, should I sit here at 10 30? I guess it'll be at right near the end of the program and fade you two guys on this the is, fucking man. Hey, we're gonna be here watching you with today, you, Doc. Jimmy is ballsy as shit. And you know what? When I cash my ticket, Jimmy, guess what I'm gonna do? What we're performing do? tonight. Yeah. My, yeah. my wife? I'm, no, I'm oh. not doing it. Jimmy, come on, man. We're, I'm just wondering. We're, we're, no, we're live. Wait, Jimmy, sorry, come sorry, on. Sorry, sorry. No, okay, Listen, sorry. you did. You we're did, gonna you perform. Did open that up, we're gonna perform. That was your fault. We're going to perform tonight, and oh. I'm going to shout you out in the song that you lost. Okay. That bet that we made. No. So, hey, hey. Sixers like Hey, one of those bars, Lakers. one of those bars, just tell Jimmy to wipe his ass with that ticket. Hey. It's going down, Jimmy. Is it? It's going down. Hell man. yeah. Both of them. Is it? Both of them. Let's get it. Is it? Daryl, you got to review your action. Okay. I really like. I My think. I... No, he set it up, man. He no, just did it. He did it. You guys have both set it up, no, man. It, you guys have all set that. I'm trying to be up. professional and do the show. Okay, don't worry. I'm not. I, I. I. This show is beyond. Like I don't. I don't know what's going on. To if this is what I got to expect every year from Pubaloosa, I'm. I'm coming drunk. I'm tell you that. I'm not gonna get drunk. I'm just gonna come here already fucked up. So first play that i really like is the over pra for ant-man you got to jump on that right the second play that i really like is sga's points mm. i think that's a narrative bet I about that. yeah right yeah, yeah. i think you got to do that and jimmy all the plays you faded me you should tell me on that one at least i like it yeah lakers minus five i don't give a fucking shit or minus what was i don't even it's minus seven i'm sorry Golden State minus five. I don't give a fucking shit. Golden State over 122 and a half team total. I like that. And uh, I did the parlay, which is AD over 13 and a half boards, Braun over eight and a half assists, and D over 17 and a half 17 points. and a half points plus 525. Plus 525. Jeez. Now, but I'm oh, sorry, Go I'm ahead. going to add. I don't know what the line is, but I'll, I'll do that right now. I don't know what that number is going to be. Money line parlay. And this is just a hedge, really, mm -hmm. if the spreads don't cover, right? So I'm going to hedge with money line parlay, Lakers, and Golden State. Does anyone know what that number is? And also, I want to add, if y'all don't really want to take the parlay with that number, you can drop LeBron's to seven plus assists 
AD 13 plus rebounds and D'Lo 16 plus points, and that gets you at a plus 174. So if you want to drop those points down one point, you know, just because you don't think it, you get hooked by the number. So you can look at it both ways that way too. That way you won't lose any money. And for the record, again, also to Jimmy's point, because he's fucking fading us, oh, Golden yeah. State. I 122, guys, I Indiana 119, Lakers 118, Philadelphia 114. So both teams do not cover, but they win. So you just you put that in your supercomputer and that's the final score? <laughs> so gonna... Let's get it, Pub. Uh, yeah, it's it's hey, nice seeing you both. I love you guys yeah, nice so seeing much, you. man. F- uh, hey, hey what's, what's Jimmy, what? can you make something happen? Because this motherfucker... Jose owes me a flying chonkless shirt from like two years ago. Oh, he does. Fuck. He does. Yeah. And we're not going to even start. talk about the steak dinner. Look I don't even care about sunglasses that. On yeah, I put now. the sunglasses to uh, hide my shame. And yeah, I just want my flying chonkless shirt. Okay. Bro. Uh, no, no, you're right. And you'll get it. Okay. You'll get it. You'll get it. Uh, I love you guys. Love you, brother. Uh, I get, love you. Get man. this fucking money. Let's and, get it. And, and uh, I have not locked in my action. Uh, as oh, you faded us. Well, but no. you would not lock it in. No, I'm good. You think I'm not gonna? I don't play pretend. Give me the I don't James play, get that James in. But I don't play pretend. Like I'm not just gonna say I'm play pretend. Like I, if if I if I press the button, I'll let you guys know that I'm. I'll whisper it in your ear. I'll quietly whisper it in your ear that I'm gonna fade you, uh, guys. But I do love you very much. Love you, brother. Man, it's 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 been two years in the making, man. And um, there's a lot of fucking white guys here. So like, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm, it, it's. It's I'm all gonna go love, eat. man. Don't worry. I got I got like 10, 15 black guys coming in. Oh, okay. Tonight. Okay. Okay. And, and and the best cappers in the game. Did you say black up. eyes? See? Oh. See? Hey, shout out to Nunya. Shout out to every hey man. Big. Shout out to Nate. Nate and I are about to big drink, bro. Oh yeah. It's I going down. Some food before I we, hey, you gotta teach Nate to not fucking uh tweet in all caps. No, 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 no. Nate, 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 Let Nate be Nate. Let Nate be Nate, man. No, all right. Okay. Bye, Daryl. We love Later you. On, man. Jose, come up here. Come, uh, come do oh, the horse, do the horse race racing. Yeah, come up and do the horse racing. Let me drink and eat my chicken. Can I sit here and eat my goddamn sure, chicken? Sure, 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 sure. It's got to be cold. Yeah, but it's it's all okay. Good. I've got a ton of bets to make. Uh, last night when the show was over, I didn't get enough bets in. Jose, well, it took you two hours to make them. It's See? gonna take you another two hours to make these. I do not feel as intoxicated as it Your was. Your pussy is not as polluted. My pussy is delicious right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Should I make Last the horse night. announcement? Yes. Okay. Nobody gets a hold on. Tell people that they didn't. Uh, sure. What the hell is he doing? What the hell was that? <laughs> Said. Can they, what the can hell they, was that? Hey, can they zap was, this for like two minutes? That's what three, that, was that? That's, that was my chance for three minutes to post. I don't have like a bugle horn, so I have to use that. Hey, can they? Zap you don't this? have a bugle horn? Yes, I don't sir. have it on me. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I do. That's I do. It's not useful anymore. Shout out to U.S. citizens. <laughs> oh god, I can't even read. It. I can't. I wouldn't be able to read it. All right. Uh, can somebody zap my chicken or no? All right, ladies and gents, we have a minute and 45 no. second horse race <laughs> here. And Jimmy is handing out delicious pussy. It's, that is what I've heard as well. The um, horses are set. It's nice to see everyone. Wait, wait, is there, is there heat? Or no, is we're, we're, all, well, our all pl- the ones? Yeah. 60, 60 yeah, and one? 60 and one? Yeah, 65. How long are we going? 65 horses on one track. That's how we do. A minute 45. A minute 45. How did you pick that? Uh, Spenny picked it. Spenny. Okay. Spenny Penny Bombs picked it. So shout out to our guy. Why, why, why would he pick a 145 over two or one and a half? I don't. Who knows? That's a Canadian um, thing. Like East Drops. Don't, don't blame that shit on my country, man. You said half a quarter instead of eight. That's true. You know, half- told me that. No, I respect that. All right. Okay, uh, I don't have the shit on my camera, but but before you go forward, sure. Um, yeah, get that in you. Uh, Al Service says, <laughs> "Winner Jimmy's wife." No one's gonna warm up. I uh, thank you guys so much for supporting our channel here, Pup Source Radio. I hope that you get the chance to some year come down here and roll with us. I thought you were to say bang my wife. Bang his wife. Sure. I hope though. I truly do hope that at some point you get a chance to come down and, and roll with us and see. You know, just see what's real. Uh, thank you guys. Saturated Joe T, Kelsey, mm-hmm. Old E, Smoke and Mirrors, Nunya, Al Cervic, Leonard Porch Jr., mm-hmm. Stimmy OG, Dominic, or sorry, Derek Para, 
Uh, Derek Perry, Money in the Bank, says, do you like UNC minus seven versus Michigan? Uh, no. But I don't uh, – I'm not moving on. I don't know. Uh, Nordy, Big Ragu, Saturated, uh, Man, Bear, Pig, uh, Nanya. Thank you, guys. Rem Most. Thank you, guys. I truly, truly, truly understand that you guys are what makes us great. Uh, Jose just fucked off here. Are those Grizzly shorts he's wearing? They're, uh, they're San Antonio shorts. shorts. Spurs. They're Spurs shorts? Yeah, they're Spurs shorts. Yeah, they, they try to copy you guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame. I do have that uh, Grizzlies jersey, but it's a John Morant jersey, so I can't really wear it out in public. No, I feel you. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. say, I wouldn't go. say, I wouldn't say your shorts are heterosexual. Whoa. Fair. No, Whoa. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That's fair. I mean, I'd be the first person to say that they're not heterosexual. I'm wearing pink shorts. What do you Right. And they're oh really, they're really god. short too. Oh they're really short. Oh my god! I wish I never looked down. I wish I, I wish, I wish I never looked down. Uh, oh fuck! All right, oh let's instead of looking at Daryl's cock, let's get the horses in the canals. God, I it's wish a I nice, never looked down. a nice time to see everyone. Shout out to everyone at Pubba Palooza. Where's my horse? We have the bar camera in there as well, so god, you can I wish see I everyone's reaction. We're hey. off and racing in San Antonio. Where's my horse? A minute 40 in this race. They're running at half speed, but God do I love watching horses run. Gerald Jones is in the front. Dutch boy fresh. Old James the back in there as well. You Where's can't see <laughs> Dutch Iron Eagle in the front. Billy Brisbane oh. making a cheer as well. There we go. A minute 12 left in the race. Where's my horse? It's a beautiful thing here. We have Iron Eagle in front. Connor Mac picks Rick in here as well. Where the fuck is my horse? 55 uh, seconds left nobody, here. Nobody the Dabby horse. Cab is in the lead. Look at Dabby go. But he's falling back quickly. Big Show in the mix here. Is Big Show going to get a win live and in person? 40 seconds left. I'm going to pass out after this. I'm in a deep sweat. And it's all worth it. Because deep god sweat? damn it. Rubbin is racing 28 seconds left lj's in the mix now lj wait, wants wait. his LJ action has a horse. Joseph LJ has a in horse. In and i don't have a horse in this. julian cesario is in this julian's right outside right now joseph thompson ricky look at jose bouquet come out of nowhere you gotta want it you what? son of a bitch what? you gotta want what? it bush no bush no bush no. no. Oh, oh, my oh my God! Oh my God! Jesus. Bo Jackson, Jesus! Oh man! I wow! Loved, I loved, I loved taking the carrot out of Jose's mouth. Fuck! I loved it. Oh, yeah. Where's my horse? Oh, Bo no. Jackson, congrats! Are you a gold member, Daryl? No. Oh. Then go fuck yourself. Yeah, That's yeah. What's up? Right. Go fuck yourself. Bo Jackson, go congratulations, Bo. Nasty Nate in person. You're taking a tough, heartbreaking loss. Fernando Mendoza. The first gold member ever. Nate, I, yeah, I think you Nate, are. I think you, you are. Yeah, yeah. Nate is confirmed the yeah, first gold he member, he and he has not gotten no, shit but for it. Horse is rigged. His horse, that shit is rigged. No, it's not rigged. I just think his horse has. Bo started. Jackson used Geomatria. No, no. Uh, some horses, a lot of horses, get herps. Herpes. Sure. Herpes. Uh, sure. I believe. I believe your horse has herpes. Um, sure. Rude boy, congratulations on last place. I believe there's sores all around your Herpes. horse's car. I really do. I do. I, do. And I don't mean to be like, you know, and, and there, there, there's Fair. some uh, female horse uh, trainers sure. that will take the smegma sure. off of uh, horses. And I, I think I yeah. think your horse has a ton of smegma and yes. a ton of herps and the big, big uh, bulbous herps. And okay. So uh, With that, I'm going to just go ahead and wrap this uh, show up. Sure, it's sure. been a, a great time. Five yeah. hours and 20 minutes. We have to feed our boy Jimmy here, and he has to find a second life because yeah. later on tonight, oh, the live poker. streamed 
on yeah. our channel. The yeah. poker tournament yeah. will be on. I'll have our roving camera guy, T. He's going to go around table to table. He's looking at people right now. He's, 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 he's out. He's, he's out, bro. Well, we need, gonna, we need his energy for later. Yeah, no, no, we, we need his energy for later. Yeah. He can take his naps now, but we need him for later. We yeah. appreciate No, he doesn't give a fuck. No, no. good. No. Even better. Daryl, it's nice to see you. Jimmy, I hope you come out of this room in the next two hours. We'll see about that here coming up. I'm going to put my action in, Jose, and I don't care what you think. Oh, I, I hope it takes you under two hours. And uh, I, But I do love you. Man. I love you, Your too. Your money in the bank. It's nice to see everyone. And we'll see you guys later tonight.